Sega. All right, they got Sega funding for this. Oh yeah, no, they robbed Sega. <laughs> right, they robbed Sega. Oh yeah, this is way louder. I need to need to prepare everyone. Yeah, let me bring that down a little bit. I'll be right back though. That should be good. Timegate. Yeah, that's the studio they outsourced the game to. Right. It is. And we get a starry sky. There's already a lot more going on in the title screen than Dark Void had, so clearly the game's going to be better than Dark Void. Hey, allegedly robbed Sega? Yeah. Uh-huh. We haven't proved it in court of law yet. Remember that insane CG trailer they put out for this? I do. A lot of people have thought the game would be very different based on that. I remember the fake gameplay trailer with mechanics that weren't even in the game. Yeah, that's... I guess I shouldn't call it a CG trailer, even though it was clearly CG. It... It also was just lies. It was like worse than the kill zone one. It was insane. It, this title screen is doing a lot. I assume all this is going to be in the game, though. We'll see. They did a private cell. That wouldn't be a surprise me. That's why you have to just say alleged forever. Are we got, do we have even more to do on this tile screen? That feels like something that looks weak. Yeah. I mean, stiff facial expressions are to be expected. I feel like that's going to be one of the smallest problems that we see in this game. I got, I got my prosciutto. Ooh, <laughs> prosciutto wrapped around mozzarella sticks. Good. You ready? Yeah. Let's get in there. No. <laughs> Creating party. Start anyway. Is it? I'm, I'm yeah. upscaling this through the, the, the retro tape. Why does it still look blurry? Why wouldn't it look blurry? That's so <laughs> weird. It just... What resolution is this? Oh, right. I should check for subtitles. Let's see. Um, Subtitles. Turn them on. Oh, I can also mute players because, you know, there's going to be a lot of voice chat. Yes. Any video options we got? Brightness. Ooh, there's even downloadable content. <laughs> there's a button to check for it. Okay, that's, that is true. This menu is very Halo-like, where it has the players and your party on the right side and the little set of options over here. Uh, yeah, no, that, that is a lot like uh, Halo 3 slash I believe. Probably. I yeah. thought we already had it in two, but maybe not. Uh, on the title screen, no. Okay. No, it wasn't integrated that well. I don't think. If I remember correctly, Halo Two does like a sort of gashunk. When... Now the game started me on recruit, so I feel like that's the normal mode. But I see that it's down there at the very bottom. Yeah. One. It's probably easy. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the easy mode has to be ultimate badass because you'll feel like an ultimate badass because it's so easy, right? <laughs> So, Dad, are we doing soldier or are we doing recruit? I feel recruit? like we should do soldier because the AI is already going to be non-functional. True. It is kind of damning that the game started us on recruit, but it did just start us on the top option. It did. Which every menu did. Mm hmm So I would like to believe that's what's up. Oh, yeah, he's actually the main guy from Aliens, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's Hicks, yeah. Is that the line? <laughs> Colonial Marines. 
He did. So we must dispatch more Marines to LZ426. Um, and it'll be fine. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not sure that that makes sense, sir. With 20th Century Fox, bring you a comedy that'll age poorly. No. <laughs> no. I like how Gearbox is at the very end of that list. Like in Gearbox. I Demiurge also. <laughs> D good goddamn! <laughs> yeah, they they outsourced this to three different studios to actually uh, make it. Okay, sir, we put it in there. Lower, lower, put our name lower. <laughs> we don't want to be blamed. <laughs> On your feet, Marines. For any new recruits, I'm Captain Cruz, and you are my crew on the USS Sephora. We responded to a some water while we do this intro. Seventeen weeks ago, from the USS Sulaco. Rhino 2 3 went in first and encountered heavy resistance. You Ashley Birch is in this? Out cryo. Oh my God. So I don't want to hear any bitch. And Lance Hendrickson. So. Get combat ready. Congrats, See Ashley Birch, by, for being in the same thing as Lance Hendrickson. Yes, it's just like Avatar 2. You're right. You're so right. Christopher Winter, 118th Battalion aboard the USS Sephora. So do you think Ashley Birch's character is quirky? Probably. We probably have one quirky Marine. Corporal that Winter, does seem I'm what you do, you right? To reinforce two, three. I wish Are my loved one good? was not dead, I'm but feeling alive. Good, hey, they're not dead yet. I'm worried about two, three. Yeah, give That's time. That's good, because I'm sending you in to catch up with Rhino 2-1. We're trying to get the Sulaco flight recorder so we can... I should have rewatched that insane video they put out before this came out. Oh, the trailer that's just absolute horseshit. Yeah, the complete lies. Attention, chicks and dicks of the USS Sephora. As of right this second, Rhino 2-1 and Rhino 2-3 are fighting to get a hold of the situation we're in. We don't leave Marines behind. Over the next two hours, we're going to send a series of dropships over to aid with Kazavak on the USS Sulaco. Sir, the Sulaco was reported last seen over Fury That's Ashley Birch. How is it back over this planet? Lieutenant Reed, thanks for the interruption. We don't know how that boat got back here. Right now, we're worried about what's killing our Marines in there. This is a liquid situation. Information to follow as it comes online. Ready up. Good hunting, Marines. Oorah to Ash. Oorah! Listen up. What I need right now is information. No heroics, no bullshit. I need you to be my eyes in there. Report back anything you see so I know what I'm up against. Roger that. Tell Rhino 2-1 I'm in I wonder if timeline-wise, this is at home. <laughs> oh. I didn't expect the game to just start with a I found a gun animation. Right? That's hilarious. The gun animation was better than I expected if anything to look in this game. Same. Man, this is running at 60-ish, almost. This is just... How just in the world can we interact with this is with X button? Oh, okay. Yeah, I just did that. Air air pressure release or pissed off snakes. <laughs> Oh man, I remember this from the trailer. It totally looked exactly this good. Yes. And not unbelievably insanely better. Wow, it's just like Bioshock already. Yeah. That's a good sign. Right? Explosive decompression in the Sulaco. This is Raider 6-5. The umbilical is venting Atmo into the black. Looks like Don't wanna hurry? Dicey. Raider, I need grown up words. You have 20 minutes before a total collapse. Shut it down. Where Big Judas vibes here. <laughs> Continuing on to the Sulaco. Winner out. You wait, it's labeled inner door. 
I guess it's, yeah, because there's two doors. Mm -hmm. That's the inner. That was the outer side of the inner door. That's why my brain was like, what? Gotcha. Can you uh, aim your gun to the right of any of these people so we can frame it better, like the ones on the right? Cool, I just want to try my best to... Good luck timing it with the light, Dan. Right. Windows with its fucking latency. We're good. Okay. Twitter needs to know. Yes, absolutely. Everyone needs to know we're, we're finally playing the legend of Aliens and Colonial Marines. The LV to bring up the motion tracker. Continue to scan on 180 degree cone in front of you. Unknown object. Okay, yeah. Ooh. You two here. Wow, it's and like I'm playing a 3DO game. Just like, the Just like the movies. Just like the 3DO game. Wait. I got an unidentified signal. Something's moving. It's a four action. It sounds like two, three are holding position. Boy, they're down. Oh, they're not. That was just movement in their area. They could be under attack. For actual, I'm heading what? into rendezvous with two. I don't know. Remember what I said about heroics, hmm? kid. Actual out. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He, he's there, right? And that person yelled out, and that's why he ran over to that. That because that's him. Yeah, he has the arm tattoo. He's the one doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just man, he ran through you, right? Like all of that was just sort of things that happened in the room, not that were really directed. <laughs> Are they in the vents? Are we doing that immediately? See, you can use your flashlight uh, by pressing down on the D-pad. Okay. And I can have the radar out at the same time, too. Oh, my God. Doom 3 or your heart out. Right? I can't shoot and use the radar at once. That's too much. All I knew about this game was the Alien Resurrection GameSpot review where it was mentioned. They reviewed the movie Alien Resurrections and they brought up this game. On GameSpot. Yeah, what? What? A lot of stuff. <laughs> Um, is there an Alien Resurrections game? X to use your welder. Wait, what? Process takes some time. Please complete a vulnerable to enemy attack. Doors with solid red lights are locked and cannot be opened. Okay, it's flashing red light. I can use a light alert. So oh. then you don't know anything about this game. It sounds like you just know about the Alien Resurrections game. Or do they do a new review of Alien Resurrections, the PS1 game? Oh no, it's already all alien and alien-y. Holy shit. Are you seeing this, Captain? This looks way better than I thought it would. Me too. I bet that that's going to drop that's out That's because every room's really tiny. Right. Oh man, though, can you imagine the bottom falls out of this floor? The, the bottom falls out of this game in the next hour. Absolutely. And by next hour, I mean the first hour. A camera. What's wrong with my mouth? Where am I? Where am I? When I... When I... Grab, grab your torch. Cut me the hell out of here. <laughs> Shoot that thing! Shoot that thing! You use your motion tracker. Kill Zeno. He's in the ceiling.
So in the next hour, huh? <laughs> Don't worry about me. Go kill them. Hey. Oh, there's another one. I can't. It's in the fucking ceiling. So do you think it's just somewhere and we need to find out? Probably. It's probably just I like moved through the level and it, it then has some other scripted moment. It looks like there's an area we can move to past this dude on the far corner of the room he's in. The guy. Oh, the guy? Yeah. Yeah, the guy who's in the wall. So I think there's an exit on the opposite, this corner, on the left. I mean, that's where I came from. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So they, put, they might have had him run back here. Yeah, I thought the radar looked like it, but it could be wrong. Why did it say 20 feet away for one second? Oh. Hey, buddy. That was easy. Why are those pussies in the movie always having trouble with these things? Yeah, I don't know. Also, uh, the, how did I survive even that first encounter? I feel like I would be instantly dead already. Oh, Another on. one comes out. God, it's making so much Poor weird asses. noise. This is winter. I've located keys from Rhino 23. There's some bodies down here, but some are missing. There are one or two Marines missing from Rhino 23. They're all dead. He's gone. I got you, buddy. Winner, regroup what's left. Get him back to the hangar and the rest of 2-1. Do not engage. This is keys from 2-3, sir. Our mission was to recover the flight data from the... Son, I gave you that mission and it's over. Now regroup and come. We have to know what caused this. The flight recorder can get us... Now regroup and come. <laughs> you shut your goddamn mouth and follow your orders. Shut <laughs> your goddamn mouth and regroup and come. <laughs> Can you aim down sight? Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. It just takes too long. Cause Understandable, yeah. No. You gotta buy us ten minutes to grab the flight wreck. Our Marines aren't gonna die for nothing. You've got five standing in the car. Back here. Keep an eye out for Bella Keys. Little rod of ashes, Marine. We'll keep an eye out. Thanks, O'Neill. I feel like I'm going insane. Is that's right. Uh, under barrel RB. Okay. Is is keys? Down here with us. Nolan North. It sounds like him, doesn't it? Yeah. I I'm starting to get dizzy. At least he won't be in Ride to Hell Ret Road to Retribution, right? Right. Wait. There's no way. Yeah. Ride to Hell Retribution. There we go. I'm also surprised the acid blood isn't a problem. Right, that's kind of the thing with them, is that it is a problem. Oh my god. Chat's trying to, uh, one person in chat's trying to convince me that aliens are actually fine when there's just one. It's only when they ambush you that they're a problem. And I'm like, I haven't seen those movies in a bit now. <laughs> but this seems ridiculous. This is now ridiculous, even if that other thing they said was the case. Because we are now just fighting off hordes of them. Enemies behind us. I do remember in the in Aliens, they set up like an auto turret and it mows down a ton of them. That's true. But you know, they should be bleeding on us as we kill them, right. which would then kill us. Yes. There should be a lot more dangers involved here. Retrieving. Route, two mics to you. changing items instantly oh, like it's an online it's multiplayer game is fucking attack. killing me. It's fair. There's no way the flight wreck didn't tape the assholes that did it to the Salako. If we make it back with this thing, who knows what we'll find. <coughs> Was that intentional? <laughs> I think he tripped. <laughs> 
Okay, that hurt me, I think. It might have been in the blood. Uh, are you sure you didn't step in the other one's blood? I might have. You got some tough face. <laughs> That's what you say to a rugged guy before you make out with them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I have some <laughs> some Girl Scout cookies and ah! <laughs> the fact that alien just door opens and stands there like, hey, <laughs> like oh, no. Sonic 06 animation. What is he doing? He's just deposing at us now. <laughs> well, you were dead, and the alien doesn't care about the other tasty human. No. Oh, hey, real quick. What's up? Look down the hallway. Oh, geez. So you see how the, the walkway becomes mush? Yes. And it's the tropic filtering. It's important. It is. Why are we putting ray tracing in games? Yeah, obviously, nice tropic filtering is more important than ray tracing. Yeah. Which is funny. Like this, this ancient this technology. Thing from, that came out before I was in high school, maybe? Right. But at very least was a very common thing by the time I got out. Is more important to visual fidelity than fucking ray tracing. What's the all fire in this? I don't know. It's shot still. I used up one of my ant rounds up there. Oh, geez. I was very confused as to where any of that what happened. Understandable. It truly understands. Use the Xenomorph dodge ability to quickly... But wait, use the what? <laughs> They definitely at least got the sound effects for these guns to sound right for this one. Like, that's how it sounded mm -hmm. in the movie. Yeah. So because of the Alien game that came out right after this, uh huh. I assume this too would be stealthy at all. Oh, no, no. That was never the point with this one. Um, where is the my light? Hold me, but it was down on the deep end. There we go. That is, uh... I'm actually kind of floored over the notion that this is going to be all action. <laughs> because yeah, whole... one, Gearbox couldn't have made a good one of those anyway. No. Two, it's going to be that glitchy and it's just scripted moment after moment of action. Right. Because it's not even a stealth thing. Incredible. Mm hmm. And Dark Void was weird. <laughs> Dark Void was weird. I'm gonna be. So much knowledge was gained this week. <laughs> X Blade is one room. <laughs> Dark Void is weird. Earthworm Shim 3D is transphobic. <laughs> So the question becomes, what is Aliens Colonial Marines? On the dropship! Watch this! Grenada! Keys, wait! <laughs> you your damn mind! It's an umbilical! Attention. Oh no, there's white android blood. And white android pieces. Remember aliens? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's Bishop. It's, yeah, this is seemingly very directly tied right to the timeline. And in the intro they were like, a synthetic has been destroyed, and I was like, oh, we're just okay. 
God, you know what's amazing? Mm. I think I may have seen Aliens 3 more recently than 1 and 2. Wow. And because of how weird that movie is production-wise, mm -hmm. that stands out more in my head than any of the plot. Fair. It's yeah, like, hey, Dan, what happened in Aliens 3? Um, David Fincher makes his worst film ever. Yeah, the Aliens 3 plot's just also really weird. Yeah. It's all set inside a prison. And yeah, it's it's bizarre. It's a weird one. Yes, aliens cubed. Woof. Yeah. Woof. We're running real well. Woof. Hey, hey, I don't think you can spawn this many game. I you you they may want to agree. You may want to just calm down for a second. I think we're supposed to run through the door. Yeah, I think so too, but it was too late by the time I realized that. Hey, are you impressed? Deposed? Are you ready for out? Pre pregnancy? <laughs> Sigma's famous line. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what someone says to Sigma. You have a pretty tough face. <laughs> I mean, that's the most accurate that phrase could ever be. Yeah. I mean, you could grate cheese on that motherfucker's chin. Right. How did I pull out my pistol? Elsewhere in the segment. Why didn't you show me this last, last time? Damage it's just explaining Jeez, regen health thing. Yeah. And damage from the mind? Zeno blood. The right. Miracle. Zeno blood is my favorite JRPG. <laughs> That's not a code chap. Zeta blood cro damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be faster than that. <laughs> Yippee! So I had to As mentioned on yesterday's stream, it got desperate. I was two hundred calories over my budget. Uh-huh. I had to exercise, but one song into Beat Saber, I realized my left arm was fucked up from the day before, like <laughs> mildly fucked up, like I strained it or something. So then I go, can I, can I do Beat Saber like this if it's an easier song? And I did one more song and it was like, no, <laughs> we're going to stop this, go to pistol weapon, do single pistol mode, a thing I never fucking do. Uh, so I did that. It actually still was a, a great exercise. Way better, as it turns out, than Beat Saber at lower difficulties. Huh. Just because the amount of dodging and yeah. meleeing and all sorts of other stuff. Um, and I set all sorts of high scores. I'm going to I'm gonna check that this isn't too loud for the stream. You know what? Just because it's obnoxious sound, I'm going to lower it. Like I'm going to do for us, too. <laughs> yeah. The sound design is terrible, even if it's authentic. Yeah, no, it's like that sort of sound works for a movie. One, right, one scene in a movie. Right. Occasionally in a movie, not nonstop in a game. Mm hmm. Um, Two, one, pack it up and let's move. But I spent a moment as I had to consider. I hope we don't have another Bioshock moment. Team, move, move, move. Oh no, is he gonna. You earned the first rank. Why are you showing me this while he's dying? Why did he... Why did he blow that up? We were still here. You ready for some epic gameplay? Oh, we couldn't even make this gameplay? No. No, that's too much. Halo 4 laughs at this. Do you think they spent more money than God on Halo 4 and they were just like anything but that again? Probably, because that game looks more expensive than five. It does look really expensive. It has a bunch of QTE stuff like this, but, you know, playable. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I bet they did spend way too much money on it. He's had the recorder on him. That was all for nothing. Well, we're not dead. So, you know, there's that. Yeah, okay, this whole time I thought this dude was Patrick Sides. This is Sephora Actual. 2-1. What just happened in the umbilical? Actual, I got solid copy. We lost keys. Pretty sure something exploded from his chest. Is Warner with you? Yes, sir. Any thoughts on the exploding chest issue? 
All of our Cheyenne-class birds en route to provide Kazavak and ground support. That's almost 80 Marines en route, and we gotta get them somewhere to land. The hangar's out of commission, but we got room in the cargo bays. Understood. We are heading to the cargo bay. Two one out. Something's not right. Follow me. Travis Willingham. I always mix him and Patrick Sykes up. <laughs> that explains it. Means he's knuckles, isn't it? Doesn't it? God damn it. <laughs> So for Great. Actual, we're sending back a live feed. Wow, that's up on a space no station with fucking hate. knuckles. He's got way you marked. He's him, dead. <laughs> oh shit! What? Everything it's okay. It'll Patrick be fine. The distress signal from. Uh, Should be uh, good now. <laughs> what's his name? Corporal Hicks. Someday. Actual, this is two one. Someday I'll what just use my MacBook. This? Right. Sir, just literally not touch the PC the ship? whole time we're uh, live unless I need to drop an image. He's also Delson's cop brother. Oh my god. Does that mean he's also uh, Colonel Mustang? Roy Mustang? Mm. Yeah, that's what chat's saying now too. Yeah. What's your status? Woke up gagging on a creature like a spider. It wrapped around my face. It's dead, sir. I got separated from my squad. Any news from the rest of my guys? Rest of 2-3 is presumed dead. I'm sorry, kid. Remnants of Rhino 2-1 are on their <laughs> way to the cargo bay. Yeah, that's Can actually correct. Yeah. Garnet? Oh. Keys? I alien can't pregnant. think right now, Axel. <laughs> She's alien sure pregnant. <laughs> You're the last of Rhino 2-3. Nah. Oh my god. Do best. Get back here alive. Axel out. O'Neill, what's wrong? We had a thing, okay? What kind of thing? A sex thing. Back it up, boy scout. <laughs> Christ. Hey, Bob, I'm gonna ask you to not be scared. Okay. Okay. Don't be scared, Bob. You gotta be okay. Bob? Yeah? You know how the long play? For Dark Void was like four hours. Yeah. Well, the lock play for this is like six. Oh. Oh. I knew it would be bad. I knew it would. Let me just check something. I need to know. Bob's like, is there an out? Is there an out? Is there an out? I can't change the difficulty through the game, can I? Maybe when I. Maybe if we go back to the main screen, we can change the difficulty of the game. Maybe. I mean, it is multiplayer oriented, so that's right? weird be if they didn't let you. And yet, no. There is a lot of stuff You're in this game that made everyone excited for his multiplayer game very upset. These tutorials are integrated very well. Yeah, why they're definitely they... feel complete. Why would, why would they teach you how to melee after you've already fought so many fucking aliens? I don't know. Man, I totally missed how th these ships were infested with aliens. Because I thought the thing was that, oh, we got that message from that other guy and we were going to go investigate the planet where they were. But I guess the, some other team already went there and had two giant spaceships be completely infested by aliens. Oh no. I don't know, Cyber. You're probably thinking of the other alien game. Yeah, I wonder how long afterwards a, a, a isolation was. Uh, it's like two to three years. Beep, beep, hooray! Suicide day. <laughs> beep. Mashing it and get up and what? <laughs> that was weird. Wait, where did, where did Travis Willingham go? I don't know. I don't. 
Well, luckily you left the room, so the alien stopped attacking me. <laughs> Can you pick up health packs? Uh, not if I'm full. Okay, so they're just instant use. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Isolation was fun for like three hours, but it just keeps going. Yeah. I have no idea what that, what that's like. But it got to take so long. I see a Under us. So I have a I have a good question. Yeah, what's up? This is an important question, in my opinion. And I don't, I don't think anyone here could remotely answer it. There's like no way. The amount of impact any drop of filtering has on image quality. Why the fuck was it not a priority for consoles? Still isn't the biggest priority for, for consoles. And if it's so fucking intensive that these consoles need to cut this feature in order to run games well, why haven't we figured out a different way to do it that runs well, that isn't as intense? Right. I don't know, man. We're inventing fake frames before we could do that? Yes. Fucking insane. Look at that They're horrifying, asshole. Dan. I'm scared. Oh, yeah, you're scared of that? That guy? Yeah, that, look at that him. buddy right there. All right. Oh, no. Why do they even give you the radar? They just then spawn things in immediately. I would like to point out again that they're giving us achievements at an alarming rate. They are. Ooh. I still don't know what that is. Oh, that's it's just ammo. I can't figure out what it is when I look at it because mm -hmm. it's purple. Right? It, they made it glow a weird color. Ooh. Oh, that's what's happening. An upgraded what? To activate loadout for excuse me, weapon slots primary. Are you? What's happening? Are you telling me you got a legendary tier shotgun? Because it said it was Hicks shotgun. Right. So I guess press and hold at Y and then select. And there's a difference. Yeah, the lower left is... Wait, no, that's also Hicks shotgun. What's the upper right? The upper right is pump, pump shotgun. shotgun. So okay, so... But now we're using Hicks shotgun. And it has the thing written on it from the movie. Right. Whatever that is. I can't read oh, it. Whoops. You know why? Anisotropic filter. <laughs> okay, so I want to change my secondary to Hicks shotgun. So I can have... Man, this is weird. This is a weird menu. Yeah. But it's real time, so the multiplayer works. Indeed, it's a way for a controller to, to select all those different guns at once. Something that's uh, dangerous. <laughs> I guess you should use Hicks shotgun. It's probably more powerful because it's legendary, right? Yes. Thing you recognize from movie is the most powerful artifact. Defend O'Neill while he opens an exit. There you are, O'Neill, my friend. My good chum. Whatever, just give O'Neill the fucking health back. Just stick it under his feet so the moment he's hurt, he'll just pick it up and he'll be fine. Oh my god. Oh, wow, yeah, what? I think Hicks' shotgun might be worse than the regular shotgun. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason Hicks died. He was like, I wasn't even supposed to be here today. <laughs> I mean, he gets torn up by an alien. <laughs> what a weird thing to just find on the ground. Yes. Are, are you serious? You didn't even checkpoint me after I got it? I thought it was important. Oh, you did. Okay. I yeah, just... I was like, wait a minute, but this is floor three still. So, so. That, that alien tripped and fell. <laughs> <laughs> It's been so funny. You, I think you look away every time it's happened. A lot of times they go under the catwalk and then their tail like just goes uh -huh. woo, yeah, all the way through it. Yeah. Don't worry. When I'm looking over here, I'm also looking at the <laughs> same screen twice over. So I catch a decent bit of it. Why didn't that kill him? Bogashi says O'Neill makes them think of the Matthew Broderick Godzilla movie. Did the name O'Neill? Is that guy's name O'Neill in that movie? Now 
it's Polish, they make a joke out of it. Prominent Marine with that name in the movie? Okay. O'Neill makes me think of Stargate, says Rush Dickenberg. It's okay, just cl wait. <laughs> Fucking flash stepping Xenomorph, fuck. right? Not something I want to do again. Really? You don't want to kiss the Xenomorph again? Not oh no, his head. <laughs> Challenges to find legendary weapons for from the aliens films, marine dog tags, and audio logs. Okay. Oh, good. It's the audio logs that play in one location. You need to stand there instead of ones you take with you. Well, yeah, it's always great. Extends playtime. Rank up! Please, I'm trying to play the game! <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> I'll let it. Leave me alone! Let me play the game! We need the COD rank up sound. I was telling Bob we needed it a long time ago, but then it was like... Yeah, but when are they gonna hit it? Other than at random. Right? That's the cotton rank up sound. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen in this year's Call of Duty because Microsoft fired everyone who was making it. God, that's horrifying. What the heck oh, is yeah, this year's I'm, Call of Duty? I am fucking terrified of this year's Call of Duty. Oh no. You think the giant metal door hitting you at that speed would have been a bigger threat than the aliens, frankly. <laughs> Your face became flat. Hey, I was here the whole time. You, you okay? You got like a weird leg thing going on there. Like he was farting and didn't want you to know. <laughs> I love that they just drop like a rock. <laughs> Bob, with the future NVIDIA is making, this game could have AI dialogue. Oh my God. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be great? That'd be so great. Wait, no, terrible. You can't, you've made alien colonial means worse somehow. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. Dark Void was fine. Yeah, it was pretty good. I would easily give it a seven. Uh, it's a real shame they tried to make a large swaths of it uncharted. It's like two, two whole hours. Right? Across the very beginning and the very end of the game. Mm -hmm. so the first 90 minutes and the last half hour were like, uh, Uncharted? Is and then that, the rest of it is like a game I'm way more interested in. I think it's taken me back an insane amount every time I die here. I die really fast. Because that was the we're, same. We're in trouble. Yeah, we're in trouble. We're I'm going to trouble. see if I can change this difficulty because that's insane. I die in like two hits and then it's like, do the last like 10 minutes. They left the gun in your inventory, which tricked us. Yeah. Because you died at the exact same spot. Yes. Clearly, we're going to have to co-op. I'm going to have to go buy a 360 right now. I don't know who I'm buying a 360 from at 11.20 at night, but... That? Ah. Mission select. Yeah, that would get rid of your... Your checkpoints. Are you... If you hit resume, it's just gonna resume, resume, right? Yes. We might be in trouble. Gun Tank says there's a heal button there. 95% sure. Or 75% sure. See, they haven't got it around to introducing that yet. Oh, yeah, they can play as the enemies. No, I'm not saying it. I'm seeing taunt versus only. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Alien supports quick resume. I wish this was on the Series X. That would be helpful. 
Okay, so Liskin Alpha is currently checking what the differences would be between difficulties. Because obviously, if they didn't actually make changes... Uh-huh. So are those points you spend? They um, are. I guess so I can make... Is there one to increase my health bar? No, these are all guns. Is there one to make oh. the shotgun girderer? Uh, these oh, those, are achievements. Those are achievements, yeah. Pump shotgun? Yeah, they're both pump shotgun. Uh, barrel choke. Yep. That makes it more accurate. Let's see. That's an iron sight and a laser sight. Fire mode. Oh, we don't have the extra thing unlocked for fire. But it does say those things will arbitrarily bring up the accuracy on this. Right. So. Do for the pulse rifle, though, because that's what I'm using most of the time. Zen magazine. Real sight. Laser targeting. So the same stuff, basically. Oh, that, that alternate fire is a, is a, a timed explosive. Oh, cool. Do you have ammo for that already? Mm, yeah, I think I did. Okay. But if I don't I think the Hicks one has it. I told you about the button. Obviously, we just make our accuracy better and our choke better, so that way it's... Wait, the choke actually yeah, is it. also accuracy, yeah, so... so it affects it less than this one, which so it must only take one point. Go put the that. Oh my God, there's so many things. Good job on your achievement. Okay, the difficulty will not change too much. I'm reading people getting killed in four to five swipes from the aliens. Is that a five hour energy? What the fuck? I don't know what that was. <laughs> I think it's a grenade, and you just pulled the pin and put it back in your I pocket. Think it was, <laughs> but that seems insane. You got this. Oh, yeah, you do have the alternate shot. It's that second yeah. layer in there. Yeah. yeah. This is how he is in online co-op games, too. <laughs> oh, my God! In the other room, clearly fighting. Bob's like, oh, these are nice bullets. <laughs> I like these. These are, these are good stuff. See, my brother, however... And this, this is genuine. Uh-huh. He's the opposite. He's ahead of me while I'm behind him screaming, Oh my God! <laughs> and he's picking up loot. <laughs> Surely the looter shooter was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's behind you? Yeah, follow the red ring. That's the same dude who's got you every single time. No, this time, uh, this time I died way earlier than the last two. No, this is a different floor. Same yeah, but corner dude, as the exact guy thing. opens the door on the same wall. Yes. Because we're going up three floors of this fucking thing. Anyways, uh, on my earlier comment, all I was going to say is, man, doing giant death streams and being on a diet and exercising is really fucking hard. Yeah. If God could just snap his fingers and I could stop being chubby, that would be fucking helpful. <laughs> He's just thinking about things. We need to reach the top of the ground. O'Neal, did you fire even we one bullet? No. <laughs> of course not. Why would O'Neal do that? Fuck you, O'Neal. So let me this this seems like a really good upgrade for this gun, and I might as well have it on my that's pulse rifle too, because if it makes the the bullets just hit. Um, what's up? The last update on this game decreased players' overall health and increased the pl the damage from enemies because yeah. people were complaining it was too easy. Oh my god! Did we try and unupdate the game? I'm gonna be honest, not a bad idea, right? Because all we have to do is uninstall the game, and mm -hmm. I think it will unupdate it, right? And then we have to disconnect from the internet. Right. Which is just me unplugging a cable. This is... 
I'm, no, I'm, I'm trying. Just... Xbox, go home. Hey, I'm gonna hook the Xbox One Connect up to the Series X, and it, it's just gonna light up and care that <laughs> it can hear us. All right, and just delete. Yes. God, yes. And now, don't even install it. Well, God, do we think it might? I mean, it has to load every time we die, right? Right. And if this isn't the weirdest stream we've ever done, right? I don't know what is. Man. Oh, wow. Well, this is going to take a little while. Oh, yeah. No, no. Installing is not fast. No. Not fast. Anyways, let's uh, go ahead and. Uh... Thank you, Randy. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. Well, the magic show is at a destry, but it's not like we're going to be doing magic for 12 hours. Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know what magic show lasts 12 hours. That's not a magic show. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> I did not know they made an Aliens RTS. Huh. That makes sense. That, that, that's a cool idea. I'm, I went to make food. Why are we watching a loading bar and baking Randy? Oh, shoot. Man. The last patch on the game apparently raised the enemy damage and lowered the health bars of players significantly. So we're uninstalling the game and reinstalling the game so we could get rid of the patch. Because fuck that noise! Yeah, no, I don't want to die in like three hits. It doesn't even make sense. Hey gamer, you're looking pretty lonely. <laughs> Just Randy. <laughs> Speaking of which, I guess we have the the thing we were talking about of just getting purple lights casting down on us. So uh -huh. all we have to do is put the TV for the stream up there. <laughs> so that way we could just spend the entire stream. Let me let me move that so that way we can get the lighting appropriate. <laughs> Damn it, it doesn't go forward. But yeah, there we go. Perfect. So it would just be this. <laughs> with a dr more dramatic camera. Angle. Right, right. God, my neck would get so tired. So obviously, to save myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same mood, right? It kind of is. It's the kind of funny version of it. <laughs> Why are we only at 22%? Because they hate us. R slash TV too high. You know, I only heard about that the other day, Basami. Have you heard of that? No, I haven't heard of that. It's a subreddit for people bitching about TVs being put over fireplaces or mounted on the wall too high. That makes sense. And That's I was like, good. damn. They're spitting for real. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, you're just causing that problems. That's all you're doing by mounting I mean, it something so high. Nice in a room where you only stand. Like a <laughs> lounge, right? Like uh huh. A, um, Entry, a vestibule. <laughs> my my fucking living room is not a vestibule. <laughs> uh. For, forever mad that this was able to release, but the Obsidian Aliens RPG was canceled. Oh, I didn't man, know about that. Actually, that. could have been sick. That could have been pretty cool. Damn. I wonder if that was one of the things that happened while Microsoft was trying to choke them out. <laughs> Bob, I'm actually trembling with rage. Can we not? Can we not ask chat? Hey, Chad, do these two numbers line up in order to make them history's worst criminal? <laughs> hey, guys. I need new reasons to be upset at Xbox. <laughs> I think I'm going to grab one of my protein bars or something. Cool, you do that. I'm going to need to eat something that isn't, you know, prosciutto rolls at some point.
I brought a red bean paste bun. Oh shit! Can you can you show that to the camera? Ooh! Yeah. So hopefully that's good, and hopefully that that probably is good. I think that's gonna be good. Do the they... lighting for some reason I'm like, is that mold? I'm worried. I'm gonna have to take this to real good lighting. Yeah, let me look at this one moment. Because it said it's not expiring until like I think in a year, so it shouldn't be molding. But it, it, with the weird lightings we have. Bob. Bob. I don't think that's like. Did you ask for molded bread over to eat? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, us eating moldy bread is more exciting than aliens, colonial marines. <laughs> Anything is possible. You know, obviously I should just do some fitness boxing to get us through this install time. How does everyone feel about that? Feeling good? I ain't doing that. This is a joke. The reason I'm not doing that, I don't want to be fucking sweaty for the entire fucking rest of the stream. How's your arm feeling for that? Total shit. I was going to do DDR after the stream to burn the calories today because Tosh can sleep through me playing DDR on that steel pad you see in the background. Oh, this seemed like a fun stream. Spiff, uh, apparently the last patch for Aliens Colonial Marines buffed the difficulty on the game, and Bob is dying like four swipes. Maybe even only two or three. Yeah, it, was it was dire, so... Having heard that, we figured we would give it a chance by uninstalling the game and reinstalling it to get rid of the patch. That was absolutely moldy. I that was moldy it. as hell. Yeah. When did you buy it? Uh, it's been like a month or so. Okay, that's something. At it's least. just that it had a super far out date, so I was like, it's probably fine. Yeah. I didn't even look at it. More people need to play Armored Core Nexus, including me. <laughs> also, another issue I haven't been drinking enough water. I don't, I haven't had water this one. Yeah, you need to hydrate. We need the button. I'm the last streamer on Twitch who needs the hydrate button. <laughs> I need a piss button. <laughs> chat reminds me of you. We cannot give chat a piss button. This works. This works. <laughs> <laughs> It put the haze guy on screen. Scrunt. Fucking scrunt. Hey, I'm back. Hi, uh, how's it going? We are going to check out the September lineup. I had 20k steps on my Fitbit way. because it picked up my rhythm playing fitness boxing too. Yeah, because you're supposed to do the back and forth on the beat. Uh huh. Doing that actually even made me aware of I the, bet. the specific. It's at this point I should know, this arm perfectly fine. Swish. This arm not, because this arm not very fit compared to this arm. Fitness boxing, one of the few things that very much puts you in the zone of, no, you are doing both types with both arms <laughs> instead of ring fit where you can put more pressure on the ring with your right hand than That's your true. left. That's true. Yeah, you need... Ba -da -da -da. That was punching. Yeah, no, it's that whole that arm. That arm's doing it. Yeah, you have to you have to take this stance, and you have to do both of your what is it jabs and straights. Yeah, that is the exact muscle, isn't it? Now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, last week I actually had a chance to go check out a Taekwondo place around here. Oh shit! I couldn't find any karate places, but now now I have found some. But they meet at a community center. Another one just meets on the mountain, which that sounds cool. So I need to try to check that out. Yeah, you you show up. I'll pretend I don't know you at all. <laughs> I'll show up, but I'll have a camera. <laughs> 
This is this is possibly even better than the D&D &D group that meets at the Hardee's on Mondays at 8 p.m. Yes. This town sure has some interesting things going on. Kick a dude <laughs> off a mountain! <laughs> I assume that there is some sort of park on the top of the mountain, because it can be driven up. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I did it once to get a thing from Walmart. They had a piece of furniture up here, up there that they didn't have down here. Mm. Yeah, yeah well, I guess there's some sort of, um, like, Shinto shrine or something built up there. Which is weird. That's cool. <laughs> you have to go scout that sometime, Dan. Uh, the D&D &D thing? Hell yeah, I do. Right? That thing's Legit. really insane. <laughs> I need to know. I need to know. Bob, please go find a boxing gym or something. Anything but Taekwondo. Yeah, I was going to, uh, yeah, you know, we got the, derailed with the cool mountain did. thing. But I was going to say, Bob, do you understand if you take Taekwondo lessons, Agro will never stop giving you shit. It's true. Because he took real Taekwondo and literally nothing but his class when he took it is real. At least, this wasn't ATA, at least. This is, it wasn't that. Oh, okay. It was weird that it just... It was only, like, eight people, including me, there. Hmm. I wonder if there's a local video production community. Maybe. You would think. There, it's a yeah, pretty so big like, city. There's fancy camera places now, even. Yeah. Da, 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 All right, 100% complete. Oh, yeah. I kept the patch. Why? <laughs> How? <laughs> the worst part, we won't know. I know, right? But uh, this is the Xbox 360. There is no way. Right? Right? I guess the way we could tell is if we plugged in the, the cable and it was like, oh, there's, a, there's an update. But then we would have to be able to prevent it. Right? Which is something we can't Which do. Which I guess, I mean, like, I could do, I could unplug it. There's all, it might be, like, insanely small, like, oh, yeah, and then it's done immediately. It is really small, but it did fill. Like, I was able to watch it fill. Okay. Because I patched it. Okay. You're like, wait, it was you? Well, wait, 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 wait. Let's see if we can find a menu that'll tell us what version it is. Ooh. None of these. What about, uh... Oh, right, shift codes Fucking are, are gearbox. gearbox thing. Do, do, Service do, do. record? Do, 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 do. On there. Our save is still working with this version, which is a little worrying. Man, you can see the anisotropic filtering, like the texture just blurring at certain distances. Anyway. I don't see any more options to... Um, Class. And the Xbox doesn't really let you do much in terms of looking at stuff on. No, not really. There's a chance if we went to the home menu and then looked at the game and then hit the start button. Right. Game details. It should have more here. Mm -hmm. It should. You can view this version in storage in setting okay uh they patched the game at the very very end juice of frost to insanely raise the difficulty by making you die in fewer hits because people said the game was too easy this was their solution so we deleted the game and then reinstalled it so that way we don't have to deal with that hopefully what is, what is this the playstation 5 yeah what is this the playstation 5 Um, maybe there's a different place with it? I can't think of where else it would be. To die in fewer hits and also make enemies stronger. Yeah, so that's fucking insane, yeah. Game options, maybe. Yeah, nothing. All right. All right. 
Gamer picture sounds bad. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> oh well. Let's play it and pray. I get over the home. If only I could use my voice to tell the Xbox to go home. The pad menu that whole thing is. Like, I'm in the game section. That's not the right section to play your game that's inserted with the disc. You need to go over to the home section. <laughs> Guys, did your logo need to have the Matrix sound? I feel like that wasn't Aliens coded at all. That's the, how little they made this game. Uh -huh. Think. Anyway. In game, do we have any more up? Sure picked up exactly where we left off. It did. Hello, Daihime! How is it going? What were they you doing kill tonight? Me, kill me in two hits. Oh no. Oh no. Died. Oh no. Bob. Let's, lower let's the, lower the, the, yeah. lower the difficulty. Yeah. Good lord, this game is imbalanced. God, bad, bad stuff is just shooters. This, so. this honestly has been the worst about this. It like, has. This game is unreal levels of, this is not balanced. You just threw numbers at the wall. Anyways, hi, how's it going? Welcome, Raiders, uh, to Alien Colonial Marines. Apparently, you'll get to see it from the beginning. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's, select. Select. let's see what select. we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah fine. Fine. That's what do we? Oh, wow. Wait, we're on were we on level three? No. We were on level one. But we one. can see how many there are. So one, two, back. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <sighs> ten, eleven. Yeah, that looks like eleven. Team Deathmatch! Or, or it's so weird that that campaign's just under this. Okay. I played Record of Lodos War, Deedlit in Wonder Labyrinth, because anime elf girls are back in. They sure fucking are. Yes. Uh, I would like to note that I wish I was playing that. Mm-hmm. I, I heard I, it was might have been the April Fool's thing that they they talked about doing a skip it, skip it. Yeah, a, a not uh, Toho Luna Nights two. Oh really? Yeah. Hopefully that wasn't April Fool's. Yeah, hopefully not. Because oh man, that's still their best game. Even though Record Lore Hours War is pretty cool. Those are the angry snake. Yeah. Masonica says it was an April Fool's because they were doing a shooter Metroidvania. Winner, what the hell just happened in there? Raider six five, are you in the air yet? Man, you you just you don't even have to play in a second here. It'll play itself. Yeah. Hello, Altriok. How's it going? Oh my God. Everybody's ready. Thanks oh my for God. coming in. What were you playing tonight? Everyone's playing all these good games. Right, and we're just like, us. we're in the demon pit. This is the shooter where you die one hit. <laughs> it's like if we were hanging out at a really shitty Waffle House or something, and everyone just came from a really nice restaurant. Yeah, I just came from the IHOP. I got the Sonic meal. It's like, ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> is the Sonic meal real, or is that also April Fool? <laughs> oh, are you talking about Denny's? Uh, no, it's the IHOP. Oh, IHOP. Right, right, right. Um, that's leaked. So that's not out yet. Okay. That's why it's not real yet. Okay. I was playing Grand Blue versus trying oh, to man. figure out Vayne. Oh, that's good. Man, that sounds like a great time. I keep reading that he's recently added because he's been in Relink since launch. But he just got into versus. No, Dan, they are just opening the manhole in the alley of the Waffle House and going, what is going on down there? <laughs> I sure am just down there. Uh, for people who don't follow Eltriog, Eltriog is a very handsome uh, VTuber who uh, streams. Okay, well, that's, you know, objectively, yes, that's in the tags. <laughs> 
They stream video games, yeah. <laughs> what? On Twitch? Is that, is that the new thing? Thank, thank you, chat, for doing my job for me, I guess. I just need to provide enough sounds. <laughs> Handsome, wow. Yeah, so yes, I'm real gay. <laughs> Sephora Actual. I'm heading into rendezvous with 2-3. Remember what I said about heroics, kid. Actual out. <laughs> Sir, there's... Uh... The person who did that's like, not the VTuber, Vane, I'm sorry! <laughs> well, you lucked out. That was a, uh, actually accurate, yes. Right, like that That could have been really offensive. <laughs> but luckily, you landed it. Uh, also, we shouted out Daihime a moment ago, so we can't shout out again. But uh, Daihime... Uh, also constructs Gunpla and plays video games of a variety, Looks like which is pretty cool because I've actually never made one teams. of those construction clip kip things out. ever in my life because my I, I don't have the articulation. To, mm -hmm. uh, I keep talking about enslaving Tosh to make her make it for me. <laughs> Nah, it's cool. I've told that story 37 times in 10 seconds, Heartless. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Holy shit. There are simple ones where you snap pieces together. Huh. Gogashi still has an IBO. Iron Blooded Orphans. Gunpla sitting on his table from 2020. Yeah, that's what happens when I've. <sighs> I I'm hoping at some point to get some furniture back here to uh -huh. display some of my Nendroids because I have really good Nendroids, like a Tails Nendroid and a Conan Edogawa Nendroid and a Mega Man Nendroid and some Amiibos and stuff. Hey, that's my dad. Dan, why would you enslave your wife? Because I have been infected by toxic masculinity <laughs> is the only way I can get ahead in this world. Something's happening. I'm glad to see unpatching didn't change that. No. Eltriarch asked, how is this game? Uh, unbalanced completely, difficulty-wise. There's some bodies down here, but some are missing. Uh, yeah, he They're dies in like two hits. Maybe two three, three, but so we lowered the difficulty and now we're starting from the beginning because we didn't even get that far. He's yeah. Gone. Sit tight. I got you, buddy. Winner, regroup what's left. Get him back uh, Black Rose Duelist, subscriber for 24 months. Thank you so much. Uh, says, did we talk about how the game was fixed by editing in any file? Was it in any file that guy edited? It was It was something that simple, yeah. I know it it's a text string, but I don't think it was in any file, right? It was just one typo in some other file maybe, in the game. Yeah, maybe it was just some other typo. Yeah, I thought it was somewhere else because they misspelled, they misspelled the Xenomorph name or something. They misspelled Alien. They didn't oh my god, yeah, that's right. They wrote Aileen. Yes. A-L-E-I-N. And that broke the AI entirely. Alright. No. You gotta buy us ten. Masumi says Earthworm Jim 3D taught Dan the realities of women. Thank you, Sliskin, for gifting a sub to Eltriog. Let me tell you, as a streamer, nothing makes me happier than you gifting me a sub for someone whose channel I watch. Not to imply Eltrioc regularly watches us and we're Eltrioc approved and we have like an Eltrioc sticker or anything, but I'm just saying, it does make me really happy when I, you know, just get a sub for someone I watch. It really does help. Because I, I wish I could sub to every person on Twitch, like, that I watch. But it's so much, you know? Right, yeah. That adds up I quick. often have to go into my subs regularly and cut back. Because it's a lot. Cozy Cozy says, Going to bed, sure hope to not wake up at 5 a.m. again to the end of this game being another nightmare like last night. What? It won't be the same kind of nightmare. It'll just be insanely hard. You don't know that. Okay, yeah, that's true. I don't know. You don't know that the end of the game isn't... A terrible upfront, 
textual or subtextual trans woman allegory where we have to drown her. By the way, that was Earthworm, G G Earthworm Gym 3D. That is not a joke. That is the text of that game. Anyway, Ultrax says, do you want an L to your sticker? I don't have any, but you know, I can figure something out. Hmm. Hmm. We will talk about it on Big Thing to Mention on Thursday. Yes. You Please look forward to that. Agro has no idea. <laughs> also, yeah, I guess you should say for the people who are new here. Hi, if you've ever seen me in l chat, it's me. I'm Dan. This is Bob. Um, every Friday, we beat a different game in a, one stream, one sitting. It is a death stream. We stream occasionally on other days. Right now, we're in the middle of the Demon Pit week, which has consistently been the worst game in every genre. Yes, we found them all. Except for tonight, I feel like we're gonna have a mid game and a bad game, but not the worst game. Right, like this is bad, but it's not like the worst shooter. Like that's a huge, that's a bar you, that's hard to cross. Right. I'm so glad I missed the end of the stream now. I was dizzy because nothing. I was legitimately in shock for the next two hours. I legitimately started getting dizzy and trying to fight off the sensation of this isn't real. No N64 game ends with the mental journey that concludes with your trans drown the trans woman in your head to survive. <laughs> That's a seventh gen gaming thing that would not happen on the N64. Right. That didn't even happen in seventh gen. What the fuck? So yeah, I was, uh, you, my face started tingling. I started feeling dizzy. It was so insane. Yeah, basically the last thing anyone would ever expect. Yeah. Absolutely fucking nuts. I am out of your location in one mic. You're late. Uh, subscribe with Zebra Master was subscribed with Prime Sub saying Amazon is literally trying to obfuscate my option to Prime Sub to you, Giga Boys. Jesus, really? Weird. Chris says didn't happen in seventh gen. We don't know that, Dan. Yeah, exactly. I feel like we've been on such a long journey. We got we get through singularity and it's there. Like, that would be fucking right. unreal for a game called Singular to end with that. Yeah, it would. Uh, uh, let's see. What if there's some game with a 35 Metacritic nobody has played in 10 years? Yeah, this week. <laughs> but yeah, on a long enough timeline, I feel like we'll end up there. Yeah. Let's see. I'm I'm getting <laughs> trying to sort out all my my male VTuber friends adjectives correctly, right? Uh huh. Cause Gamma Cute's Chris, or wait, Gamma Gamma Chris is cute. Eltriox handsome. I believe Daihime is regal. Did he take that from Chris? I don't remember. Chris, all I remember is hearing that he would be a Grand Vizier that would poison you or something, <laughs> which doesn't really fit into the same category as these three other words. <laughs> Venomous. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Sliskin, for giving Daihime a sub. <laughs> Well, well, Chris Wolfart, how do you how do you feel about the adjective haughty? <laughs> H H A U G H T Y. Ah, I see. Respectful. <laughs> oh sure. God. Evil handsome. I hate that every time an alien kills me, he he, he freezes just it goes, in the hug pose. What? What? Now you fucked up. <laughs> now you fucked up. Now you fucked up. You were fucked up now. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody could make the aliens in this game make that sound instead of the sounds they're making, that would really... It would elevate it. <laughs> Mr. Xenomorph, be quiet! Shut the fuck up, Slim Jim! <laughs> Get to the umbilical! 
I'm gonna do what I should have done a long time ago. I'm gonna blow up the whole ship. <laughs> <laughs> Sliskin says it makes me about as mad as how the skeletons in Dark Souls walk straight up to the camera with their stupid fucking chattering teeth. <laughs> At least Dark Souls is a comedy game in some ways. And the, yeah. Where is the grenade? They doesn't. Do I need to like pull up my weapons wheel? Fuck you! What? Because I have f three in the corner over uh -huh. there. Uh huh. Tactical. Oh, that's your um sub weapon. My God! Oh! Oh! Is it? it, it so but this you is did my grenade. also have three grenades. Okay. Yeah. So that Excuse is me, me sorry, hitting Reverend. left on the D-pad to pull out the grenade, and then I can throw it. Okay. And that can just not work. Ah, right. that was embarrassing. Yeah, it was. It went all of three feet and just went. <laughs> like there was nothing there. Also, for anyone who's curious, we do games from the entire timeline. So we do games that are new if they're interesting enough. But we largely do 7th gen, retro, or like in between new. We do a lot of theme months and other things. It just so happens that our viewers voted the theme to be Demon Pit. They had 20 other things they could have chosen. <laughs> they wanted to see the worst games humankind had ever made. And they wanted us to show them. Right. All the way through. We could have mystical ninja goe month. But we got Demon Pit. They were like, Demon Pit, Demon Pit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's still there's still things back there. No, don't worry about it. If I don't look at it, it's not real. Uh, how did you come up with the name Demon Pit? Well, we used to have a bunch of pits. And they were full of demons. And uh, then we had, we had to reduce to one. So that way it's strong enough to compete. Because, uh, as, as somebody once said, ain't nobody going to read. <laughs> he pulled the pit on that before he even, before he could he feel even it. popped out. He could feel it. <laughs> I still am like, why did he do it? His allies were all in here. Unclear. Like, that's something you, you absolutely do not do when your allies are nearby. <laughs> Bellarum says, God, nostalgia is such a drug. I remember this looking better. I, honestly. This is better than I remember looking. <laughs> yeah, same. One, that, two. I've only ever had that problem with one game in my life. And that game was Claymates, which actually, it wasn't how it looked. Mm -hmm. That was the problem. It looked right. exactly as I remembered. But I remembered it being a great game. A rather good game. It isn't. This is Sephora Actual. Two one. Can you read me? What just happened in the umbrella? This is Florida Actual. I got solid copy. We lost key. Pretty sure. Something Thank you exploded. everyone for the hype chain. Level you. one. Yes, sir. My God. Level Any thoughts one. on the exploding chest issue? That's like. The All lowest the level of hype <laughs> My god. No, Claymates isn't good. Land. It's, uh, commission, but we got pressing how not good base. it is. Understood. We are heading... I, I worry I'm gonna have to beat that game, though. Not right. Follow me. The Marines know about the aliens by this point in the timeline. Who knows? It Not sounds me. like the Marines as a whole is an organization do, but we on the field aren't informed about them. That's what it sounds like from just the radio chatter I'm picking that, up. That would be what you would do in Aliens. Right. Because every time they're acting like, what do you know about chest bursters? The CEO is like, he ignores them and moves on to something else. Biff says, I need you to beat Claymates so I can see it through Avenge My Youth. You didn't see the dot stream? Because dot Avenge My Youth, I'm good, actually. <laughs> There's no way this is Colonial Marine Tech. It's got way you marking, sir. Holy shit. What? Everything is timestamped after we received the distress signal from, uh, uh, what's his name? Corporal Hicks. Actual, this is 2-1. What do you make of this?
me see if I can get an upgrade for this gun. He didn't. Did you earn any? Yeah, that's in the upper right. Okay. I just, I thought you already had one before. I did. I used them. Oh, you used both. What'd you use the second one on? Uh, b bigger magazine for this gun. Okay. Yeah, that seems like a good choice. What, what else can we get the shotgun? All right, make it even more accurate. Uh, yeah, sure. That, that will be useful. Wait. That right? Sliskin Alpha is saying you have the assault rifle now because you leveled up. So really? It just gave me an assault rifle? Yeah, ship. press and hold the Y button. Let's find out. I do. That's a weird way for that to work. Man, I figured... this game is really multiplayer oriented. Right? Despite the content here really not being. Yeah, can you even co-op all the way through this game? Or do you it just have I other assume. multiplayer modes? Just because of the lobby, right? Yeah gagging on a creature like a spider it wrapped around my face it's dead sir i got separated from my squad any news from the rest of my guys thank you vine ultimate for the is presumed dead i'm sorry kid remnants of rondo 2 one are on their way to the cargo bay can you get to the cargo bay 23 garnet keys i can't even think right now actual i'm not sure how to get there sir you're the last of Rhino 2-3. Do your best. No. Get back here alive. Actual out. O'Neill, what's wrong? It sounded like Bella. She... <clears throat> we had a thing, okay? When are we gonna find Tiny kind of Tina? A sex thing. Bob, I don't. I don't think Tiny Tina's on this vehicle. I think that just sounds like Ashley Birch. Fine. And if anyone, it would be Aloy. In my head, I was like, is... What? The, 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 like, yeah, the tiny teenage should be hers, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Man, what a, what a more iconic role. <laughs> Which one? Tiny Tina. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I have a flame shot now. Well, I like that catching them on fire makes them stop running at you at all. Right. That's helpful. And you could also light Colonel Roy Misting on fire. You know, why not? Man, that's crazy. This dude's doing this at the same time he's doing infamous second son. Huh. It's a little crazy. That is crazy. Tiny Tina is the worst Borderlands character. Hmm. Not sure how to feel about that statement. That makes her extremely iconic. <laughs> Just so we're clear. <laughs> you know? Yes. Yeah, I feel like Claptrap might be the worst character. That, that alien just jibbed. He did. That happens Cause, sometimes. Because he bumped into the desk after being shot. They couldn't <laughs> figure it out, I guess. <laughs> I don't... I know they shoot limbs off the aliens in the movies. That has definitely right. happened, but there's something about the way it happens in a video game that just makes it look funny. It, it is really funny because they go fully limp in yes, every way. and then their leg just stiff. disconnects and falls off at a different speed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyways. I'm glad these animals aren't the ones that, you know, that know how to sneak around in vents and just run headfirst into walls. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. This feels like a Gary's Mod game mode from 2009. Uh, yeah, what was the name of that thing? Oh, uh... Prey something? Altered Species? No, it's like... Uh, somewhere... Natural Selection? Yeah, Natural Selection. What a cool thing. Natural selection was pretty cool. It was funny seeing a Borderlands 3 writer trying to give a lecture and everyone laughing. What? 
What is this context? Hey, Gil, how's it going? If you like RPG video games, you should follow Gil. He is an RPG video game streamer who generally streams in what the central daylight time zone in the United States would call morning. He's got good chill vibes, and I, I'm trying to remember what game he's working through now. I saw it just yesterday in between streams. Yo, what are you playing right now over on your channel? E's Origin! Ooh! Yeah! Good shit. Good shit. <laughs> right? Because in a movie, uh -huh. you would shoot it and the practical would explode here and it looked crazy as the arm chunk flew off at an angle and there was sprayed blood. And instead this, it's like, oh no, my action figure fell apart. Oh man, Bob, you did it. We finally did it. Right? We managed to avoid drowning. Okay. Do you think he can follow? I guess he can. I'm surprised. I thought this AI would be way more broken. Yeah, everyone said it was really broken. Is it just functional for level one? It might be. This seems, in the grand scheme of things, pretty functional. Right, they're like able to chase me and stuff. I saw so many videos of them just staring at walls and wandering around. I thought that's what the whole game would be. Right, yeah. Wait, why'd that appear? Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Lock of wax will we have arrived in the first cargo bay didn't it get past i don't think that they fixed the ai with the patch everyone always said that that fans needed to figure out how to fix it on pc because of the typo also yeah we're supposed to be on the launch version supposed to be You know what I haven't played in forever and I really want to play, so I got to find a group. What's that? Left 4 Dead. You remember yeah. the last time you played Left 4 Dead? Not really, no. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's the last time I played Left 4 Dead as well. Right, exactly. It was so long ago. Uh, I was in the house that I shared with uh, Zeon and Agro. Yeah, we take a very small amount of damage from the acid blood, which is, you know, really not how that worked in the movie. <laughs> um, and we can regen it a lot of the time. Yeah, because we have that segmented health bar that regenerates. Yeah, so as long as it doesn't take a whole segment, we're good. Was it Singularity where the bad guys, Lieutenant Barclay? Is that what people were saying earlier? Uh, Dark Sector, I think. Dark Sector. Oh, man, we gotta... Yeah, we gotta do that. We gotta do that. Operating cargo bay. Beep, 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 beep. beep. If I just make the beep sounds with my mouth as I type keys in, it will do what I want. When's that one Star Trek movie game that's that blessed the PS3? That happened? What? Yeah, there's one based on the, the Star Trek reboot. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. We secured the boat. In minutes, this ship will be flooded with Marines. So let's go find Bella. The Warframe devs made it? And you were at the very end of the level. Yeah, but it was. If we could have just squeezed past that tiny bit, we could have at least saved ourselves redoing mission one. Mm hmm. Oh, man, you're going to level. Yeah, we need the Call of Duty. Yeah. Brown, Soldier legs. Bam, bam, I got him. Solid. Solid legs. Uh, uh, that's less exciting. I want soldier legs. <laughs> Understand. Last video series Pat did before going on his own. Uh, Well, I mean, they all went on their own at that point. I thought that Someone was a... Uh... What, what was there? the name of that game? The, the weird David Bowie game made by uh, David Cage. Oh, God, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the last one, right? Omicron, yeah. Captain, we are under attack by human forces in the control room. What the hell is 
happening out there? Wait, what? Crouch. 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 Yeah. You know about Crouch. That's it. That's it. Okay. Crouch. I didn't think this game would immediately find a reason for me to fight humans. God, that sucks. People are saying the la the very last Let's Play they were working on before Super Best Friends plays broke up was uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts. Huh. That's weird. I'd never heard that. I feel like that came up at some point, but yeah, I can't remember it. Never do Omicron? Don't tell me to not do things. I like people think Omicron's like cursed. That was very fair. Thank you. I deserve that. Is what that was. There was any sort of warning. You didn't just have something explode at my feet and give me. One moment though. What if we did do that? <laughs> <laughs> what then, huh? I, there, think that that, I think that'd be exciting. And you would be on edge and worried about these aliens the instead of red barrels. <laughs> Damn, there aren't any aliens anymore. If we're done with the aliens part of the game, we're fighting humans. It's over. Oh, sorry about Yon. Let's see. I can't believe this is level two. Daihime, I would love for you to elaborate. Daihime says, I think Omicron would be an interesting social experiment. Yeah, I didn't know about the human enemies at all, Sliskin, did you? No, I didn't know about this at all either. So thank you. Thank you for not saying that. As it turns out, when you stream an entire game to completion, you really, really just hold on to what you don't know being pulled away. Like layers as you experience the game. If people pull that off early, you feel numb by the end. All right. We actually have enough ammo with the assault rifles, which, no, I only have 30 rounds. That's not worth it. Sliskin says uh, the enemies, uh, apparently in that final patch, the enemies, human enemies, can one shot the hell out of you. Yeah, what were they thinking? I don't know. Neil, do you copy? We just got hit with a massive counterattack by human. I'm here. I'm here. I'm laying low in a storage room off a of cargo bay three. O'Neill. All right, stand fast, kid. We're coming to get you. Right, because they can land headshots. Right. Yeah. Great. Headshots are insta kills. Yes, of course. It means forget the rules of engagement. They're trying to hide something, and we sure as hell ain't supposed to be up in here. Exterminate with extreme prejudice. Roger that, Bell. Oorah to ashes. Get it done. Oorah to ashes. Now you tell me how to use grenades. Thank you so much. Hey, Bob, not sure if you knew. Hit left on the D-pad to equip the grenades. Let's not go that way. Need to continue taking inventory here, but I haven't had enough coffee. Or that, in other news, Worf has healed well enough to go on long walks again. That's good. That's good. Worf's a very cute boy. Uh, what breed exactly is Worf, Gil? Uh, that's a bad sign. What do you want to do? I don't know. You know how to use a power loader? I beat you two at one on Taker Name. Ha. You doing a power loader moment? Already? Level two? What is this? You're not gonna have anything left. Yeah, you're damn right they're not going to have anything left. We've already fought hey, aliens, humans, and getting in a power suit. What is the rest of this game? I don't know. I know one part of this game. I hope that happens soon so I know no parts of this game. Right. Uh, Worf is mixed Chow Chow and Kishond. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, Gil. Permission granted. Feel free to link, good boy. This is, oh my god, and then I just... I Fuck even, you! Ah. Very funny. Could you imagine them writing that in the movie? No, and actually. And they leave it in the way of the door. Actual. 
Can you see this on our cams? Who are these people? Yeah, then what could possibly be grabbed into the next potentially five hours of this game? I think we land on a planet. Yeah, I assume we land on the planet. Yeah, I think we do that. Because I know one shot. You threw it away? You didn't you didn't think step on it and then shoot it? No. Okay. I, yeah, I don't I, I like if they has the stuff from that fake CG trailer that was made to look like gameplay, oh. then we will go to the planet. But I don't even know. You think you throw a knife or shove a knife in it or anything? I'll just oh yeah, we're doing this. I'm just visualizing the third person perspective. Of a fucking marine going up to the weird egg sacs and aliens and going, I should elbow it to death. <laughs> like, and they're just sticking their elbow in it, and then their CEO's like, What the fuck are you doing? You have a gun. Even just hit it with the gun. Oh yeah, for anyone who wasn't here earlier, we were trying to make a power list, uh, a power list of the most powerful Half-Life 2 inspired or knockoff games. <gasps> Tactical, Tactical shotgun. shotgun. That's probably actually good. Probably. Your FOV is so bad. This fucker is like at your waist. Right? It is like all around your feet and you can't see shit. Trying to think of a good way to help with the pronunciation of Keyshawn. Something along the line of K's for keys. And pun being pronounced like pun with an H, yeah. So it's not an SH sound, it's just an S and then an H sound. Keyshawn? It's interesting. Yeah, the FOV is like 35. It's 70 at absolute highest. PC version requires edits or hacks for normal features like FOV, and it locks to 62 frames per second. <laughs> so, case on? Okay. Never heard of that breed of dog before, have you? No. At least you use your fist that time. That's right? anything. And in multiplayer, the frames drop like crazy. Cool. Yeah, Kason. K S O N. Yeah, that's what we're that's what we're talking about right now. Is it a big dog or a small dog? Oh, it's a big. Dog. He's so floofy too. He's so floofy. You know what? Bob doesn't know. Bob doesn't know. I'll click the link so Bob can see. Oh man. <clears throat> yeah. Bella, Bella. No, come on. It's me. Oh, that's a good dog. Yeah. That's a good dog. It oh is a good God. dog. Bella. He's a good boy. Is that the thing that was on your face when you woke up? Are you sure you're okay? It was already dead, O'Neill. There you go. I'm fine. You don't need right, this cutscene. No. Do not look at her. What's gonna happen to me? Look at me. <laughs> the floof is immortal. <laughs> under attack, and we're on our way down to shut down the weapon system. When it'll, when it'll, little under knee height. Okay, so not like super big. Though. Not like huge. Not like um. Sephora actual. This is one moment working on it. But are being fired upon Trying to William figure out the relation. Forces. Yes, uh, I was like, not my my niece's dog that's the size of a horse. Right. It was like that's what I think of. I think of big dog. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You got to you got to meet him, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. The fucking. <laughs> like that thing is the source of like inspiration from some horror creature. And right, you know it's like it. the size of a person just walking around on all fours. It's fucked up. It's so fucked up. <laughs> that dog was a uh, loose at a fucking wedding. <laughs> <laughs> what 
just, it was loose at a fa uh, fa small ga family gathering and too much. So I can't imagine right. a wedding. The wedding was exciting. The dog was like running around and then just getting tired after so many people were around it. And then I went into a back room to chill. Is it a Mastiff? Uh, you talking about the dog we just showed? Because we were talking about that. It's Chow Chow and Kason. We don't get to the bridge in time. We're going to lose a lot of Marines today. 2-1, have you made it to the service rail yet? Almost there, Bishop. I am. <laughs> he looked like a dude on a found footage movie. <laughs> There's the door. Who needs V-Sync? Not us. Not me. Our games look great. This game may screen tear, but I'm built different. <laughs> this is Sephora Actual. Scramble anything you have. I thought my light was off, but it's just not helping. <laughs> yeah, that's a real 7th gen vibe, right? Oh, those are bad guys. All humans are. Except for you, these two. Right? Because I think all the rest are dead from your team, right? Uh, yeah. I gotta say, you know what's a real desperate vibe? Mm. When you're like, I know I'll be up for at least seven more hours. And I get a whole... Let me, let me look at this. 772 calories. For the next seven hours. Probably eight plus, but at very least seven. I'm gonna go in that other room. I'm gonna make a tuna fish sandwich. Okay. And I'm gonna cry as I eat that in a pickle and pray that's enough. Yeah, th these guys kill you so fast. <laughs> what if it was even faster? No, I can't imagine that. Then I already am like, they saw me, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I have to wonder. Tuna fish or tuna salad? I mean, it's tuna fish, but like it's got black this olives and cupy mayo and garlic and onion powder in it. And, you know, on bread. Time, time to start feasting on stalks of celery. To be real, it is easier to diet when I'm not streaming because I can just eat the same damn thing but on stalks of celery instead of bread. Uh huh. But I'm not gonna sit here sounding like Bugs fucking Bunny crunching vegetables into this goddamn mic. <laughs> Well, also, I needed to get rid of the bread anyways. I bought it and immediately went hardcore on the diet so that I didn't eat any of it. Mm. So, and the tail end of the, the tail end of the bread. Dan, you can mute the, your mic. That's not that easy. I have to disconnect this. See this? So long to do, you know? Okay, so there. There's no mute button. Not on my individual mic. I have to turn off that input, which would then turn off Bob's input for a second as it adjusted. I am using a field recorder, not just an audio interface. This thing is designed for film sets. The reason I use it is it has the best preamps you can get. And also, it's a hardware recorder, which is great for podcasts because I don't trust Windows. And yeah. you shouldn't either. Especially not if you have ambitious plans to run a podcast network. Yeah, what's up, gamers? <laughs> I can't believe Bugs Bunny said the word gamer on that Looney Tune, and they still pack it in with the DVD collections. <laughs> That's really fucked up. <laughs> He says that in uh, multiverses, right? Gamer! <laughs> that guy took a bunch of bullets. I wonder what kind of upgrades exist for the assault rifle. That's what a battle rifle we unlock? Ooh. Assault rifle, I can get... Ooh, I can get like a, a zoom scope. That might be useful. I don't know how far away things are going to be. Rifle stock. Silencer. What? What? What's that for in this game? Yeah, everyone's aware of you. Right? 
Ooh, burst fire modification. Maybe. Possible. Mm-hmm. Ooh, flamethrower ammo. Although that's not as useful against humans, but whatever. Probably trying to disable the weapons. The guns aren't that accurate. We're killing our own marines out there. Yes, we are. That's <laughs> uh, our main character. No, you're not actually Birch. Who are you? I always pull off Mr. Ashley Birch. Oh, well, that was a that was an enemy. Luckily, his his AI was turned off for a moment as I walked in the room. Oh, that's a red barrel. I don't want to be near that. Those things can just explode for no reason. We're just standing behind pipes. I feel like that shouldn't actually give them cover. I'm surprised some parts of chat had that much of a negative reaction to Taekwondo. You think it's funny? <laughs> Jeez. A firebomb? What do I even use? A, what, what can I shoot a firebomb? Sorry, have been all keep track of chat at all because uh, this game can kill me instantly. Uh, oh, wrong PTSD. Yeah, after sure that's it. Oh, wrong. Command Extra Engineering. All right. Hopefully you checkpoint me. I was looking at the objective at top, so I couldn't look at the bottom to see if there's a checkpoint marker. <laughs> yeah, more tutorial screens, please. Press really tell me when guys are shooting me. Shh, <laughs> shh, So, K-pop, you're currently walking around an open hunting ground wearing antlers. We understand. It popped that was checkpoint reached is I got killed. Let's see what it does. I'm not sure where this is. This is new, I think. Come on, I, sh I shouldn't have to look down and pick up armor and ammo packs. Like, that's something that makes sense at all in Borderlands, but doesn't work here because it's just purely an action shooter and not at all. Like, why would I not want to pick this stuff up? Like, that doesn't make sense. I don't have an inventory I'm worried about filling. I guess I could leave them for my allies in multiplayer online.
How can you eat the armor? You can't pick it up first. Well, that's what I'm saying. I should automatically eat the armor. Order up. Yes, but what specific Thank you, Right to Young, for the sub. Hope you have your good death pit stream. It's... It's okay. It's not been near as bad as the last few. Thank you for the it's okay chat. Oh no, 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 no. He spawned behind me. Beautiful. Ooh. All right, where am I now? I feel like this is a different place than the last time. Okay, I think it's actually pretty close to where I died. I hope. Which would mean the checkpoints are getting a little bit better than the last level. They, may, they might know what they made with these uh, soldiers I'm fighting. Ooh, he dropped a grenade. So what do you think is better? This or Brothers in Arms? Uh, I think Hell's Highway is the last one. That, uh, that, that That's probably their last like regular shooter out there than this. Not that Gearbox actually made this. Whereas they did make Brothers in Arms. How does it take this, th these guys th this long to make uh, Borderlands games? It seems crazy. Okay, man. Why don't you guys run out there? You're invincible. Please. Alright. No. Give me the ammo. Oh, is that a health pack? Thank God. End armor. Working out. Hell's Highway clears this easily. I don't even like Hell's Highway. Oh, jeez. I remember not liking it very much when I tried it, but, you know, this isn't a high bar. I wonder if we, when the next time they're going to try and do World War II again uh, with shooters in general is going to be. Because I feel like it might just be out of style Somebody forever. Has to stop, Bob. Why, why are you stopping me? Please. I thought they were going to open the door because they, they both ran up to it as if they were going to and then they just walked away from it. <laughs> might even have killed him. He dropped nothing. It's funny. I always feel bad, bad taking a leave of absence from the stream that long, even though when we used to get food from fast food, it obviously would be several times that length. Right, exactly. Doesn't make any sense now, does it? No. Because I hear myself next to the stream, and I'm like, oh, I need to get back. Oh, I need to get back. Meanwhile, if I'm in the car, I'm like, what? I can't drive any faster. Right. 
Anyways. Eating my world famous tuna sandwich. But this time on one of those steak buns. You know, for like a grilled steak. Ooh. Yeah, because of the end of my sliced bread, uh, sliced white bread molded. So I threw, I threw it away. And the worst yeah. part is I ate several sandwiches from that thing knowing the mold was there going, it's probably not the whole loaf. No, it's the whole loaf. And it, I was fine. Yeah. I was fine. It's okay. It's kind of depressing that chat can't even sign off on, yes, Brothers in Arms is better than this for certain. Oh my God. I just, I feel like, I don't know. I kind of wish Gearbox was it's making so new fair. Brothers in Arms instead of Borderlands 4. I think they, I, I, I think you're right. I think they need to space out Borderlands more because not to sound mean, but I think they may have a limited depth of creativity to explore in that space. It's true. They might be running out of abilities and stuff, but I don't know. I like, I guess you could do a Brothers in Arms in a different time period. I just feel like the World War II shooters are dead forever. Like they will never sell again. It would be really weird to do that because I think the term Brothers in Arms is very World War II. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure that anyone who went to Iraq <laughs> used the term or sort of associated with that term. I think that's a distinctly World War II sort of vibe and thing. Mm hmm. Brothers in arms overthrowing a South American country so that way we can install a banana company as the rulers. <laughs> How are you, brothers in arms again? <laughs> Would you like to explain? So. Tuna fish, QP. QP is a mayo. So, two, two, a white albacore tuna fish, QP mayo, black olives, orange, orange, orange. Stop saying orange. Onion and garlic powders, mushroom soy sauce, black olive sliced, with tiny bits of mozzarella, like fresh mozz, just put onto the top bun. Microwave so it's warm. Okay. And it melts the mozz and then bam. And then a half of a Klaus and pickle on the side, so that way, you know. Because that's no calories right there. Right. Fucking cucumber. You're going to be guarding the bridge in force. And shoot every last one of them. No, Dan, when you're doing it for a company, your soldiers of fortune. Okay, so then. <laughs> Brothers at Arms CIA edition. <laughs> CS, finally. BIA, CIA. Yeah. <laughs> Company of Heroes, colon. The, the wars the Marines don't like talking about. <laughs> Anyways. Go. Yeah, I was surprised that I started uh, buying some of the Aldi's bread that uh, is like filled with grains. And they're surprisingly good. It's like called grain delicious or something. Yeah, no. A lot of those breads are good. Yeah, I, I and those were reasonably priced on like the... Uh, Dave's Bad Bread or something. The, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Dave's like, brand. Yeah, yeah, those which are super expensive in tiny slices. It's like, oh, this is a full size slice and pretty good. Oh, you're a bad guy. Look at that cheese bowl. God damn. I don't bite into a tuna fish sandwich expecting a cheese pole shot. You know, like a slice of pizza. Cheese pole. Oh, okay. Good chip. <laughs> Everyone's blank expressions. Yeah, so I know. I'm like, where am I supposed to go, guys? Do you know? No. Blank the turret and shut them down. Oh, I can do that from this side. Okay. This. <laughs> Half in the bag. So anyways, when I get under 200 pounds, you all need to be very, very nice to me. You need to be like, oh, good job, Dan. You look just like Clive. <laughs> you have to say that verbatim. Because that's how it looked the moment I dipped below 200 pounds, yeah. right? Like a, like a light switch. Yeah, it's absolutely, man. 
just how it works. <laughs> That's my damn. See, there you go. That's the check out. They can jump over that, but I can't. That's messed up. Ah, ah, ah. Come on. You're like, oh no, everyone but me is trained to lead. <laughs> I lost so much armor because of that. That's my damn. Oh, hi, Shavian. How's it going? Thank you for the raid. Exactly, Medrix. Exactly. What were you streaming tonight, Savian? I jump and then duck in there. No, it doesn't look like me. I run around this way. Hello, Raiders. I'm Dan. This is Bob. We're playing through Aliens Colonial Marines. This demon pit week on Gigaboots, so we're playing only the best games. What are you? Oh, you're just shiny. You're not actually something I could pick up. Got I think it. It was a book. Yeah, I think it was some magazines or something. Radioactive. <laughs> I disable can't the... read that. Okay, disable the weapons. You know how to do that, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, great. Get to it. Actual, we have reached the bridge. Man, so I've two been... games in a row was terrible UIs with uh, just the wrong color to actually be legible. Mm -hmm. Oh, you were playing Honkai Star Rail. Green Elements has a campaign for it, though. So, so I thought I'd try to sneak in some hashtag sponsored content that forgot to unmute my mic for over an hour and a half. Oh my god. That's rough. Oof. Was... Honkai Star Rail actually did a really good April Fool's joke. Oh yeah? They got like a uh, tokusatsu director to make a weird thing where... Uh, their cute little mascot character turns into a giant mech and fights a monster. Okay. And it's all live that action. That sounds awesome. Yeah. No, that, it was crazy. Do you feel it, Bob? Do, do, you, do you feel that right there? Yeah. Feels like hope. Yeah, no, we beat a level. Two? Two levels. Out of 11. Mm hmm. There's progress. It's happening. Yeah, the Grand Blue thing was hilarious with the AC Boo designs. Yes. Yes. That was good. Yeah, I think it's 11. I didn't look it up. I was counting circles on the level slug. Winner. I'm here. Getting a sit rep. Sulaco Actual, this is Winner. Come in, over. Sulaco Actual, do you read me, goddammit? Winner. This is Sulaco Actual. Glad to hear you upright. Sir, we're at the bridge. Just got here too late. I'm touching my eyeball right now, sir. It's over. We're now evacuating the Solaco You have a headache. <laughs> you have VYs. He's doing this. I know, right? What that in meters or the number of things trying to kill us? Same number? About 400. So are they going to be humans still, or is it aliens again? Uh, let's go a different way. <laughs> okay, I thought he was going to be dead, right? He should have been, right? Yeah, I expected this game to have a lot more stealth. I expected the AI to A-pose a lot more. Uh-huh. I didn't know about the multiplayer element. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I knew there was multiplayer stuff. I wasn't sure if they actually got it working in the campaign. This feels too put together. It does. For the legacy it has. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought this thing would be just barely working. Yeah, and neither of us knew about human enemies. No. We used to live there. How in the hell did we not know they were on the ship? Because they didn't want us to know, kid. We stumbled on something we shouldn't have. Hello. 
Look at that unique animation. I figured there wouldn't be any of those. <laughs> Yeah, so anyways, to do the rough math on the last time for Left 4 Dead. Okay. Because I expected this to look about as good as Left 4 Dead run at 30 frames per second. Mm-hmm. Have a bunch of broken AI just be terrible. Um, yeah, I thought these would feel much more like multiplayer missions made into single-player missions. Right, we played a lot of games that feel more like that than this. This right? is like scripted shit all throughout. It's real weird. Um... It has been something like 14 years. I really like the Left 4 Dead. It's a great experience. It's the sort of thing I think about often when it comes to newer video games and how much they have this weird, almost parasitic relationship with the player, with the battle passes and other things. Uh-huh. Yeah, if anything, the number one problem with this game is the fucking balance. Yeah. Which just seems crazy. I don't know what exactly. It's the sort of thing that makes me go, are we just still playing the latest patch version? And yeah. the patch fix things? Possible. One time purchases aren't enough money anymore. We need it for money. Yeah, even like stuff like. Like. I'm fine with Helldivers. I'm not fine with most things because it feels like they're more overbearing than Helldivers. But what do I know? All times at least is also is not a full price game, which helps. It does help, and I think the industry would be better if we got more of those. Right. Nice. There's there's a certain energy to a lot of multiplayer experiences happening now where it's and I don't want to sound condescending. There's a time and a place for this. There really is. There's a, there's a place and a person for this. I'm, I am neither. Um, they feel, a lot of them feel like streamer games. <laughs> a lot of them feel like, oh, this would be a great game for streamers to play multiplayer on, you know, your lethal companies and things like that. Yeah. You're among this. this, this, this. Um, and given that I don't want a parasitic relationship with my games, and I also don't have interest in things, generally speaking, I have a mild interest in lethal company. I have a mild interest in phasmophobia. Which really, I was waiting for that VR update on PlayStation. Right. On that. Because I did enjoy my time with Phasmophobia. But it does seem like a lot of these are not... How do I put it? Yeah, they have a different focus than I would prefer. I'll just leave it at that. I'm gonna pick this up, guys. Stop talking. This hat's in the way, and you need to be doing your nimpo. Just like the games that one OTK threatened to publish. Yeah, we totally need more of that, right? Thank you, OTK. <laughs> David Chris says, oh, I knew it. The good games mostly come at night. At night, mostly. This is me reaching so hard for an alien quote. <laughs> Is that alien? I guess that's from aliens. Yeah. I don't actually. They, yeah, because I was trying to figure out what that came from because they, they quoted it in South Park as well. That's what I know the quote from. I know it from South Park. But yeah, it's the, the, the crazy dirty girl that they find, like the little girl on a yeah. planet. It's oh, her. okay. They come All right. Mostly. I saw aliens once 15 years ago. <laughs> And I keep thinking, I want to watch it again. Oh, I hope they release that on 4K Blu-ray someday. And then the monkey's paw curled. Yeah, that's so upsetting. That's one of the most iconic movies ever made. And it's like, we, we didn't even try. Here it is. Here's your 4K Blu-ray, you animal. Fucking, you fucking subhuman. Because for anyone who doesn't know how the 4K Blu-ray conversion went on that, HDR is, you could argue, two different things. It's about putting colors on the screen that literally couldn't exist before in SDR, which it, the color space for HDR is hugely bigger. It's a wide color gamut, but you'll see a lot of things referred to it as in various places. And the other thing you can do is you can have much brighter luminance, which you don't use to brighten the whole image. You use in order to have a nuanced brightness in the darker and mid parts of the image and high highlights to make details pop. Uh, they literally fed the 4K Blu-ray through an analyzer 
it has no colors you couldn't do in SDR and the entire thing's SDR brightness. It's just the most safe, easy, sloppy thing they could have... What the hell happened to its leg? I shot it off? No, like something replaced its leg model. Uh, untextured version of his leg model. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Wait, this is glue. It is an action figure. <laughs> I feel like I own Alien on Blu-ray and then never watched it. I've still never seen the original Alien, which I feel I real bad about. I swear to God I own the original Alien on Blu-ray, picked it up at a Black Friday sale for barely any money, and then <laughs> still haven't watched it. But yeah, Aliens is just a different tone of movie entirely. Right. You know, kind of like Terminator and Terminators. <laughs> yeah, that's how, that's what they are. That's what two is. Uh huh. Terminators. Yeah, because there are two Terminators. <laughs> it's true. There are two Terminators. Obviously, it's called Terminators. Big Nerd Sam says, I got the Alien Blu ray say, set. I've used three as a coaster. Good use for Alien Story. I say this as a really big David Fincher fan. At the same time, it might be better than Aliens Resurrection. I don't think I've seen that since the 90s. Fair. <laughs> Imagine if you spoiled the first Alien movie by playing this game. Yeah, but that's depressing. <laughs> Imagine you spoiled the first Alien movie to watch a Doug Walker review. <laughs> I feel like playing this game wouldn't spoil the first one that much. I feel Unless you're like getting it, really into like reading all of the audio logs and stuff. I feel like it would because if I recall in the first Alien movie, you don't even know that a synthetic is a thing. That's true. There's That's that. part of the reveal is that he was a corporate placed. Um, right. There's so many things in Aliens that I'm like, it's just a part of cultural vernacular that, I, yeah, I, yeah, it's hard not to just not know any of those things. At the same time, do not judge me. I played Metal Gear Solid Four, and you, I think, in Agro or maybe Zeon had to point out, yeah, he has white blood because because the aliens. And I'm like, <laughs> I thought the aliens had venom blood. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, the android and aliens. Yes, of course. I knew that. Of course. I'm scared. I'm scared they're not going to put enemies anywhere that near that far from me. Oh, gosh, she says, right. And aliens, too, just... Or <laughs> aliens, too. I'm just going to correct it. Aliens just opens with, hello, I have an android. I understand if you do not trust me. <laughs> he just bleeds jizz down. Look, I... I wasn't gonna question it. I was like... His android body is fueled by semen. <laughs> he has to keep it going. This is the nature of his cursed existence. See, it's like vampires, but... Suck a dick. <laughs> I was looking at something. Uh huh. One moment. Let me look up what it was. It's very, very, very relevant. I'm not sure how long we can keep the PMCs out of our ship. Once those mercenaries hey, put so us in danger, we I logged into Facebook. I don't do it very often. Trying to get a little bit better about doing it regularly, keep in touch with, you know. Hometown slash old people. And I get an ad, Bob. Okay. I'm gonna put this ad on screen. First off, absolutely reprehensible name. Mud water. Oh. As you can see, oh. it's a masala chai. Oh. But it, it says here, if you look closely, okay, where does it where does it say it? It's got Cow, lion's mane, cordyceps, chaga, reishi. I'm like, I ain't drinking reishi. You can't trick me. I know what that is. I saw that movie. I saw that movie. I saw the Bleach movie. I know what reishi looks like. You can't trick me. 
Jesus. So anyways, Facebook ads are really popping off as of late. Between that and then the other ads that are like, hey. And the other ads that are like, hey, there are women who are really horny in their 40s in your area. You want some of that? And I'm like, no, I really don't. Thank you, though. Thank you, Facebook. Oh, this ad again with different ladies. Thanks. Stop saying that's my mom next to my phone. I swear to God, that's why he does it. I have to keep the phone in the other room. Stop it! Chat! Chat! Stop it. No, it's okay. You can shoot them too. I won't get mad. <laughs> no, this is my burden to bear. They're being generous the with these armors. Is the perfect vehicle for driving around Shadow That's my Moses damn. Island. Look at all these things actually happen in the environment. I didn't expect any of that in this. Yeah, no, this game's way too well put together for the legacy it has. Right? Pretty weird. We don't get back to the cargo bay. We're stuck. Somehow this has more stink on it than like Suicide Squad. That seems ridiculous. But yeah, I guess there there aren't enough people just pointing out how blatantly not not finished the Suicide Squad is. How it's all like one type of content repeated for sixteen hours, twelve hours? I can't remember. Probably it was like, like 12. twelve. Yeah, yeah, somewhere around that. Okay, have a good night, Shurkin. Thank you again for gifting the subs. I really appreciate it. Well, I'll have a grenade on the house. Hey, Bob. Hey, what's up? Billy Danderson says, I think I've seen Adam Ragusea make an ad for that in one of his videos. The mud for water. The mud water? I was like, Fish. for cougars? <laughs> now, before I continue talking about how a scale measuring system is inefficient to me dirtying nine types of measuring cups, I'm here to tell you about hot moms in your area. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to the site hotmomsinyourarea.gov, Oh, there's the, you know, not where they went. Where are you going up here? Where are we going, guys? There's a the door, okay. Whoa. Get to the airlock. It was like ammo? Atmo, atmosphere. <laughs> We're bleeding atmosphere. Hmm. Ah, not a hold Shoutouts to moms. Oh, thank you for the badass glasses, by the way. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. You know, Randy with his badass glasses used to show up a lot on Big Thick Dimension. He was like a, a specter of the first few years of that podcast, I swear right? to God. Yeah. Then Embracer bought his ass, and then he stopped mattering as much. Right. I fear we might be letting him back out of the chamber, that's, and that's... That feels really, really possible. Blink-9, that is possibly my favorite video game quote about moms. Moms are tough. <laughs> does that line stick out to you as much as it does me? Yeah, because of what happens in the very next scene. <laughs> God. <laughs> Man. What a video game. Also, how does everyone appreciate the lighting today? Now it's too high. I just can't win. Bob, we're gonna have to make the gameplay smaller to make our cameras bigger. That's my damn! Oh man, are these other marines that are colonial? Actually, uh, we are provincial marines. <laughs> oh no, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Hello them, Turk, how's it going? What were you up to tonight? Oh, what are they shame on? One moment. 
<laughs> it's a gun. It's a vet tool with a gun. Oh no! <laughs> Please don't shoot me. I just want to survive alien club over here. For anyone who missed uh, Dark Void, Dark Void was neat. Yeah. It was very bizarre, too. I think even using words to describe it short changes it of its bizarreness. Because you simply cannot imagine, in the exact way it is, literally Crimson Skies, and then Uncharted. In a row. Not like at once. <laughs> right. Not a smooth blend. No. <laughs> Nobody survives Colonial Marines. Yo, spoilers. <laughs> I will someday go back and watch all the episodes of Big Think Dimension. I need to know what the podcast sounded like during the Bount arc. I feel like we do a relatively good job of... Yeah, we keep that pretty well separated until the Bounce uh, invade our mind. Until... I feel like even the Bounce arc ended, and it's when he just came back in the canon stuff that it, he shattered the barrier. Right. And started taking over that podcast, too. Thank you, Jinkaria. You son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, guys, what do we do now? Arm the emergency release. Can you give me any sort of map point for that? <laughs> Darkness? Yeah, that's fair to them, Turk. If I spent $60 on this game, I'd probably not be jazzed either, but... You know. There are worse things. Uh, there's... yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looked like he spawned in. <laughs> so you really came up the stairs real fast. No, I just was making that sound over the fact that you're like, I'm lining up this shot, and he's like, my forehead is here. Hello. Howdy. But yeah, I don't know. It's been like 13 years since I played Left 4 Dead, and I really, really, really want to fucking play Left 4 Dead. <laughs> yeah, it's been an insanely long time. I wonder if Steam will tell me. It probably will. Assuming you... I didn't accidentally boot it for a fraction of time right. in between then and now. Check. Left. Okay. It does not tell you. Wait. Yes, it does. In two months, it will have been 12 years. Wow, yeah. Is that one or two? Two. Yeah. And that is the one I've played more, more recently. Makes sense. In fact, now that I'm looking at this, I have not even played one on PC on my own account. What? That's weird. That is weird. I guess I played one. I guess I played Left 4 Dead 1 at like LAN parties. Right, we did. The, that's the one where we did most of our play of that for sure. It feels like. Pretty sure you could download a Twin Peaks themed Left 4 Dead map. That sounds fucking hilarious. What do they do? The sheriff's office? Do they do all like the diner and stuff? What do you do? <laughs> My god. David Lynch comes at you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I need to get to the other side too? I wish you would mark, put markers on this map. I need direction. Yeah, you know, Dark Void had a button, right? I really like Dark Void. I genuinely like that. I want to play the PC version. Yeah, for sure. That seemed way more solid than, like, Bionic Commando. That seems like, yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. Like, even though I feel like Bionic Commando could have been a truly great game if it was really fully finished, and obviously Dark Void couldn't, because <laughs> it basically was. That is. <laughs> yeah, can you, can you jump on that thing and jump across? Is that what we're talking about, No, we need about, to get buddy? on the crane and, and, uh, and make a route. Mm. So I need to... Where's the crane? What is any of this stuff you're talking about? That still looks like a crane. That dude's shooting me again. Big think for dead stream where every one of the your four hosts uses a model from a long running big think joke. 
I'm not sure. Do we? Well, our character model. Oh. Like okay. we would get a mod to swap it out, but okay. I'm not sure what's. I know we've made the joke of the fucking Sinister Six chuckle fucks laughing being each of us at least a couple times and, you know. Dark Void and Dark Sector are interchangeable in my head. I never rem remember which is which. See, this is good that we didn't do the flop swap because that would only make that way worse. Which is what we want, right? We no. want to call it cause brain damage. I thought that was the point. Oh, Phil Spencer left for dead mod is what they're suggest uh, different person suggesting. Interesting. <laughs> Fascinating. Yes, Dark Sector is the one with the boomerang from Kroll. Yes. Yeah, Bob, I'm a... Uh, let me tell you. If I don't see serious progress on this uh -huh. in the next two weeks, I'm going to break it by a treadmill, man. And then I'm going to learn to edit and do Photoshop and all those other things while on a treadmill. <laughs> oh, no, aliens. Oh, shit. Give it up for hour 95. Nice. Look at that. Both and numbers, weight and timer going down. Feels good. I know I did it a while ago, but I'm only now again looking back at it and just appreciating the chicken pocking at Randy Bisford. It's badass. It's so stupid. Yeah, more achievements. Oh no, O'Neal, are you okay? That's okay. You think the goal right now would be getting to the thing? It might be. Okay, it is. But it seemed, it felt like I could kill them all. <laughs> Rank up. Well, I, at least I'm ranking up by doing it. Yeah, I was going to say, that might be a strat. Play more mines unlocked. Like, how much, let's see, how many points do they get you towards your promotion? Oh, no, for, I'm out of ammo. On your assault rifle, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's not good. And this shotgun, also, that was a human. Humans are dangerous. Yeah, exactly. This is pre-rendered and playing back poorly. Mm -hmm. Don't show the feet of the aliens running at such a choppy frame rate. It just looks funny. Did you guys know that many engines have huge troubles playing back videos for whatever fucking reason? Yeah, it's so weird. It's depressing is what it is. Mm -hmm. Halo Infinite, for example, never fixed its video playback. Oh, yeah. Um, Unreal Engine uh, has certain problems and has only recently gotten better, as far as I understand it, in the last few years. Um, yeah, it's more complicated than you would think, evidently. Go on. There we go. Another mission down. We're yeah. making this work. Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> it's dipping the voice in, de in the demon acid pit. One second. Man, all it took to make number go down is dipping the boys in demon acid pit. But hey, we gave the pita colada a tacky pineapple cup that was dark void. <laughs> That's a pretty funny way to... Tell me what. what oh, it's an android, on? isn't it? When you woke with the yeah, it's Bishop. I told you, it was yeah. Dead. There's nothing wrong with me. Did its exterior resemble bones, white in color, almost like a spider with a tail? Yeah, my throat hurt a little, but I'm fine. Oh, no. Bella, you're gonna die. We know that. It happened to Keys. How long? Hours, maybe a day. I'm gonna throw up. Let's move. There's a colony called Hadley's Hope not too far from here. Well, what's left of it? 
Now short waves don't work for He's taking down. this very well. Especially yeah. now. Right? I'm surprised since it has been a little while, they haven't figured out something to try and kill the alien at least. <laughs> Do not crap walk with a light machine gun. I'm gonna spit soda all over. He just like lowered it and <laughs> while looking at you. I <laughs> keep moving. <laughs> Sir, are you planning on talking about what just happened with Wavy? I think it's safe to say that the United States Colonial Marines are at war with Wayland Utani. Oh, this is like the, the E3 moment, I'm pretty sure. The what? This is an E3 moment? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. I think they or at least a simulation E3. of an E3 moment. Yeah, it looked way better than this, I can tell you that much. Right. If you can tell it looked way better than this in internet video made in 2013 <laughs> or 2012, that's not good. No. That is a level of bullshit you can't even fucking believe. I think I'm ready for my final energy drink. Should Put me in the coffin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After that, just pull the fucking plug. Sir, what do you know about the Marines that were sent here 17 weeks ago? Same as you. Two full squads. You know how I was like, I have 12 boxes of protein bars because we did uh -huh. a for everyone who missed it. We did a prediction during Earthworm Gym where people could guess how many boxes of protein bars I prepped. <laughs> Are we to believe Wayland boarded the ship and brought it back here? Why would they do that? That doesn't make any sense. Um. Oh no. Alien noises. I want to stick around and find out what it was. Could it be the aliens have been fighting like off since we got here? I mean, it'd be pretty sick if it wasn't. Oh shit, dinosaurs. We are truly fucked, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to keep going on living because there is probably going to scale more and more from here. <laughs> I don't want to know what comes after dinosaurs. <laughs> um, but I had the horrifying thought this morning of, I, I have enough energy drinks to last through the demon bit week, right? Oh, oh no! This vibe bucket ran out. That'd be that'd be a little rough, just a little rough. Can't. They're posting the song though because I mentioned dinosaurs. <laughs> another little girl who was lost at the same base. Was it in that room? I picked up somebody's lost blanket on your track. Jesus. Sort out your false positive. Damn. I think we established spooky vibes a lot better in Phasmophobia and I'm usually <laughs> laughing playing that game. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's been for fucking ever since I played Left 4 Dead, and I definitely didn't get my fill of playing it back door. in the day. Because mm -hmm. I didn't buy it on a 7th gen console, because Valve games on consoles didn't have good game feel. No. They felt like they directly translated, like, stick angle into mouse speed. Mm hmm. Instead of using acceleration curves and other things. They said they're making another Aliens or some shit, right? I think that that's been said. Okay, yeah, that's just... But it, I don't know why they say, we're making a new Terminator. I'm like, sure, shit on a sidewalk, I don't care. They say, we're making a new Aliens, and I get scared. <laughs> I, I mean, Aliens is weird because they just, they keep making them, and they keep being, like, mediocre to okay, because Ridley Scott's still pretty involved. That wall's wiggling. Yeah, it is. It's, it's trying to so sort out its problems. But I think there is another one, like, with they Ridley put Sound. a trailer out recently. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They, I never even watched, like, the last two that Alien had Ridley Scott. Alien Romulus. And it, it, Ridley Scott isn't making the new one, Bob. Oh, he's not? Does it at least have his approval? Affirmative, Nugget. Let's get these 
sensors up ASAP. I want to get back. I know you did. Is he producer on it or something? I could have sworn his name was still attached to something. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't see the most recent Alien, but I thought people actually like Prometheus more than it even. Yeah, I feel like that's the case. Because they, like, because Ridley Scott's still involved, they just kept getting weirder. And everyone <laughs> just wanted it to be like, make an Aliens movie that has the xenomorphs. I want to see them. <laughs> and then that's... He's like, you're very interested in the white blood, aren't you? And you're like, no! <laughs> what are you doing? Can we talk more about the weird, mysterious ancient race? We're ready to oh. explore the origins of the Wayland yutani Corporation. No one cares! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh my god. I can't fit through, guys. I can't he fit. He cuts through your guy and he's unbelievably huge. <laughs> you look like fucking Kingpin. <laughs> Oh, wow. Now that's a video game idea, right? This is, this is winter. The first now you get to have all those moments summer. where people go on ahead of without you and you have to stay behind and they make perfect sense because you're right, fucking huge. Sensor up and running. Why did they not do that in video games? That would make level design so much easier. <laughs> your, your ally is like the legs guru from fucking Ring Fit. She's like real skinny. So she can like slide through <laughs> and you're just like, I will Where's join you later, my friend. <laughs> Clear copy winner, sensor three has solid link. Remember that guy in Prometheus who had old man makeup on for no reason? I can't. I. So I haven't seen Alien Resurrection since I was a child. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen anything past that at all. But so much of the Alien franchise as it exists now or could be in the future in my brain is occupied by this dude in old man makeup. Yeah, fair. Because it's such a bizarre decision. That and then two main characters running the obviously wrong way get <laughs> away from a thing that's falling towards them which is a major set piece really stick out in my head for Prometheus. what was it uh that two main characters are running away from an object that's falling like it's a gigantic thing that's and falling they, vertically they can't go they can't go side to side there's plenty of room but, but they, they are won't. running away from it that way instead There's another place to place a motion sensor somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it is. I don't know why I have these two different standards for like Terminator and Alien. Okay. I don't know. They just, they're like, we're gonna make a new bad Terminator. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'll watch your bad movie when I get the chance, I guess. <laughs> you know? There isn't one we, wait, no. We never did watch Dark Fate. Whatever the one after Genesis. Oh, no, wait. we did. We did. We did. Old oh my god, that movie slid off my brain entirely. Even though it was, there were cool things in it. Yeah, that one had actually had some cool stuff. It was like a third a really cool thing. Yeah, that was so sad that that didn't that didn't stick the landing at all. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike Genesis, which was like, what are you doing the entire way through? <laughs> Genesis was fucking hilarious. <laughs> People are like, the plot's a mess. And I'm like, no fucking really. <laughs> They're like, let me explain the timeline problems. And I'm like, I I'm looking at the screen. I see the problems. <laughs> oh, is that is that the last one? Yeah. Every smartphone in America will become a pile of magnetic bees that will form my face. Actual, come in. What? <laughs> you should be getting a perimeter. Report a phenomenal over. I look forward to the comment. That is not the plot of Terminator Genesis. I will now type the entire plot out into this comment section. Power surge. Winter and O'Neill. The sensor in the moor just went offline. Figure out what happened to it and get back to operations. Actual out. I obsess over Alien, says Fennel Phony. I don't over anything Terminator, despite liking the original two. Yeah, Terminator fall, fell off the bus so fast. Like, every, like even 3 yeah, is Yeah, I mean, 3 terrible. was bad. Like, Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection are not good movies. Terminator 3 is a terrible movie. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen Terminator 3 and you don't want to have a spoiled, which, reminder, it is not a good film. 
but I understand. You you may wanna you may may wanna mute the stream while I, I let me go ahead and play the music one moment. Where's uh here we go. Oh, that's so quiet. I don't know which one of these is the Borg. Why did you just say go to the Borg? Why didn't you give me any sort of location? So, so Terminator 3... Terminator 3 overall is really like... Terminator 3 is like a really bad impersonation of Terminator 2, the whole movie, and then it just concludes with him trapping the two of them in the fucking bunker and just going, have sex to form the future. And I'm like... What? What? What did I just watch? What the fuck? I forgot about that. That's the ending. Yeah, I, I watched this thing he once. He tricked it was, him into it. Yeah, and that I watched it with you. That's, yeah, it just it leaves an impact. Anyways, we're done. I, I was just the main thing that stuck out to me was like, uh, what, what, what's the new Terminator? It's the old term. It's the original Terminator, but it has the skin of the new Terminator from two. Oh, does that? mean anything cuz the liquid that seems like it would just be worse in every way it is oh okay why'd you make it <laughs> why is that your cool thing <laughs> oh. okay this is the one winner o'neil your location has been compromised get your asses back to operations did you know they made a terminator 3 game asks masavi I had heard. I assume that thing is not on GameCube, so you're safe, Masavi. I constantly think, man, I need to play more. Oh, it is on GameCube. <laughs> For some reason in my head, that game occurs to me as like, well, you need to play that on Xbox original. For some reason in my brain, that's the way it's meant to be played. Man, why are these guys taking so many more hits? Oh no. Thank God I'm there and he's dead on me and we're both dead and O'Neill killed us both. <laughs> Why do you do that, O'Neill? Why is he teabagging me? <laughs> O'Neill, no. No, O'Neill. O'Neill's like, and you two kiss. <laughs> do I have any more assault rifle ammo? Yes, I do. I actually refilled that. Thank you. Oh, I have 30 shots, but I have flamethrower. And that's what's important for now. Oh, I can see them outside. But that's heavy glass. I can't search through. Why is it loading the save data to turn my flashlight off? <laughs> what if I just run all the way back? What do you do? Oh. But yeah, for anyone who doesn't know... Masami is currently doing a GameCube project. She has to play through the entire GameCube library. I always wanted wanted to do one of those projects, but then I realized that would just be what I have to do, right? And right. that would be all I do. A thing that I found out via the podcast network accidentally. <laughs> and kind of found out via Mega Man Maker accidentally in the first place. Right. It's just a lesson you learn eventually of you only have so much bandwidth as a person. However, as I was talking to Gamma Chris about, because uh, Gamma Chris actually had a very similar idea. Um, and apparently did some form of it some years ago. Uh, we were interested, and I remember we were talking about this, like, years ago, ago now in some random stream. Um, about doing, like, launch period for a console. You know? Yes. How's it going? I was too caught up on the, my shock round, which made the daily in a pose yes. and electrified. I was like, is he dead? He was trying to, like, impress that other person. Checkpoint reach, by the way. I saw that. Maybe I'll spawn right there. We'll see. You did? I did. I like a game that goes, whatever, your toe hit the finish line. <laughs> right? <laughs> whatever. 
Your fucking severed hand touched the finish line. Um, but yeah, uh, ooh, raw to ashes. I see. So, because we used to do a lot of videos for theme months, but now we do streams, I thought the idea would be we set up a whole theme month that's like the launch year of console. Uh huh. So the launch year of PS2, and we figure out if a month was a year, you know. Cool. Hopefully they're just as stupid about these in the video game. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, entire... We have to take the release calendar in North America for the PS2 and contract that down to one month, and we get to play whatever's available for the whole year, just spread across the month, what that would look like. And that'd be cool. Winner, get that turret next to the ammo stash. Oh, this is something else they showed in that, that E3 trailer. This looks nothing like it. These are quotes. I guess you get the other turret. <laughs> Why did Cartman say they mostly come out at night? Mostly. I can't remember. I, I'm not even sure if it was Cartman. I thought it was like some other kid who was traumatized. My brother always quoted it in that voice. He did. Oh no. What did he mean by this? <laughs> <laughs> it was when they the, all the grown ups were gone from the town. I remember that. And the, okay. the kids ran the town. Okay. Uh, trying to remember. Anything else oh, about that hello. episode? It's obviously a super early episode. We're. We're talking about South Park. Is Newt a character in South Park or in Aliens? Newt is the name of the character in Aliens. That's what I thought. Yeah, Which we're talking about just, South Park referencing it. We might, they might have just literally put her in. Oh, it's okay, Rado. It was kind of a continuation of an earlier thing. Gather up. We overloaded the generator when we cycled the power to the mess hall. It's are you cruising? We get okay, the relay tower back up now to contact our Marines. It won't last long if it's just us in here. There is an access tunnel that should take you straight there. O'Neill, winner, take the gun with you. Get our girls back. Head through the sewer line. That should get you to the relay tower. Copacetic. Are you enjoying yourselves more than yesterday? I mean, I was definitely, definitively, by large margin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm still enjoying myself much more than what they played yesterday. Okay. That Earthworm Jim is rough. This ain't no Earthworm Jim. <laughs> There's no vertical shaft of fart platforming? No. Huh. I thought this was the smart gun, but I don't think it is. I think this, this is, is the dumb gun. <laughs> this is a, the sentry gun. They, there's something else called the smart gun that they want me to pick up. You know what I realized, Bob? Here's what I realized. My smartphone screen is cracked. Okay. Okay. And there's a picture of a beautiful woman on it. <laughs> I'm punching it because I will never get tired of showing this dumb fucking thing I've done. There uh, it is. Jesus. Copacetic, sir. This is a beautiful woman from Valkyrie Elysium, a game you should all appreciate. Because no one does because it's... Oh, boy. <laughs> what a piece of shit. <laughs> Anyways. My, my screen is cracked, okay? There's no... There's no, th there's not one thing I do with my phone that a new phone can resoundingly improve. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, you have a phone that's new enough for that to be very much the case. I have just exactly old enough of a phone where they only improve two things meaningfully since I got it. And that's the camera is now a 48 mix of megapixel camera and takes much better photos. Videos, it's, a, it's, it's better, but roughly the same. Mm hmm. Roughly the same. Um, and then the fucking adapter on it is USB-C. That's the two things they change. And I really want to switch all this shit off of lightning. Right. I never want to see a li another lightning cable in my life. 
But I, oh. I just sit there and go, yeah, the only thing they can improve at this point that would make any sense for me to upgrade based on that is battery life. And that requires us to have the graphene battery breakthrough <laughs> and then for it to disseminate to iPhones. Mm -hmm. And if you don't think they're gonna charge out the ass right. for the iPhone with the graphene battery. Oh, is that a dead one or a live no, one? No, it's a live one because they do that. They just let it hang out there, you know? <laughs> this Xenomorph's man spreading. It's tragic. What did he mean by this? Anyways, um... Dude Stop says, uh, apparently Carbon just says that all throughout the episode is a joke. Okay. Like, just as a running gag. Also, yeah, don't trust foldable phones. Those things break so easy. Yeah, I feel like there's no way that we'll ever get that. <laughs> Shang got off everything but its sternum. Rank that was up. just a torso. <laughs> the aliens movie where none of the Xenoverse were even scary. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> level one's gonna be harder than any other level because they keep giving me cool guns and stuff. Huh? No, am I out of ammo? Uh, well, I mean. How hard was level one on this difficulty? It was still pretty difficult because it could kill me real easily. But yeah, I um, I never intend to do a lot of gaming on my phone. Mm -hmm. And even if I did, the performance on this two year old iPhone, two, two and a half, two and a half year old iPhone, probably still better than the brand new Samsung Galaxy phones. Because that's how bad the delay has been in performance. So it's like, how can one rationalize? Like, maybe this is an insane thing. Maybe this is just Dan brain rot. How can one rationalize going, my phone, it doesn't run mobile games well enough. It just runs them better than every Android phone ever. Right. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. They just owned me because I was... <laughs> as soon as I was enjoying the gun, they're like, it's gone now. You're out of ammo. It's over. Oh, okay. The N64 uh, Mr. Core developer apparently closed his Patreon. Oh. That should have popped up in my notifications. I'm one of his patrons. Oh, yeah. That's two Our minutes ago. Back. Wow. Oh, wow. Thank you, Masami, for the uh, prompt news. All the way back here. But yeah, he's uh, going to make his own games. Oh. No wonder I couldn't find it. Someone needed to open the box for me. <laughs> you made me feel like an asshole. <laughs> You're going to need the upgrade so you can play RE4 Remake. So here's my theory, okay? No phone in the next three years will do a respectable job of running that game. Because as it looks right now, it looks worse than a PS4. A console from ten and a half years ago. <laughs> we're, we're supposed to be impressed that these phones are running these games. Uh-huh. And you can be. You're allowed. Right. But I genuinely do just go, yeah, but it's really just running a game at an abysmally low resolution and using temporal AA to be like, look, one whole image on the screen. We did it. Sure, it's running in 360p, but it's fine. It's funny, in the post, uh, Robert Pipe says, uh stuff like i know people want to do stuff like 3do but they suck not verbatim but lol yeah why don't you go but yeah, so I don't know what the phone situation is going to be. I used to have goals and ideas. Yeah. For a lot of my equipment, I have goals and ideas. A lot of my... Like, for example... Okay. Let's... Pre we, it doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. But... Actually, it does kind of exist. But, you know, that's that's not practical. Anyways... 
for the next camera we get, I would like it to have more dynamic range. Okay. Okay. That's a concrete thing you can reasonably expect. They will engineer a camera and maybe even announce this month. Because <laughs> it is NAB this month, the oh, National God, Association it? of Broadcasters. And then that would make a meaningful change to me when it comes to filming things. Um, a thing I do so often. Mm hmm. Soon. Just need timer to die. <laughs> Real quick, I'm gonna check when NAB is this month, just so I can not think about this concept again until then. Let's see. Ba -da 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 -da. I just want to know when it is. April 13th, so not the coming Monday, but the one after. Okay. Cool. Great. I'm gonna turn this back down. What? That sound is really fucking annoying. <laughs> it's so authentic, though. I'm sad Apple gave up on making mini versions of phones. I've been really liking my 13 mini. I agree. Yeah. And I know many people who feel that way. Yeah, no, I I ended up just finally breaking down and getting a full size one. It's like, yeah, I, I don't need something this big. My hands aren't that big. Well, I don't know about full size. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it technically smaller than your prior phone because of the bezel situation? I don't think so. I think it, it was just about the same size, but... Oh my god. O'Neal. Are you afraid of me? <laughs> it's weird how you die from alien hickeys. I thought it was the part where you just, like, got impregnated through the mouth, but apparently if they leave you a mark... These guys just... don't impregnate you. <laughs> Those don't? No. They put the... The, 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 the mouse comes out and kills you. Oh, I thought the mouse, like... Nah, the, the only thing they're praying right, to the do face is the huggers. face huggers. Okay, and the face huggers hatch from the eggs. Yes. And then these things are These things are what pop big. out of people's chest. Like those those little things but that pop out. But the queen makes the eggs. The queen makes the eggs. Which makes the face huggers, which explode into those guys who give you hickeys and you die. Yes. Don't don't even get into what Prometheus adds because there's like three more I steps know, to this. I know. It's like, and then there's this big guy, and it's like, shut the fuck up. There's these black eels. They're somewhere in this chain. That they might give you some sort of parasite that goes into your eyeball. You get pink eye, but then pink eye turns into a face hug. Oh no! <laughs> Is that real? No. Okay. It could have been. They, the pink eye part is. I don't remember what what they what goes from there. What does the pink eye mean, chat? This is a really long segment, and not have any jack points during. Listen, Delson. Anyway. But the new iPhone 15 has titanium, yeah, and it scratches so easy. <laughs> it's like fucking insane. Watch your ammo. My phone is a high-end phone from 2020 and it can't play shit. What the fuck? I'm gonna assume it's Android then. Because my phone's from 2020 one and it's this thing i talked about where it's like you can't really do much better the only thing i can't play is the resident evil remake death stranding shit but it, right those are so few there are only like three or four of those games yeah masami says mobile gaming can be quite dire like 120 hertz is exclusive to genshin on iphone but anyone who's tried it says it melts their hands and the battery just dies yeah that's yeah how that works that's how that works. The only thing you can run without draining the shit out of a... You have to run a really optimized game. Like, the whole chain. The engine, the art pipeline, everything. Super polished in order to get shit that tier, you know? Mm-hmm. And not just murder a battery. And even still, of course you're gonna murder a battery. But yeah, I'm not a huge mobile phone gamer. I don't know. 
I'm trying to think of when I was. I feel like I was pretty big on phone games in two waves. One was, one was when I first got my iPhone 5. That was my first smartphone. So whenever the iPhone 5 came out is when I got my first smart. Well, actually, that's not true. I got a Samsung Galaxy S3. I don't know. For very least, I had a Galaxy Nexus PMP, which is a personal media player, which was identical to the uh, Galaxy outside of phone capabilities. I wish my ally came with me, but he seems to just stay at the beginning of the hallway and yell. Does anyone else have a problem with the ports on their phones becoming loose, making it hard to charge, or is that a me problem? I've never had that problem, but I didn't stick with Android very long. Like, I only had one Android phone, because back then, um, Android phones were just miserable at audio, because the Android OS was designed like garbage for audio. Like, it just literally sounded worse, because they didn't resample the audio correctly. And then on top of that, the DAC and AMP were terrible. Um, so that's why I stuck with iPhone. And then since then, it's been like, well, in order to go to... St I was tempted to go back to Android. Uh-huh. Because they had SD cards. Right. And replaceable batteries. Yeah. And then they stopped doing that. Right. Because at a certain point, I went, eh, all smartphones everywhere are good enough now for, like, most of your apps. Like, fuck it. Mm-hmm. And then it turns out, oh, they're done doing that. Great. Yeah, all the cool features you would want it for aren't, aren't there anymore. I'm really glad that capitalism just gets every company in a market space to try to be the exact same thing. Yeah, which is insane. Like, how is, how is that? How is it like that? It's really bizarre. It's truly bizarre. Dragalia Lost's death is what got me out of mobile games. Yeah, that's that would bum me out for sure. Sandwich Peddler says, I have an S22, Samsung, uh -huh. Ultra. Funkai Star Rail lags really bad on it. But I have a second work phone with drastically worse specs, but it is from 2023 and it runs it perfectly. Weird. Do you think it's trying to render at the native resolution of both? Oh my god. Because if it is, your Samsung Galaxy S22 probably has a much higher resolution, and that would be why. I have heard of such situations in Android benchmarking before. I will be right back. Man, this guy can't... He has the same insanely overpowered gun as me, but he can't do anything. This is sad. He's just taking a nap. Let O'Neal have this. He's earned it. <laughs> oh, he's back. Man, him jumping to his feet and meleeing, that dude was great. <laughs> yeah, was... By the way, someone came in and asked, uh, how's the game? It's not good. It's not a good game. It's better than I thought it would be, but it's still got rancid checkpointing and ter terrible balance. But I do get to explore the world of aliens. And I think that's the main thing that people wanted. So at least they got that, I guess. Got to walk around a little bit on the surface of this planet. Explore tunnels that look similar. I'm using the smart gun. Still would not recommend it. We've definitely played way worse looking games too on, on 7th Gen. I mean, we played Vampire Reign uh, only two days ago or something. And this, this makes that game look even worse. Can I resupply if I go back up? That'd be nice. You know what? My armor is still mostly full. And we're going to just save it. I'll run back here and heal if I need to. This is 2 1. The sewer is compromised. Is yeah, people did have really high expectations, that's for sure. God damn it. This is 2 1. Does anyone. Re Maybe unreasonably so, but they did put out completely phony trailers. Made it look like it was even crazier than it is. Hmm. 
<laughs> I just despawned. It was good. I liked it. Okay, so before I go in here, where is my bud? Did he just not even follow me at all? Or did he go his own way? Because I don't even see him back here. Is that him all the way up front? Okay, somebody else is shooting. He is stuck on a wall. Oh my god, he's got himself stuck in here. Can I push him out? No, I can't even interact with him. No wonder he's not helping me. All right, now, now I'll go ahead and pick up that armor. I wonder if it infinitely spawns dudes. It might. That would be pretty on point. Allegedly, they never fixed that line of code in the in the patches that would make the AI work, but the AI is working way better than I expected it to. We're playing on the 360, and we tried to unpatch it by deleting the game and reinstalling it, but I think it still remembered the patch, which really sucks, because the patch also just made the game way harder than it should be. It made everything do more damage, made you have less health. Why? Maybe, maybe do it that way. Ooh. Oh my god, you're on fire. Come on. Just accept that you're dead already. Oh great, I'm basically out of fire. It's not good. On acid blood. Locked. Good. Just like what I want to see. What the hell did we just walk into? Something really bad lives in here. Weapons hot, but don't fire if you don't have to. Oh, checkpoint. Oh my god, finally. And now they're like, don't fire if you don't have to? Um, where? Where did. Where, what were those lines actually about? Here's O'Neill. Help me, O'Neill. Show me the way. This seems to be the way I walked in. O'Neal, where are we going? I guess I shouldn't follow you. You're shoving yourself into a wall. Yeah, the other big problem with this game is that there's no... There's no, like, proper... Signaling for where you should go. Like, you can't bring up a little dot that shows, even points in the right direction. Nothing like that. Your AI partners don't help at all. This way, maybe? Oh, don't want to fire if I don't have to. I said that. But will he just not attack me if I don't fire? Because there were those moments in the movies where they were able to just walk by because it was like the nest. Now he's going to attack me. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and I feel like I keep running these moments of where are we going? Oh my god. Yo, yeah, I'm sure the AI partner is being completely useless is definitely a coding error. There's almost no way they are working as intended. We sent the other two characters down this way. They have to be dead already, right? We aren't just going to find them being fine after they walked into literal hell. Remember my friend being so excited and then had a major disappointment when the game came out? Yeah, no, this says this said a ton of people disappointed when I was working at GameStop. Like, so many people bought it. Like, that was a huge launch night. And then everyone was upset.
Okay, is it down that way? I feel like this is where I just went. Alien jumping around over there. We can't climb. I can't make that jump. Maybe if I do that. Uh... Winner, O'Neill, do you read? Bishop boosted the shortwave signal. Do you copy? Was I supposed to just wander around killing them? Signal is still weak. Because I'm not in a new place, and it's just like checkpoint. We're tracking your movements, and you're about 30 meters it from the violence, just like our ship. I guess. But yeah, I expected all the enemy AI to be way less functional than it is. That would have been way easier to get through, too. Ooh. Gorman's pistol. Oh my god, Gorman Freeman. I don't even remember who that is. I have no idea. Right. I figured not. <laughs> be kind of crazy if you remembered that uh, from the movies. I'll get it open. Yeah, and that's the thing, like, this game, the trailers, the marketing for it, absolutely gasp-lit people. Oh, yeah. Because it was definitely supposed to be a much better game. Oh, oh I'm not a flashlight. Time for spookiness. That's weird. That's our first cutscene, isn't it? Like, in Where's the sense take... of yeah. if you're playing and then it cut to real-time graphics of that. So are we dead? What did that mean? I don't know. I guess we'll find out on the next time. On the next episode. Yeah, I hate the concept of like wasting money and just like doing a churn of like spending money to get to feel better. Right. But it's just so frustrating because I really fucking hate lightning. And I would like photos to look better. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. And the battery shit is not getting solved anytime soon. Like, we all know that. It's a new alien type. Got weird spines on the battery. Oh, what the head. fuck? Oh, we, wow, we just ripped out of it? All right. We're just that, that powerful. Well, I mean, it looks like it's just tape. <laughs> <laughs> and the new, new alien type is just spewing tape. That's cool. Feels like a downgrade. The script told the alien to let you live. <laughs> That's right, Ray Bofus. Does anyone read? This is winter. I'm in trouble and I don't know where I am. Come on, you stupid radio. I mean, in the movies, they do often just capture people to then impregnate them. Right. So it's not too out of the ordinary. But but you haven't been impregnated. We think. Right. I was like, I don't see an egg, but we don't know. I dropped my tracking beacon at the elevator. Um to meet me there. Come on, come that. On. Gotta find a way out, man. I miss Valve making games that weren't Dota. That yeah, yeah. They had some interesting stuff. Is that really the most recent game they made other than, oh God, what's the name? Card game? Yeah, it's Rune Terra. is that theirs or is it no, a different card game? No, it's not that one. Artifact, God, the name was in my head and I'm like, it can't be that. Yeah, that name is so bad. But yeah, they unlaunched Artifact, didn't they? I think so. Like they launched it and the reception was bad, so then they unlaunched it. I mean, yeah, Half-Life Alex did come out after Artifact. Artifact is where me and my friends watch pirated movies. Oh, that's weird. I wonder how that happened. This is so weird that this is their horror segment. It's just like have the guy pop out of the ceiling. I hope this is a whole level. Just so one level can be done. That's fair. Also, if I was playing this in multiplayer, I would just skip this level every time. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, technically Half-Life Alex, you know. Oh, no. Dan, I want you to know you saved me. Turning down my phone's resolution, it immediately made it run better because I apparently accidentally put it on 4K at some point. It's frustrating because I've been looking for a fix for months and literally nothing I read suggested that. Ha <laughs> ha. And there you go. My, temp, my tech ramblings and having conversations with you guys saves lives. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's actually a, a huge thing in benchmarking, like Genshin on multiple different that's platforms. Uh -huh. Is that you want to make sure you're not like... <laughs> you want to make sure you're not running it at 4K when the iPhone version is running at less than 4K. Right. Dana's tech tips. Man, it sure would be cool to have the bandwidth and abilities of Linus tech tips, but it sure would be a nightmare to be Linus tech tips. <laughs> Actually, nah, that guy's got it good. Yeah, no, he does. He's, he's good. That guy told it. Bob, we still don't make enough to quit as an individual our main jobs to run this full time no, according, according to Linus him. Tech Tips years ago. It's really unfortunate. Yeah, guys, Linus Tech Tips told us to go back to our normal jobs, so I guess I'm going to go work at a grocery store because that's a better use of mine and your time. Man, it feels so crazy to be, like, a streamer and have insane support and be so blessed. And then look at YouTubers who got lucky. Mm-hmm. Because literally we all get lucky, just to be right. clear. It's not me being like, YouTubers get lucky, streamers earn it. Um, yeah, I know. But it's weird to see them and they're just like, oh, I'm a millionaire. Yeah. We're like, oh, what shit? Right, we, Damn, didn't, dude. we didn't get that lucky. Way out of the sewer is great. I love it. Disable sewage. Oh, dope. Okay, can you put the milk in the bag, please? Absolutely. I would love to. I uh, I worked for Publix for years. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, that was one of the nice. I think that's the nicest job I ever had. Slowly winter. And near as I can tell, they're attracted to sound. But if one gets close, stand perfectly still until it goes away. Did they sell milk at Liquor Donuts? Okay, one, Liquor Donuts was just the liquor store that has to be wholly segregated from the grocery store because of Florida state law. There were no donuts. <laughs> Secondly, there are no donuts at Liquor Donuts. I'm sorry to disappoint you. This was all a giant misunderstanding from a friend, Dylan. When she posted me, po when she saw me post a picture online from the giant glass window of a Krispy Kreme, mm -hmm. and she thought I worked there because it looked like I was in the kitchen, right? Because the window was that clear. You can't get boozy dough. Now I'm sitting here and I'm like, wait, you could, you can, you can make, you can make desserts and pastries and things out of Irish cream. You could make, could you make Irish cream donuts? Maybe. You need yeast though. Wouldn't, wouldn't that kill the yeast? How does this, is this, has, has someone, an Irish cream donut actually sounds spectacular. I don't know about anything else though. On the other side of that door was him dying, and he watched it happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, question. What? <laughs> Scary, isn't it? No, confusing. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <Score. laughs> okay, I'll read the story again. He was running from the aliens, and he took his melty gun to the door. Upon opening the door, he saw himself on the other side dying. So do you not know how scary stories work? Is that? <laughs> God damn, man. You didn't tell me those guys exploded. They exploded? 
Uh, so when Dylan kept hearing I worked at a liquor store and she saw the donut picture, she was convinced I worked at a place that sold liquor and donuts. And thus, when that became... <laughs> <laughs> What's happening this time, game? <laughs> and it was all wiggly and glowy, and it was fucking scary as shit. You can't just write, it was fucking scary as shit. That scares me as a reader, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you are horrified. It was, like, so scary, man. <laughs> um... And then eventually people connected the dots to call the place I work that allegedly sold donuts and liquor. Liquor donuts, which is from a movie, and I forget what movie, but if you Google it, you can find it, I'm sure. And that's the lore for how it came to be that I worked in a place that's definitely not a real place called Liquor Donuts. Yeah, I think, uh, aside from random drama and, you know, which wasn't that bad. And, uh, the usual corporate bullshit. Yeah. I think, I think Publix was the best job I had. What will be on the side of, the other side of the door this time, Bob? I guess this time I don't explode. That's cool. Yay! Can you checkpoint me, please? Just a little checkpoint? Just be, just a treat? And I'm putting a YouTube short of liquor donuts in the foodies channel just for you. Oh, one moment. One moment. One moment. Wait, is that a energy drink ranking chart? Oh hell yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. That's I'm gonna have to see that later. I'm gonna come back for you. <laughs> okay, checkpoint. Okay, now then. Bow. Oh yeah, I Irish cream filling for donuts seems really easy and doable. I mean, you could. We're closing in on the signal. Let's keep moving. We're almost out of here, bro. That's that seems really doable. Can't you hand me a gun through the? Nope. Oh my Good luck. God. All right. So about it being a whole level, and you would skip it if you played multiplayer with anyone ever. Right. I'm sure you're gonna get crazy good experience, right? I sure hope. What is even? Oh, they're walking around. They, they're going to explode on each other. I don't know. I don't know why this is part of their life what, cycle. What time? What end of the town did you end up on? <laughs> they just walk around in the dark and explode on each other. I get to watch, though. Uh... This is... So weird that they added a new kind of alien transformation. They seem to come out of their shells that are the regular aliens, the regular Xenomorphs become weird white exploding versions that wander around and d d explode at random. Very strange. Spooky though, right? No. Oh. <laughs> hey, bro. Man, Xenoverse are really scary. Like water balloons. Excuse me, Tom? <laughs> like water balloons. How are they like water balloons? You just said they were scary, so I'm saying they're scary like water balloons. Tom, are you fucking scared of water balloons? Is that what I'm learning today? N no. Then explain how what you said made sense if you don't have some bizarre phobia of water balloons, Tom. I have to go home. <laughs> The creator, the director, the creative director, then locked himself in his car and said, "I can't fucking do this anymore." <laughs> they know. I don't know. He, he knew a clip through every wall, got to me and grabbed me and killed me in an instant. <laughs> Congratulations. We're now on the tier of like creepy pasta game <laughs> made for children. <laughs> what if he clipped through the wall and grabbed you? That would be scary. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, Publix was fine. It was good. It's on me, it's on me. There's a weird thing about Publix though, okay? We move states and still I oh, go to- Oh, it sealed that door behind me. Okay. Hey, come on. Don't worry, there's enough standing room. Hey, come back! 
Dude, bro! What in the world is this game? Wait, he's trying. Oh I will save you! <laughs> I'm starting to see. I think this game's going to fall apart as we play it. Yeah, no. How did we get hours wow. into this and it's been fine and then that? It, it was. It was basically perfectly functional until that. This fucking alien's mind game is top notch. <laughs> I can't fucking I... believe that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, what happened out there, man? I don't know. Okay, I hit attack <laughs> point. I, I'm getting myself from laughing. <laughs> I mean, you, you go first. You open. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll go first. I got this. I just haven't touched this game even one second the whole time. <gasps> the legendary Hudson's pulse rifle. Wow, that's that's great. But, no, that's grenade. Down? Yeah. I'll let you. You know what? You know your way around here way better than me. Every now and again. Like, it takes until I touch the controller to remember. Our 360 controller's pretty dire, and we should probably get one new one at least. Luckily, we don't do a lot of multiplayer 360 stuff. I didn't realize this was a burst fire. <laughs> I don't understand. Why would someone be disappointed in this? Is this not a spooky, heckin' awesome aliens game? They're just having trouble finding us and then running directly to us. Oh man. I wonder if this is one of those situations where later in the game it gets more broken, or is it merely that the longer you keep it on, the more broken it gets? Bob, we're in a giant open area, and the aliens have found it troubling to walk directly at us. What? They've been, like, circle strafing us at times. It's, it's kind of weird. I can't believe... Alien busts into the door. <laughs> you're like, around. you're like, don't worry, they're standing room. Come on in, you close it. He's like, no, 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 I insist. Wait, that's the human. Ah! And this is an invisible door. Your lips are so beautiful. How do you know that? Let's move. I think it's funny that in the Resident Evil 4 timeline, we have devices where we can x-ray someone and laser something specifically to kill tiny parasites, but in the distant future, but they, in the alien How film you know franchise, that? we haven't figured out how to do it. So if, yeah. if they got if they got an alien just living in they're like, yeah, how did you it's know over. That? It's, it's just fucking over, man. Oh, give it up for hour 94. 94. Hello. Oh. The hell? We got company, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at them. They're just fucking asleep. They just sat there and didn't know how to move. Old grown fucking aliens don't know how to move even. I'm sure it's because we're on the lower difficulty. The AI only works in tiny hallways where they can ambush you? Yeah, that's what it seems like. Hey, My at God. least this guy's mostly... Bye. Oh, he's trying to, like, get yeah. jump on you. Yeah. He's working. Yeah? Uh -huh. You would call that optimal? <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, hey guys. Thanks. I don't know what. Thanks. Apparently, if you pull out your motion detector, it will just point out the next objective. That. Mm -hmm. That's good. Let's get to the comm tower. I was almost tired. Yeah, I figured that out at the end of the last section. If only I weren't four foot eight. <laughs> Our character's toast height. I'm watching your friend who can't draw a direct line between two points. Ugh. Oh. Oh no, my lower half disappeared, yelled the alien, exploding. Yeah, I feel like this is the part of the game where I'd start getting, like, really upset if I were an Aliens fan and yeah. just bought it for $60. Yeah, absolutely. Because, yeah, we were, uh... I remember people saying the game just fell apart more as they went. I didn't realize it was like a, it, the AI and game and other stuff like worked at all before. Right. I thought it was like, oh, it was bad, it, like abysmal to begin with, and somehow even disappointed more after. But look at this dude. Oh, by the way, we got another heckin' legendary thing. I don't remember what. Don't ask. Oh, I bet it's that, the assault rifle you're using that's like Hudson's name is on it. Yeah, probably. I was like, it, it seems like it's the worst uh, you... machine gun that I have. Oh so. my god, are you fucking... Hey, you're gonna let me up though, right? What? Aliens Community Theater? Yes. That's what they should have called it. Did I just dump an entire shotgun into it and it was like, oh, I was cutscening. You can't hurt me. I think that's what I'm happened. worried it's all cutscene. Yeah, I think like, that look he's, at what it's yeah, doing. There's no a, way I can hurt it. Yeah, he's the super one, the one they made up for the game, so obviously we can't kill him now. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it is rough being four eight. Let it is. Tell, let me tell you. I still wonder if Tosh not being able to melee and postal pistol whip was a skill issue, or they literally programmed it in a way where short people can't melee properly. That would be really funny. I don't even know how they would have done that, but it'd be funny. They're like, you're not moving your hand fast enough, which is amazing because I can literally just do this mm -hmm. and like. Right so that doesn't make any going. sense to me. Uh. Uh. I'm I'm being scared. Yeah. Obviously. Oh no. Now I'm pregnant, right? That's how it works. <laughs> how it works. The Not only with aliens. That's how it works with people too, chat. <laughs> Stay celibate. Stay safe. <laughs> Thick wheel terrorist combo oh. says that they can melee and pistol whip, but they are very handicapped. That's but true. But it's hard. It was a good run. It was. You made it pretty far for not having touched the game before that. <laughs> I, I, I was like, okay, Dan, go through the controls of your brain. How do I turn on the flashlight? And then I pulled out the grenade and I'm like, close, but not quite. <laughs> time to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pregnant. That time of alien doesn't do that, man. And I pull the pin and blow up. <laughs> All right, I need to get rid of this awful gun first. Because every time they give you a legendary gun, it's worse than any of the guns you would have. Why are they like this? Because they're stupid. I don't know. I don't know in what world you think, well, they'll get the cool legendary gun from movies that those characters use, and they'll suck. Yeah, I don't get it. Who would want that? Oh, man, you have a lot of points. Oh, man, we do have a lot of points. Wow. 
Also, thank you for the follow. And I might be a high enough rank so I can actually unlock more things. A lot of the upgrades are locked behind ranks. Yeah. Yeah. It's Call of Duty. Yeah. Why is it Call of Duty? For some reason it is that. <laughs> because it's a multiplayer game. Why is it a multiplayer game? That is a really great question. Man, remember that, that free multiplayer alien uh, twin stick shooter on Steam? Oh, yeah. That thing was sick. What's the deal with that? I don't know. I can't remember the name. Ow. Actually, that didn't hurt. It just did a thing I didn't expect, and that mentally hurt me. <laughs> I tried to raise my hand, and the watch face hit the desk, and that made me say ow, even though I wasn't hurt. I Sometimes these things happen in video games, and I say ow, and then I, you know, they happen in real life, and I say ow, and then I go, did video games train me to go ow when I am notionally hurt? Right? I wonder these things sometimes. I feel like I've gotten better about that. I feel like I've got, I used to do it a lot more as a kid where something would bop me and I'd be like, ow, and it didn't actually hurt. Yeah, they do that a lot. They, <laughs> and then they fall down later. Oh no. Like wheelchair combos cannot believe you on the legendary guns being worse. That is inconceivable to right. them. They can't they can't rank up like the real guns, so they're worse. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay. They might have like one upgrade on there, but they don't have the the plethora of upgrades I could get for the other guns. Oh, I was out of fire. Uh oh. I wonder how everyone who <laughs> everyone who made this game's doing right now. I hope they're all right, except for Randy. <laughs> the people who made this game. Why would Randy be included? <laughs> His hand was involved in making this game. That's not to say he created the things in the game, right? Maybe you need to attach them along with their built-in upgrade. Maybe. Maybe there's some way to do that, but I haven't seen anything like that in the menu. Yeah. If I get so many different guns, and then I'm so shoehorned in what I can use by what what ammo they drop. Mm-hmm. Rifle. I haven't used the submachine gun at all yet. I watched a review on the Apple Vision Pro by a guy who clearly made his entire career out of making reviews that are both completely earnest and have substance to them, but are also disingenuous shitposts here. God. So he was like, in order to really understand the Apple Vision Pro, I had to spend a whole day in it. I woke up looking kind of scraggly. I had been working so hard as of late, I forgot to shave, so I decided to shave. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I was like, this is pretty good. But then he's like, but I wasn't sure what to do with my hairstyle or with my facial hair. So I, I asked an AI assistant because the video also dips heavily into AI chatbots and AI generated shit. It was a pretty, yeah, Eddie Burbank. Or Eddie Burbank, yeah, that, that video was pretty good. That was pretty good. so bad it does it never looks good man it's taking a while to load this room there we go the 360 starts making sounds like an apple disc or a tandy disc drive so <laughs> you just hear it slam the reed head <laughs> or commodore that was the ones that did it where it would have cost them a little bit more money to put the module in there to track what head the reader was on what track the reader head was on okay so the way they fix this is they slam the head exactly 16 steps outward so it would always be the outmost it could be wow uh-huh that's crazy it's kind of genius if that happens again the boys that's on you i expect the same from you time comes Oh. Stay alert. Okay, it's our shadows. Like, oh no, aliens! 
<laughs> you look up there, they're just doing the same pose as the aliens. <laughs> like, are you scared? Are you afraid of me? Oh, I wore an Apple Vision Pro to every Rainforest Cafe in North America. Has someone done that exact one? Has someone done that exact one? <laughs> Has someone done that exact type of YouTube video? <laughs> I got um, it. I got how it. Did, wait, no, no, no I got don't it. run. Don't run. Don't look away. <laughs> Let it wash over you. <laughs> um, I would love to try out an Apple Vision Pro just to know the current state of it. Right. Oh my God, they're expensive. Yeah, no, that that's four thousand dollars. Unbelievable amount of money. Can I climb the train? No. Can you show me where to go? No. God, yeah, it has features like that, and then it just doesn't use them. Like, yeah. oh my god. Also, it's really funny because a the good a good chunk of the beginning of that video from Eddie Burbeck is him talking about like, you know, four thousand dollars is a lot of money. It could buy, and he keeps listing used cars from like when we were in high school. <laughs> That are $3,500 or $4,000 because you have to buy the optics to correct the vision if you have bad eyes. Yeah, that's insane. So anyways, he keeps doing that. And he mentions, like, it's a lot of money. It feels completely disgusting. But technically, it's not my money. It's the sponsor's money. <laughs> then eventually he goes into the sponsor's bit and I skip it. But his apartment, you can tell from his apartment that he does not own an, an insane amount of nice things. Like, in the expensive realm of things, right? Mm -hmm. I assume if someone were to look at the two of our rooms, because I've spent more on equipment for the channel, clearly, because of the nature of what we do. Right. One would assume I spent and made a lot more money. It's like, oh, I spent more. <laughs> I didn't make more. God, no. Um, man. Can you guys give me a ladder or something? If you pull out your motion sensor, will it just no. put a circle in the fucking environment? I'm sure you go inside that door. I've already been in there and ten times. And then you times. look at the ceiling, okay? okay? And then you spin around three times. I think I'm just supposed to wait for these guys to slowly spawn Everyone in okay? and kill them one at a time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Affirmative. I'm here. Wait, okay. Where's O'Neal? What the hell happened to O'Neal? Don't, 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 thing. don't. Are we all good on ammo? Don't play musical cues. That's not. Wait, wait. Belay that. If we go after O'Neill, we could all die. You can't be serious. Think about what you're saying, Bell. It's too risky. As the ranking officer, I have to make the call. Make the call? He's the one that made us go this after you. Don't, 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 you don't kiss her. Dog. If that you kiss her, you're kissing every alien that impregnated her. <laughs> That's how that works. You'll get alien impregnated too. <laughs> Gavin Chris just says, this is exactly how alien xenomorphs should act. <laughs> Ready up, weapons hot. I like that they have two energies in this game. Aggressive dumb dog. Uh-huh. And guy at Disney World on a break in a suit. <laughs> and they just shift between the two wildly. The scariest things I've ever seen. <laughs> you're fucking... You're fucking, uh, Alfred. <laughs> and it's good on you, but he's the scariest fucking game I've ever seen. Okay, that guy's huge. Is he invincible? I think he's invincible. I'm now over there and dead. I have nightmares that are like that. <laughs> you know? Oh shit, that's me dead and I'm watching me dead. Oh shit. I actually haven't had that in a while. <laughs> that's more like a kid thing. I think engaging with video games is the sort of thing that builds the groundwork for that sort of <laughs> nightmare where you're just like, oh, I am watching me die because you do that in video you games. You do that that's... in video games a lot, yes. Yes. Focus, let's 
Roger that! Everyone out of the chute! I really think there's there a go. lot of space for AAA 7th Gen Shooter where every line and delivery in the game is understanding that they need to be selling how good the explosion, like how crazy everything is, and it looks like shit. Yes. I think if we do go down the dark path of making our satire 7th Gen AAA games, that's what we have to do. <laughs> the random uh, barks and whatnot from characters that are scripted to events just have them say, oh my God, that looks expensive. <laughs> What's that? Uh, there's some some game that was made recently. It's like those those games on your phone. You want them? We have them. Fine. You say you. What was it? What was the name of that game, chat? You say you want these games. Fine. Here they are, or something like that. Right. Oh no, he's there. Where are we running, guys? Are we running here? Yeah. Hey, Digi. How's it going? Sorry, once again, did you? <laughs> Sorry, once again, Digimon, Day, you have been replaced by Digital Basic. <laughs> that is how it works. You like those games, right? <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So it's like. <laughs> it's just seven, the seven game, ga ga yeah. ga games. You want them? Here they are. <laughs> well, no, you you. You have to play into this is how they remember them or something, mm. right? You have to be like, remember good games? You sure? <laughs> Use power loader to survive. Mount power loader. We're doing it again. Now I get to fight an alien with the power loader. Ah, uh, damn. I was hoping you could just open a door. Oh. I'm really disappointed right now. I just see all these shutters around us and shudder to think how we're going to open them if this alien breaks this power suit. Yeah, I don't understand why would Aliens fans be disappointed by this. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't know, man. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the end of the fight. No, we're still, we're still going. The amount of chat doing the pog point, the soy jack, with various emotes going the thing from the movie. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, oh wait. sick! Yeah. Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh. What happened? What? <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine punch out music going over it, and it's it's hard cutting between you choking them, then being five feet away, you hugging, and then you boxing. <laughs> Clonk. Clonk. Yeah, we, oh, we're doing awesome. it. Oh, awesome. We're doing... Wait, wait, why did we let go? What? What is this? Wow, it's... It's... It's just like the movie. Remember the multiple minutes long scene where she just kept bonking him over the head with the arm and the power suit? Yeah. It was minutes long. It, it was, was a boxing match, basically. It was great. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, what? What that was is, any that, of that? I think you tickled him to death. <laughs> if we weren't so close to dying, we would have heard our See character go and Gucci here. goo or whatever. See you? you wanted to leave him out here to die. Bo, what are you talking about? We disagreed. She tried to pull rank and leave you for dead. Look, everyone calm down. I was scared. I'm just a pilot, but as lieutenant, I have to make a call. We don't leave Marines behind. That supersedes rank. Hey, can we not do this out here? Bella, we cannot risk the lives of multiple Marines to save what one. What are you looking at? We understand what you're going through, but it's hard to trust someone who won't be alive in a few hours. What did you just say to me? If it's called you a know, death dream, then oh, why are they I'm alive? Just put it down, Bella. Bella, put it down. You just pointed a gun at a superior officer. Last I checked, your orders were to put one in your skull should the time. Stop come. it! Just let's get back to operations, all right? God damn it, you two! Salako Actual, this is Winter. We've recovered oh. a few What a dutastrous. <laughs> God, I wish he sounded like Duke. <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, Bob, obviously, we couldn't possibly make that game without getting some cameos from 7th Gen voice actors like Nolan North. It's true. I lost 300 of my people in the last day, so take me at my word when I tell you I'm feeling this too. Reed, Bella, bury this shit and move on. Permission to... Shut up. You made the right call and you know it. And we're done talking about it. You two, front and center. So these two lunkheads come to me to authorize what amounts to a suicide mission into the heart of the Way U facility to try and extract that thing from your chest. We're spread thin as it is. Too many Marines unaccounted for. Sir, if you'll just listen to what- But I'm authorizing it. On one condition. Sir. There's a manifest of all personnel in the facility. Send that back first. Then go get that thing out of Bella. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. There's a stable of Hadley's surface crawlers. Take one and make sure you come back alive. All of you. Permission to accompany them on the mission, sir. Denied. Is this some is this guy somehow surviving here with no one else? Get hundred Marines back off this planet. This is not a conversation we're oh. having. Oh, Look, apparently there are hundred Marines. There are hundred Marines? Where are they? So Would you like to show you. us Stay these the hundred way. Marines? Yeah, just sign up for this course. Yeah, that's do not, what? I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Uh because <laughs> this doesn't seem to be a real military facility. This seems to be a warehouse you've rented. <laughs> yeah, no, I teach you karate on the mountain. Yeah, yeah that's uh finding that a little hard to believe. <laughs> So many men. There's so many Marines hanging out with you guys off camera. Just barely off camera. Then can we get like two of them to help out with us? Mm, denied. <laughs> yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> I remember any of the rovers looking this lousy, but you know, maybe. Hey, Bob. I can't drive What's any up? further. I just said a thought. The dust alone has gunked up the cylinders you know, so I bad could, we're barely moving. I could just do the Matt we Hazard walk. voice for our 7th yeah. gen game and so people would be like... This is winter. <laughs> yeah, it's true. On foot. Understood, winner. Don't forget about that manifest. Over. We're like, wow, is this a Matt Hazard game? <laughs> totally. It's a our white, they sure bald, 7th gen shooter comedy game <laughs> is definitely an official <laughs> Matt Hazard game. It's yes. not just we're both making jokes about the same <laughs> garbage. <laughs> And I'm impersonating someone. <laughs> our bald guy has a little bit of peach fuzz. <laughs> it's our original OC man. <laughs> He's got a mustache that puts him on a government list. <laughs> he has to let people know when he moves into neighborhoods because of his mustache. Sir, there were no survivors. Zeno's got him. Hey, remember that when that guy in Push had just the creepiest like energy? Yeah. But he was totally fine, actually. Yeah, spoilers for Push, by the way. Don't, you know, wouldn't want to spoil Push for anyone. But no. yeah, that that actually... He was technically a was sniffer? No, he was a, one of the guys who could block out Oh, people. right. He, he, he could stop he the He could sniffers. block sniffers. So he put off a strong enough energy to block sniffers, but they gave him the creepiest mustache and haircut they could. Shadow. Yeah. Yeah. At what? Oh. You need to have the... Yeah, see, that's the thing I was thinking, right? I was like, ah, oh, man, he's like a famous Hollywood celebrity. I'm not sure it would be even possible to get Matt Hazard's actual voice actor, even for a cameo. Right. Yeah, that's way bigger it would be than even Noel North. Right. It would be genuinely hilarious, though, if he's an equally bald but older-looking guy who looks like our main character. Yes. <laughs> He's Please. just like, wait a second, have you just been impersonating me your whole life? <laughs> Avatar of deodorant? Question mark? Yeah, that's their ability. Hey man, Push had a really cool song at the beginning. I mean, the... I feel like we covered this in the podcast, but like Push is an actually well-made movie. Yeah, it's so weird. It's like fucked up. It that. feels like, unfair to compare it to Jumper. Jumper. Yeah, like yeah, it feels unfair that people are rightfully scared of Push based on Jumper. Right? 
Because oh. one of these is a good movie, like made in earnest, and the other is Jumper. The book was way better for Jumper. Yeah, but it also ended up with the Paladins on the Moon or something. Yeah, I remember somebody started posting tons and tons of stuff about the book. It was like, oh, this sounds incredibly stupid. What are the conversations I've had with a complete stranger in VR chat? Uh huh. Was about Jumper. That dude was really like, oh, yeah, I remember Jumper. I wish I was that guy when I was a kid. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's the point. This is just, 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 that's the point. He's just supposed to be the world's shittiest adult using all of his powers for selfishness and stuff in a completely brain dead and vapid movie. And you as a teenager are supposed to be like, wow, I wish I was an asshole with superpowers. And it also really helped that like people in, most people in Push could act. We didn't have a Hayden Christensen as a main character. Let me check something. Yeah, even the child actors, what, what was it, Dakota Fanning? Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. She can act, so. I found out. Does Watching Push. Is Push, like, made on, uh, like, based on a book or a comic or anything? I don't know. Because it, 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 it felt like just its own thing, and that, that was neat. Somebody was making jokes about the Jumper game and when we're death streaming that. Mm -hmm. And I'm checking my email to see if I bought that one I was looking at on Amazon. Or on eBay. I feel like I did. Yes. Okay. In fact, it, it may show up today. Cool. <laughs> for people who don't know, it's a jumper game for the 360 based on Griffin, the side character in Jumper. jumper. I always forget it's on the 360 because in my head, it's a Wii game only. Understandable. So about we need a channel that just takes our gameplay footage and upload that. Uh-huh. Because the internet needs good quality footage of that. Oh no, they're spitters. No, Bob, I think they're called benders. You can't name your push thing what's obvious. No. God, the, the every scene that the main character would have guns floating next to him was incredible. Oh, it's fucking the, the single-handed worst thing. It was, was so... just the make the gun float in air effect. Yeah. It's like, guys, you could have done that with practicals and it wouldn't look good at all. Right. They weren't concerned with that, though. They weren't held back. Of course, he didn't give me ammo for the things that actually get at range. Yeah, Matto, you're totally right. The Jumper game, based on the side character Jumper, is a game that really could have just come out on the Wii. It sounds like it would be the... They, they're, they're not real. Not until you kill these and then it'll have them drop. Or they're just broken. They might just be broken. But yeah, that does really sound like a game that could have just come out on the Wii. It is that exact tier. They're just broken. Oh, you killed him, but he's not animating. Because they were shooting and that one's acid dead at too. Me. You've killed them. Okay. Admittedly, their AI killed them long ago. It's like the fucking MGS4 situation, and I will not <laughs> clarify any further than that. If you get it, you get it. The Wii version of Jumper has a 23% rating on Metacritic. Perfect. The is best. The, is the 360 version better? Ooh. It came out on PS2 also. Fuck that. Not touching that with a yardstick. No way. 360 is at 28% Metacritic. Beautiful. They never made a push game, right? The PS2 has the highest Metacritic? Fuck you, what? <laughs> Push is a Steam game made in 2017. It is a puzzle game. <laughs> so no, there is no game based on the movie Push. Which is weird. I think we can all agree. Oh. 
So where's our Game Boy Advance push game? I guess it would it wouldn't be Game Boy Advance. In it would 2009, be 2009, right? <laughs> no wait, this isn't a game. This is just a GBA movie. <laughs> yeah, fine. I've just been watching a movie waiting for the cut intro cutscene to end. <laughs> So you realize we can just take our love for Jumper and a genuine appreciation for Push and fuse that with our 7th gen AAA game idea, right? Okay. And our dude's like a 19-year-old psychic superpower dude, right? Okay. Who's just a piece of shit. Too late to unvolunteer for this mission. How many women die in the game? Oh my god, so many. What's the tracker showing? Now, is there a counter? Sporadic. <laughs> <laughs> it's a toggleable thing in the settings, so you gotta go check the settings. Yeah. Probably jab from structural damage. I'm gonna kick it in. Galerians, but for Americans. Yeah, that's. Just slipped out. I got point from here, so we don't alert every Zeno or Wei Yu bastard within a mile of here. Are we on a gigantic sinkhole? My tracker is picking up a lot of activity within our perimeter. Stay frosty. Um, we have not streamed either Galerian's game. I really want to. Yeah. We did a giving games a chance for Galerian's Ash, and I thought that intro was cool as shit, and then we stopped playing, and I was like, damn it. Yeah, no, that, those would both be cool games to see all the way through. I was trying to... I was trying to think of when the first time on video, whether that's live action... You know what? Live action. Let's go with live action. A person was depicted igniting another person with psychic energy. Right? Uh-huh. Because that happened in Lawnmower Man. And I was like, this is just like fucking Galerians. He's shooting the drugs to subdue his psychic powers, and when he freaks out, he lights people on fire. It's fucking Galerians. There's got to be something else that did it too, I think, maybe, but possibly not. I wonder when Akira came out. Is a ton Akira of Galerians may have beaten all. Lawnmower Man out. Right. Because that would have been late 80s, right? Yeah, I believe it's 89, but... And I think Lawnmower Man's like 91, 92, because it got a Super Nintendo game. Bob, I wasn't looking right at the screen. Did it just despawn when it died? <laughs> it made a little like bite noise, like crunch. And it, the whole body just popped. I'm gonna die now, but this is very funny. So do you think in our game you get upgrades by- Oh yeah, Carrie. Oh yeah, Carrie. I need to watch that. I do too, even though I know basically everything about it. Right? It's one of those where it's like it's such a cultural impact sort of movie that everyone knows what's in it. It's also Stephen King, isn't it? I think that it, the yeah, no, it's based so. on a Stephen King novel, but it might have a famous director attached to it, which made it actually good. When you thought Galerians, I thought you meant. God, all the when way you first outside. said Galerians, I thought you meant the French one with the thousand planets, and then Spiff says that's Valyrian. I'm not sure what you two are talking about. Right? I guess it was the maid's day off. Stephen King, yes, famous Watch director, no. Movies. Okay, I was gonna say. Okay. <laughs> but then we have people saying Brian De Palma directed it. Late to unvolunteer for this mission, O'Neill. We gotta get that door open. Bella, what's the tracker showing? Uh, Didn't they checkpoint me after all of these just, just cutscenes? Well, we're good for now. Why is that a theme of the demon pit? This door ain't moving. It's probably jammed from the structural damage. It's almost like games it. that are kind of bad do that. Mm hmm. Jesus Christ, not get caught in a big hole. Hey, Bob. Hey. Um. 
Spiff says Slipped we up. saw a preview for it after push. That That's the only reason I know. Of Valyrian. Yeah, I was wondering why I was talking about Galerians recently, and not just because somebody recommended to Gamma Chris incredibly justifiably for Halloween in <laughs> April. Oh, yes. Because Galerians fucking whips. The only problem with Galerians is that you might just end up saving in a spot where you've expended too much of your necessary, like, drugs. <laughs> right. And then you might just not be able to beat the game. And then you will have to return it to Blockbuster. And then you will be sad for the rest of your days. Yeah, it feels like Galerian's one to me was a lot worse than any Resident Evil ever was. Yeah, I was like, that the classic, like, survival horror problem? What? I can fell off of that? Yeah, there's a giant hole in the room. Yeah, I thought that there was a wall or something because it didn't no. seem to block me before. Or no, it's, 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 yeah, I know. Well, it's, it's, they, they know how goofy it was that what just happened, though, right? Real quick, stop. This looks like a movie set. We agree, right? Like, look to the right. See how it's like... The, you expect to see the stage back there? Yeah. There's something about this... This isn't fully realized that makes it look like a film set. Mm-hmm. This might be the cave slash subway from Planet of the Apes 2. <laughs> I need to ask Chris... Game of Chris if he's watched Planet of the Apes. Uh, he's real gay. I guess it was the maid's day off. The Planet of the Apes? <laughs> <laughs> Who's real gay? Why did you hit that button? Is it too late to unvolunteer for this mission? O'Neill, we gotta get that door open. Bella, what's the tracker showing? Oh, the director of Valerian's the director of Fifth Element. Oh. Well, we're good for now. Uh, 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 dreams are made of There's nothing you can't do Welcome to New York Sorry about the nugget thing it Just slipped out I got point from here so we don't alert every Xeno or way you bastard with I'm gonna go ahead and say you need to ace whatever's coming up so we don't have to have people honk at the cutscene they've seen twice already <laughs> Yes Cutscene is really overselling It is we need a PS1 horror game month with Galerians and Overblood. That does sound great. We should do that. Yeah. Luckily, this year, we won't be, like, moving on top of October. <laughs> and the Tony Hawk Marathon's happening before then. <laughs> so the need for Tony October is a little bit... A little bit reduced. Right. Sometimes Dan gives us a really good button, like, he's real gay. Do you have to clarify Planet of the Apes 2 2014, or is it assumed 1970? I mean, I almost said, well, the, the new one's not called Planet of the Apes 2, and it's like, hey, Dan. Dan. Neither is the original. Right. It's called Beneath the Planet of the Apes, but I figured no one would fucking... Yeah, you just call it Beneath. You don't even fly Planet of the Apes. <laughs> because saying the whole thing is beneath me? Yes. Oh, this is our way out! Um, yeah, I still haven't seen the new ones other than the very first, um, but I want to. It just requires money. And, like, how do you have time? How do you have money to, re like, rent all these Planet of the Apes films when you're too busy buying Push on 4K Blu-ray, right? Uh-huh. You reached a checkpoint, right? I didn't see it. I sure hope I did. They're criminals for doing this. They give me no good ammo. Yes! And then they have me watch this insanely it's long thing. Yes! I wonder why people hated this. 
It's, it's a, a real, real fucking mystery. <laughs> Rats off to you. You know what? Oh, if we're all wow. just gonna make fucking random sounds for no reason, I'm hitting the button. Are you telling me cigars aren't shoes? <laughs> I guess it was the maid's day off. I guess we'll watch our trackers. Yippee! <laughs> Kogashi says, Dan, come on, call it by its real title. Mystery Science Theater 3000 Season 8, Episode 4, What's The Deadly Mario Mantis. Like in... Score! That's my favorite. That's my favorite part of the game. Oh, no. Hey, Bob. Hey. Hey, Bob. Just don't die. <laughs> my name is Shelly. Score! Splish! Door ain't moving. It's probably jammed from the structural damage. I I was just a finger never in his breasts. They're large. Jesus Christ, Nugget, go ahead and make all the noise. Yeah, no, no, turn. no. Look at of that course not. They're large. Scrunt. Hey, Bob, can you? I got point for Fucking so scrunt. Yeah. Is there a crash button? Uh, uh, we are going to check out what? the September B. lineup B. and see what else is okay. on the way. He's picking up a lot of activity okay. within our program. Damn That's great, no, but I, I need to get the, the armor. <laughs> That's great, <no. laughs> That's really nice. Not <laughs> there was armor sitting over here. Lady booty shaking in front of you and you just turned into Joe Para. <laughs> That's really great. I bet you worked really hard on that. What's Mario like? Put an RPG! Okay, there. We have made it to new things. No. Oh. What's wow. Mario like? Put in... Yeah, I made it all the way outside last time. It just didn't, didn't check point. But we're almost there. <laughs> Was that alien set to self-destruct? What the fuck happened there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand how alien, any it's Aliens so fan could be disappointed. <laughs> Yippee! But, 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 but. <laughs> Checkpoint. We did it. One last hostile. Okay, I did not do it that time. You just screamed one more hostile. <laughs> They were just gray goo <laughs> because it was loading the texture still. Yeah. God, this is on the hard drive. Right. Imagine. Yeah, no, it's imagine the PS3 version of all things, too. You were right to do it, Bob. You were right to do it, Bob. Sick wheelchair combo says, this is like the quiet man stream, but the opposite. <laughs> the loudest fuck man. <laughs> <laughs> That guy's as loud as fuck, man. Oh, is that a, is that a data point? And the armor, oh my god. Oh, okay, that's glass. I was like, do I go down or do I go on this? And down was scary because uh, it might kill me. Get the personal manifest. Or personnel manifest. Wow. That makes more sense. Checkpoint. Man, there weren't even any aliens. And they're like, yeah, sure, checkpoint. But you couldn't check with me after the the obvious, like, yeah, there's a giant cutscene. That was just too much. Oh, auto turrets. Luckily, I guess aliens can't use doors. Combat pistol. That looks smaller than the regular pistol. It looks like one of the arms broke off before we got here. Why'd you say that once again, Doc? A lava flowed. Anywhere else? Oh, did did the uh did the signal? Disconnect again when I stood up and electric. Oh, it, it must have. God damn it. Oh, 
the turret. O'Neal, stay here with Bella. I'll find a way to get him behind. The video Check cut out for a second. God. God, Bob. Yeah. No other streamer has this problem. <laughs> I've never seen one streamer have this problem other than me. Right? Why am I an adept? Nobody else bought the Secret Lab fabric chair. And no one warns us. That's bullshit. That's, I know that for a fact to be false. Tell her to keep her chin up and push through it. Roger that, sir. Win her out. God, what they call them in Infamous? Um... Conduits. Con Duits, thank you. I was like, con... con Convent. Con 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 convent, yeah. Mm -hmm. We call a group of conduits a, a convent. Uh, okay. Please come with me to my conduit brothel. Okay. <laughs> what do you guys do here? First thing I do when I enter a, a new building is turn off all the auditors that would kill aliens. This makes sense. Uh, sir, you sent us here to get a personnel manifest? No, my personal manifesto. Uh, <laughs> mm, mm, I'm not... Uh, mm. There was a giant fire, sir. <laughs> I think it's gone. <laughs> You'll have to narrate to the author again. <laughs> it's a fucking Cave Johnson-esque fucking rant. <laughs> <laughs> O'Neal, is that what level are we on? I don't know. Is the show here? Six? Get on that menu. Oh, well. Mission six, yeah. Cool. Okay, cool. For Bella. Keeping keeping track pretty well. Man, that desk is just not gonna load in. Oh. There is a manifest on here. That was much easier than I thought it was gonna be. Wait. What? There's a USCM call tag on here. They have a marine? Who? Get it to Cruz and let him figure it out. Actual, we have the manifest. Going to pipe it out on a relay frequency and head into the facility. Roger that, winner. So, Bob. Uh, Do you hear I that? I assume. That's a dropship. Powering this place up must have drawn some attention. No way he can see us in here. Maybe we should move. No. Alright, there's gonna be another level where we should fight humans. Yeah. I assume we have a mode we want for the game called Altered Species, where every enemy now just ragdolls hilariously. <laughs> oh, not just you? Okay. Yeah, not that, that probably me. makes sense. Because the enemies did too. Not quite as funny because, of course, they didn't get hit really hard. Right. Which, if there's a major shortcoming in Vampire Rain that should be fixed, why didn't you give us better guns? Yeah, I don't know. Does that make the game too easy? Chimera asks, this is what you wanted from an Aliens game, right? Yeah. And no one ever wanted to fight random humans in an Aliens game. Elevator. The Why is the elevator moving? Why is the elevator moving like that? The elevator's moving. We have to take it down. They've dropped an elevator. It's coming right for us. It's just the fucking Thomas the Tank Engine mods for fucking Mr. X. Looks like a fucking phone booth from Doctor Who's coming for us. <laughs> Checkpoint. It should say that. It should have like the the cruising 64 checkpoint sound. I mean, most games should. I think that much is certain. Why were they like, "Yo, you want to go, bro? You want to do this?" 
Like they, the, the human and the alien were both just like, what's up? I'll yeah. kill you. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. So Bob, the plot of the main love interest in our game that is a fusion of a parody of both Jumper and 7th Gen AAA games is she's the girl who won't die. Like, that's the prophecy, right? <laughs> and of course, every other woman in the game dies. Every single fucking one. The backstory of our main character and how he got his powers is his mom died. Right? Jesus. But the tragic ending of the game is that the, the girl who won't die dies. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe our main character will bring her back to life after she dies with his insane Neo powers. Maybe. But anyways, that's that's the shtick. That's the shtick. Anyways, we should sell voice packs so the girl who won't die can be various streamers. Jesus. And then we make a lot of money. People are like, who the fuck are any of these streamers? And I'm like, damn. Damn, we're in a tight spot. <laughs> That's what you want to say when you announce your DLC plans, right? <laughs> yes. And Ruri goes, what the fuck is this? We don't want this. <laughs> Oh my god, I used all the ammo for that gun. Let me see if I have ammo for the other gun. I'm gonna read no. what this person wrote, even though I know what they meant by the letters they typed. He heroically sacrifices himself so she undies. <laughs> Honestly, I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> and then, then, then you roll credits. <laughs> And then the post credit scene is you're in hell. And it's like, you know, the end of one of those edgy things where you go to hell and there's the thought of, oh, he's going to overtake hell. He's that cool. Like Jeez. the ending of Devil May Cry 3 with Virgil. Uh-huh. How do you survive that? I killed the alien through you. <laughs> those are cool boxes. Oh, hey, they loaded. That's great. Oh, they unloaded immediately. You looking down the hill made it deload for a second. <laughs> Do I have a little shoot the text drop anyone else? This is just a one-time thing. And then the stingers, the voice of John St. John. I don't know. I feel like we could get Gianni. It'd be just as good, and he's been shitty to no one. Right? Of course, I'm gonna have to put it through some like bit crushing shit. <laughs> I have a real, I have a real mental mental block where, if I hear a voice actor whose voice clips I know from a game where it gets bit crushed and compressed to hell has a clean recording, I go, "Is that the same guy?" Because <laughs> at a certain quality level from back then, it just sounds so different. It's so bassy. Roger that, actual. Oh my God, is that the end of the level? I think it is. Or, or I'm dead. <laughs> you might still be dead. This might be hell. I'm sure I've been saying that a lot this week. You know, I feel like a lot of people underestimated Demon Pit Week. They did. They were not. We're clear, they, 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 they didn't think it'd be this bad. When you see would. this game, you go, yeah, it's better than most of them, I guess. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's pretty dire. good Dark Void, but it beats the rest. From our ship? They kidnapped a Marine off the Sephora, sir? Wrong ship. He's from the Sulaco. I don't understand, actually. All Marines on the Sulaco were KIA. Negative winner. One is alive, and they're moving him soon. We don't leave Marines behind. Mission to follow. Actual out. So, he just found a crazy-ass second suicide mission for us? What, the first wasn't suicide enough? We volunteered. You know we don't leave Marines behind. Yeah, but I didn't sign up to die for somebody else. No, dick face. You signed up to die for other Marines. Whatever happens to me, promise you'll try and evac the captured Marine. <sighs> promise. I go that way. That wasn't real. Blackstar says this week has been so bad that the time fell below 100, which I haven't seen in weeks. Well, I can give you some reasons that happened. Oh, give it up for hour 93. Nice. Nice. 
for one, let's let's do a quick, quick recap. How many hours were we live on Friday with those three video games? Was it 13 and a half? I have a document. I don't even know why I'm asking, but I figure a Bob's guess would be funny to hear. Yeah, it was probably around 13 and a half, maybe 14, maybe 15. 15 and a half. Yeah. God, that is a long stream. Yeah, it is. So that's 15 and a half there. Then we had 10 hours, 47 minutes. Then we had 13 and a half hours. And then today, I bet by the end of this, we're at about 14. So, you know, that's a lot of streaming. It is. In a single week. And with no gimmicks to give us money either. Just like, yeah, it's there. And an extra layer that makes people go, wait, why would I? Then I'm not going to point out. Because then, then you'll all be like, hey, wait a second. Yeah, it makes sense. We all shoot her at once, he despawns. <laughs> you know, Friday stream, we're going to have to test the PS2 HD my mod oh on my the latest god. firmware. Oh my god. Okay, we'll also have... We'll also have a SCART cable going into the RetroTank 4K and we'll just switch when it breaks. <laughs> How many minutes will it last? It's somewhere up there. Well... We need to make sure it's still just as busted on the latest firmware before I send it off to them to be like, solve your own maze, Superman? Right? On me, on me. Stay out of the lights. Stay out of the lights? Oh, okay, guess that'll be the humans will shoot me. I was like, why would the lights let the, the, the aliens know where I am any better? They seem to have no trouble finding me, unless we're in a large open area. I'm glad you got your carby, Masami. Honestly, I don't know how many GameCube games don't support progressive scan. Do you, do you know the number? Because I imagine it's very few. You know, there were only like three Xbox games that didn't support progressive scan. Maybe like seven. Why do I not have the ending from the half of the back saxophone thing? <laughs> I don't know. That would have been perfect right there. <laughs> what the fuck? As much as you use that other one. Right. They seem to have some info on a wiki, but it only seemed to be a few. They don't bother to list every game. Yeah, as my understanding was, like, almost every game has it built in because the way the GameCube works... Unlike the PS2, in fact, both of the consoles that gen that aren't the fucking PS2. Uh huh. In fact, all three of the consoles that gen that aren't the PS2, they render a whole frame of video, not an interlaced frame of fucking video. So most games don't even run in a mode where it wouldn't output in 480p. Right? Even the Dreamcast had a progressive image natively on almost every game. Resident Evil Zero is a bizarre game in that it seems to be dropping video input every single time you open your inventory, which is fixed with forcing ADP, 480p, but what the fuck, Lamau? Doesn't surprise me. Yeah, a ton of games seem to have that sort of issue. Mostly a gen or earlier. So yeah, true. Like, that's weird for that gen, but that's perfectly normal for that era, right? Mm-hmm. Shit, the PS2 does that on everything. <laughs> Motherfucker. There's no way we're gonna take down two APCs between the three of us. Regarding the breach in the wall, safety's on. I'm going in first. Keep moving. Whoa! You guys can do that? So are they? Are are they? Wait a second, I know this structure from Doom 2018. 
We walk up this mound, and there's a bridge above us, and these three boxes on the right, and I'm gonna look this up, and a level designer from this ended up over at fucking Inn. <laughs> anyway. Does the PS2 resolution switches get fixed by OSSC Pro? I don't know. I don't have one. I would love to check it out and find out firsthand, but oh my god, we really don't need more equipment. Right. Save Bell. La. Bella. Bella. Like Twilight. Mm hmm. Loading. Ow. Did you hear that? My, my shoulder just like popped really loud. Hmm, yes, that. You make a fucking sound, and your brains are what they find in the garbage tomorrow. Not if you understand, asshole. Bell, lie down on the table. She had a... She had, one she had Taco pieces. Bell. <laughs> it left a baby one in her chest. How, how do you get it out? You... You, you, you can't. Wrong answer. Please, 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 please. Trust me. We've tried to extract the gestated life form. O'Neill, just let him speak. It's okay. The, the embryo will extract fluid and nutrients from the host to construct the placenta, but it, it, it's not like a human's. The placenta is like a weed rooting itself into every organ in the chest cavity. Look, even if you could surgically remove the embryo, the placenta is its like a cancer. Your organs will begin shutting down one by one, and then you just, you just die. Winner, knock him out. Oh, Neil, I can't. Is it hot in here? Hey, hey, Mel. Hey, Nugget. It's okay. Just close your eyes. You get that, Maureen? You promised. You get everyone off the planet. Hoorah to Ashes, Bell. Hoorah to. They look like penises. Has anyone ever pointed that out about aliens? I feel like no one's ever. I feel like no one's ever pointed that out. Yeah, nobody's ever observed that. I should probably race to go make a video essay about this. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? This is two one with Eight. an update. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, gotta hit the button. We only have empathy. It was a woman that died, so we felt nothing. That's a negative, actually. It's gonna be weird when Chris has a cameo in that game <laughs> as the bad guy and says that exact line. He didn't even re record it. Are you sure you. Give us the damn order, sir. Understood, 2 1. The captured Marine is being moved to a way UAPC in the interior of the compound. You'll need to temporarily disable the. Dan, you're just obsessed with penis. Driven mad Don't by penis. No promises. One out. My oh man, you have die. every gun but one. It's almost like this game is ending soon. And by soon, I mean in the next two and a half hours. <laughs> Unless it's really just a, we ran out of money! This is right at the very end, which I doubt. Did it even end the level? No, weirdly enough. Huh. We... I imagine it does at any minute now, but who knows? Emergency it's been really short since the last level, so. I, I assume we're going to do this whole base. We're going to do it? Yeah. You're gonna... Oh, my we're God. Gonna, we're going to do it. We're going to do the base. <laughs> I don't like this new person that he sent with us. <laughs> I miss Bella. Yeah. I don't... No. I'm fire. Fire. <laughs> Just staring at the fire while aliens are killing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, in two hours, you'll meet the girl version of you, and you'll need to fight her for dominance, and that takes a while. Like this. I 
Honey Bob. Hey, what's up? Do you think anyone's made a game just called Shoot? Probably. Nope. Down quick and quiet. Just one. You don't want any of them reaching the alarm. Huh. Bob. Bob, please pause it. There's no video game called Shoot, but there's a 7th gen video game called THE SHOOT! Yes, I've seen that! Because it's a movie yeah, set! Yeah, yeah, it's on a move game, for, on a movie set. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Whoa! I mean, there is a game called Gun. I feel like that's even slightly better than Shoot. God, what? Four, oh, there, there's the three. button. Emergency containment protocol aborted. Chimera says, oh yeah, I forgot about how they made a big deal about this game being canon to the movies. Oh yeah. It was a big deal. There's some early access VR game on Steam called Shoot! Exclamation eh. mark. Then we have jokes about, it's pronounced Brink. Okay, here's the thing. We call it crack, okay? Because they crack reality with their superpowers. Because once again, it's also a parody of, you know, Jumper and Push. Uh-huh. Mostly Jumper, but, you know, we might need to take more inspiration for Push because there's anything there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, there's no voice acting equivalent of Sam Jackson. You know, no. that's the enjoyable thing about jumpers that you have Sam Jackson being a religious zealot with no good explanation or writing behind why he is or how that works. Yeah, or... luckily we just have Chris <laughs> who keeps saying the hymn to line. Hey, right. That. <laughs> Were they scary? No, they were wet. <laughs> I know, it was scary. He's like coming right at you. <laughs> what they look like when they're coming right at me after all. Actually, are you picking up any of this? This isn't crossing the line. This is reinventing it. There's a Phoenix Games budget PS1 game just called Shoot, and the box art is great. Oh, I'm I'm releasing neurotoxin in the room and killing them all. Why is there a button to do that out here? Is it doing it? Hey, Bob. Hey, what's up? That looks so fake. Okay, they're all already wearing gas mac. That's some Dutch heritage, baby. He yells Galuria. <laughs> that's, uh... That's really quite something. Why does he look like Freddy Krueger and John McClane? That is a really good question. Why, why are you stuck in the ground? Look, his legs are in the ground, aren't they? I don't know, so oh, dark. no, he's just crouching. Okay. Hanging out. What is that game? Shoot. 
thought it was pretty I double couldn't read it the entire time it was up there. It was like it was a perfectly white background. Read this transparent. White on light blue font. Fucking idiots. What were you saying? Uh, about shoot, uh, maybe? I don't know. It was something about that. I just, I fucking... I'm so angry the game popped up with some shit, and there was no way you were going to be able to read that. But seriously, though, remember the other day when people trying to scare me away from burning 3,000 calories uh -huh. in a single day? What's up with... Good thinking, Burnham, as he yells at my corpse. We're... Okay. Okay. We're not too far back. To be able to run to that. Okay, I'm leaving this up here now, Bob. <laughs> Where the hell are you going? Did, where'd they go? I guess they left when they were set on fire. Where should I go, game? Power module. Yeah, I think it's really fucked up that they're trying to scare me away from hitting new highs of burning 3,000 calories in a single day. When everyone loves the fact that Michael Phelps was like eating 50 chicken nuggets and swimming enough to burn that off. Why is, why is that, huh? That's not fair. And then someone said Olympians all died by 37 and I'm like, or 34 and I'm like, I don't think that's true. Maybe some, though. Maybe. I'm pretty sure Chris Bullfire said that, even. I don't know if he was making it up or not. I think Chris Wolfart is just scared of doing a podcast with a completely shredded dude. <laughs> I might distract him. <laughs> I'm sure that's it. That's what he's afraid of. Because Chris Wolfart is definitely into really ripped, huge dudes. That just makes sense. That's just Who what is it? he's... Why would you want to burn 3,000 calories a day? Probably the same reason I'd want to burn 2,000 calories a day. I would like to be under 200 pounds. That would be neat. Was it Michael, was Michael Phelps caught taking steroids? I mean, it wouldn't have surprised me. I thought he just did weed or something. Like yeah, he smoked weed. That's true. And people are like... <gasps> the APC sniped me. My head exploded. Huh. So he's have checkpointed me. You know that this is not easy. Uh, of course he didn't. Not even once. Run all the way back out there. You can give him more ammo. Oh, you're talking about the crazy, like, fitness influencer hype men who just, like, have 0% body fat and die. Yeah, no, that's that's not that's not the same as an Olympian. Olympian needs to be able to do things with their body. Those freaks just need to take pictures while looking as red as a fucking apple. Right. God, I... Twitter has been showing me tons of ads for this dude who's clearly on steroids and all, all of the, uh... Like, they have the Twitter notes, where it's the community notes, mm. and they're all about, yeah, this guy's on steroids. His advice is not going to help you. Eating raw meat won't help you. Oh, I got those a long time ago now, <laughs> like months and months and months. Weird. Yeah, that dude's weird. Liver King. Yeah.
Oh, that's O'Neal. The grenades are great. You have to play two shooters today where the hit detection just doesn't seem to work out the time. Yeah, isn't that heinous? Yeah, it's like, guys, this is like objective number one when you make a shooter. Weird. They're both built on Unreal Engine and have problems doing hit detection on bullets. I wonder if there's a root cause we could draw this back to. Hmm. Hmm. Seems unsolvable. Hey, Bob, how are you? I see Dan looks more tired than usual. I'm doing okay. This is no earthworm gym. It's just kind of plain. We haven't had any really funny glitches in a while, and that makes me sadder than anything else. True. I was expecting a much better fire. Yeah. This is just... Yep, sure is like... It's six, maybe a five out of ten. Yeah, this feels distinctly five. Yeah. You didn't pick that up, by the way. Yeah, I noticed that. That is O'Neal, by the way. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Why did, why did you point that out? Because I wasn't successful in killing him. <laughs> You'll never be Bella as I murder him. <laughs> Fuck off, Electric Wind Bear Fist. They say, guess what engine ride to hell is on? Come on. How did we accidentally light up all three of the last games being Unreal Engine games? Because so many of games are. Oh, right. We lined up all the seventh gen games to go last. Yes, that too. Well, exploits. Exploits should have been. Exploits is feeling left out. All right. So what's my, what's my objective? Get the power module and shut down. Power module's there. Thank you so much. That helps a lot. No problem. Maybe there's an exit over here. You can run for all of 12 feet. Like a true 7th gen protagonist. <laughs> Thank you, Chaka Pacheco, for the 43 months sub. Oh Lock the Chest has got a good haul of PS2 games since I recently got one on a whim. Interesting finds was uh, Tenchu Wrath of Heaven, which I understand is a good one. Yeah. Yeah, they, they managed to switch developers completely, but still make a pretty decent Tenchu game. That, that water ends at perfectly cut squares. Yeah, it does. How it looks in video games, Dan. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh you know what, Bob? Mm. If this game continues for three more hours, we might get a repeat of the Red Steel <gasps> incident. <laughs> yeah. Understandable. <laughs> it sure is doing nothing to simulate. Oh, my God. Is there a hole? God, okay. Please, give me any markers. Thank God you checkpointed me. I don't want to do that ever again. <laughs> Reminder, you're supposed to buy this for $60 for entertainment value. <laughs> right. What's up, Giga Boys? How you doing? I have unfortunately gotten sick, says Chaka Pacheco. I'm, uh -huh. really, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I'm doing great, as you can see. Uh, Bob, how are you? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I mean, today we've been playing games that are not good, but not terrible. Not you can heinous. consume them and not be on death watch for the next <laughs> hour or th five. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a banana. That'll give me energy. Okay, force the APC to back beneath the crane's payload. Oh my god! All right.
What is stopping me? There is a crane. And somewhere there are controls for this crane. And that will let me finish this. I'm excited to be pervy to where any of these things are. Okay. Wow, you actually marked it on the map for once. Come on, pick up the armor. Oh my god, it's so little armor. It's like, what if you had, like, I don't know, 10 HP extra? My god. Uh, what if a dude hid behind a power-up and shot you with a shotgun? I guess I'd die. I guess that's what would happen, and I wouldn't see it coming. Not that tension game, God of War, Crazy Taxi, Jack 3, and Enter the Matrix, all under $65. I feel like the worst game there is probably Enter the Matrix. That game sucks. Hey, 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 it's no Path of Neo. It's no Path of Neo. I thought it was okay. I would much rather play it than this. This is fair. I think so. There's no way around. We gotta push it back somehow. Winner, see that crane? If we, we can drive that back under that payload, we can drop it on that sucker and crush it. <sighs> <laughs> I look up the chat and see the red steel incident with the emotes next to it. <laughs> They're like, good job. You uh hid behind boxes and he backed up anyway. You did that. Good job, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, why aren't my uh, co-workers thanking me like they did in Vampire, right? <laughs> Why is it? Why is it Shelly here? <laughs> I want her to betray me. I want her to betray me. Okay, oh, I had Bella. I and she's a dead banana. Now. Let's go ahead and just enter that in the good old food tracker. Sure, everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> I mean, you've been seeing. I've barely eaten anything today. Right. I'm just gonna come in here. Come on over here. Using bar. For dinner, just put banana. There we go. And now I only get 118 calories. My god. This is dire, Dan. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the musical cue makes it so much better. I hear you're not dead. Look at all this. Look at all these bullets you're taking. You should be dead. You're a human. Well, to be fair, Bob, uh, I think statistically speaking, you only landed a bullet. <laughs> Just one. You fed her of checkpoint me after I crushed the thing. You played a cool musical hue and everything. Let's see. Where are we, game? <sighs> oh my god. Okay, let's do this. Oh, that sucks, go. Gil missed out on an ultra cheap, co cheap copy of Africa the other day. That sucks. I always wanted to play that game. I was like, oh my god, the PS3 is amazing. It has games that aren't violent. <laughs> What a concept. If we can drive that back under that payload, we can drop it on that sucker and crush it. Good idea. We need to end this thing. Shoot the fuel tanks around the APC. Wait, what? We didn't do that last time, but okay. I think that's just red paint, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. It's just red paint. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not feeling too good about our uh, friend here. I mean, he's been shooting paint for about 20 minutes. I don't even know how he still has ammo. Well, now he doesn't even have limbs. <laughs> right? I don't know what happened. They shot my legs off. <laughs> about why Enter the Matrix is much better. Yeah. I think I got at some point the battle rifle. Yeah, a battle rifle. Is this good? I don't know. We'll, I mean, we'll it's got a zoom. It does, which it's pretty cool. Oh, it's one shot at a time. Not even burst. Bees? <laughs> I don't know. Painfully pissed off bees. It's so obviously Bob. Thursday is big thing. Yeah. Let's let's do it from the top. Wednesday is Ride to Hell Retribution. Uh -huh. Thursday's big thing. Friday we're not announcing yet. Saturday thus should be Halo Community Day. Oh my god. I'll pen it in right now. We can do it. Not even Sunday? Not even Sunday. Oh my god. Yeah, ride to hell's tomorrow. Yeah. And by tomorrow, I mean today. Exciting. And by today, I mean probably about 12 hours from right now. What? Oh, was that me? Yeah, and you went, ah, oh, here it goes, and died. I don't know why your arm <laughs> did that. <laughs> but you did it. And I'm weird. I don't know. I have to work that day and my PC is out of commission because it's power supply is dead, so I won't be able to join the Halo community today. Okay, well then we won't do it. <laughs> Anyways, I know what happens historically on Halo community days, so maybe it's best not to do that anyhow! We don't have any big goal up there. They don't feel like encouraged to fail something. Do you think you'll have enough time to recover from Ride to Hell by then? By Big Think? Or recover in time for Ride to Hell? Which of these is your question? Oh, for Halo Day. Well, I mean, that would be days later. It would be a much larger problem of... Several games after. Get to those controls and let's finish this. I shot the fuel tanks, I swear. Good job, Bob. You can't give these enemies you should rocket launchers. Run behind that giant bat. What? I'm on fire. Oh. Masumi says, I want a goal for them to read the entire story of Vampire Raid. I don't think we unlocked the entire story of Vampire Raid, so really your goal would have two layers. <laughs> Who helped? Bob, Bob, you ever just think to yourself, man. I wish I was playing State of Emergency right now. No. Not even right now? No. That game is worse. That game is worse that than this. That game is, will be worse than either than this by a country mile. I quit that game when I was like, oh, PS2 is new and cool. I can't stop laughing at this fucking... Drop some shit on top of it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> we get some armor. Wait, y'all survived altered species? How? Honestly, it wasn't that bad. It was ten and a half hours. It was much more. It was much better than Earthworm Jim. Yeah, man, Earthworm Jim was so bad. I honestly enjoyed altered species more than I know I would have enjoyed X Blades. Just because X-Blades is nothing but combat rooms. 
Except for one room in the entire game you go through twice. Uh huh. The game is mirrored, so you do the game twice. The combat has no. Wow, what the? F it's. That was so jarring. It looked like it just spawned you in a different place. Yeah, the, all the lighting loaded in later, and it was. It was instant and bad looking. <laughs> like the chest said, I saw Chaos Legion at the CEX and nearly thought about it, but held off from buying it. Bob, do you have any? That's probably for the best. Oh. Altered Species was one of those games that ended in my collection because the cover was cool, then I played it, and I immediately soft-locked it. We didn't have any problems like that, did we? Yeah, no soft-locking stuff. Lots of the game being a piece of shit, though. Oh, yeah, constantly. I can't do a simple shutdown because the backup launcher will cycle back almost immediately. That won't work for Wedge us. Wedge Blades of Time, Backups though. Backups no-go, got it. I'm pretty sure. sure. Get, get but at the same time, I want to know. Caps. <laughs> Maybe if we add another down. demon pit to a voting thing. And blades of time. Attempt to juice these cells, which will blow the whole system. No power to any of the security measures. Right. It'll fry everything. We take the bottom ones. I'll get the ones up here. You played X Blades. You gotta play the sequel. Gil really wants us to play Blades of Time, Bob. Hours. Well, let me recount. I feel like I'm going insane. Okay. For breakfast, I ate strawberry oats that are protein powdered. I haven't seen you eat an entire bag of jerky yet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get to. <laughs> right. Uh, a, a protein cookie snickerdoodle that was 240 calories. Ooh, luxurious. Right. I ate those prosciutto rolls with the mozzarella. Okay. I ate a steak roll with the tuna salad on it. And then fresh mozzarella on it. And then a kosher pickle and a banana. That's it. That's it. That's it. Man. Yeah. That's strict. Yeah. Bill says, I never laughed as hard at a game desperately trying to hold itself together as with Blades of Time. That's pretty... That's, that's exciting. That's tempting, yeah. Can you open this? Please. <laughs> Ring fit's really good. I definitely recommend it, Doc Bats. I'd be playing more of it right now, but I tend to be going really heavy on, like, fitness boxing and... Uh... Death streams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure he goes through the door next to the guy. Wait. Oh, that's the cloak. Back up here. Maybe there's some other door out of this thing. This. Oh, oh, that's a box on the ground that's glowing. Yeah, it's just health. Oh. Open the control panel. Oh, yeah, it's ammo. Necronomaton says, I took a break from Ring Fit for a couple of weeks, then it got my ass kicked when I booted it back up. I mean, yeah, that's normal. I mean, it kicked my ass, and I did it for so much of last year, and I've been doing other fitness shit. Mm hmm. But it just requires different things of you. As it turns out, none of my games, Pistol Whip, Fitness Boxing, Beat Saber, none of them require leg lift ability. Hmm? What are these dots? That's a power cell. These are also power cells. Hmm. We gotta find all the power cells. Very exciting. What you wanna do in an aliens game. You wanna override the power cells in order to explode it and have an epic set piece. Oh, well, it's a good thing they didn't notice your flashlight. That would have been tragic. I guess you need to do the power cell that was near you 
Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's like they just have an order to these. I don't, I'm not privy to that. No, I meant near you to begin with, not the one that was clearly through the door they weren't going to open because it's not time yet. But yeah, you're not welcome to know. You don't get to know. Oh boy, it's Jack 1 again. That one actually took me a second. Because that game's obsessed with power cells. Oh yeah. Yeah. We also got to get a uh, uh, Jim Rack Gazer to say, get a load of this guy as a random soldier line. Jesus. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> How hard do you think it is to put slow motion abilities like, you know, fear into Unreal Engine nowadays? I feel like it can't be that bad because I see like I small scale devs doing it. Okay. That's cool, Gil. Xenos will overrun the oh, thing was loaded in. You sure you want to do that to all those people out there? They won't have a chance. I guess they should have thought of that before their actions led to the death of 300 Marines. Do it. <laughs> all that was level six, wasn't it? No, this should be Thank level God. seven. Thank God. So now we're on eight. Yeah. I was just worried. Mm hmm. Man, I'm so good at this game. Look at me up there. I'm doing it. <laughs> this is what Elon actually does. He watches someone else do a job with his name on it. And he goes, God, I'm so smart. Right. God, look at me go. Only I can save Lock humanity. This is winter and route to the hostage extraction. Is it just me, or is this opening up like it's going to be more like the beginning of the game with the shitload of set pieces? It does seem like that. And now we sh I think what we just did is unleash all of those aliens they had captured on them. Because um, it owns Wayland yutani I guess. But then they have a higher chance of spreading. I know, right? But I guess Waylee and Yutani was taking them off planet anyway, so, you know, the... Yeah, okay. That's fair enough. I guess that happened. Um... Oh, I thought I could pick that up. Yes, we, um... We get to unlock new customizations for guns and stuff that do make our guns just flat out better when we level up. And we also unlock guns as we level up. Is it all concentrated in this module? And we also get more Zenos points to level up what, or unlock those things when we level up. So Leveling that's why you want to level up. Yeah. They basically made it COD, which is a little weird. Oh my God. Factual, you seeing this? No, I'm the staring at this wall, just, just not thinking shaking. about life. Oh my God. Is that? It's the queen. Say again, what? Say what? The queen? Yeah. What? Laying eggs. That's my mom. Neil, let's move, man. <laughs> she has the power of a god. Man, I, uh, I called from the first hallway that this would be the most set PC fucking thing since the intro. Right? This is hilarious. Knocking it out of the park here. She's really small, but really pretty. She's neither of those things, chat. Right. Oh, no. We're on the... the, the, the like, universal the, thrill yeah, the ride? Uni yes. You think she'll run in a room with Score. me and then turn around, get out of the room, and then bust down and <laughs> try to bust down the invisible door? Only if the alternative is getting locked in an elevator conversation with you that's very awkward. <laughs> Only then. Yeah, what kind of bonuses can I get for this this battle rifle?
Oh, I can't. I'm not allowed to get any of them yet. Wow. Cool. Rank 15, huh? That sure isn't happening on one playthrough. Yeah, probably not. I wonder how many films have ever been made with the genre romantic comedy. I feel like it's probably uncountably large. Maybe. There are a lot of things in the 60s and stuff. Jesus, load, damn you, load. <laughs> like 70s and 60s that probably wouldn't have been called a romantic comedy in their time but could retroactively be considered that probably why did it run so well when it went black and white i don't know it's like a reverse earthworm gym when they show your model it runs really great <laughs> the gun the gun model for first person is insanely uh over y you know what over detail yeah it probably has more polygons than your fucking model probably does whoa he became gigantic look at this what in the world Are you okay? If only we could make him work for us. Right? We could win the battle. Your your ally is trying desperately to kill everyone over there and can't because there's this giant man in the way. He might be doing it. I don't know. I didn't see him hit any bullets. Well, he never hits anything. She's really small. I don't think really the bullets great. are going... Yeah, see? They can't go through this thing. <laughs> What in the world? And you're saying people might be upset with the game? The kite inside him. But, you know, this is just in line with the alien's lore. Oh god, oh god, they got me. They can go I in. I can't believe the melee character could get you. No, no, no. Which direct captured Marine? Thank you for marking him. I hope that there's actually something over here and that's not a wall. I need an update on the Marine. Have you located him yet? Negative actual. Looks like the perimeter of the compound went down completely. It's all gone to shit here. the pile of stuff thank you feels like it should be the end of the game with how much just stuff they're showing out oh is this just another way through i guess i hope there are no giant people out here say ja david jaffe coyly with a wry smile on his face jesus Guest article on Kotaku by David Jaffe showing new mod for a game that is, quote, very funny. <laughs> Turn stellar belate lady huge. Hilarious. I saw someone post the uh, video of the Stellar Lady 
the stellar lady. The stellar lady. The yeah. stellar blady lady. Walk up a ladder. Uh huh. Climb a ladder. Right. And the camera was pointed at her butt. Right. No, that's the story. That's that's just I I saw that the other day because of the David Jaffe quote tweet. And part of me went, "Why do I still follow David Jaffe on Twitter? Most of his stuff is trying to stir shit up, and I'm not. I don't follow anyone else like that on Twitter." Right? Yeah, it, it is weird. I like, also don't follow anyone like that, so it's real weird to see those just pop out of nowhere. Like, right. Okay. What? The closest thing I have to this is someone who's clearly hates Breath of the Wild and keeps booting it and being angry at it <laughs> for the last, like, since that game launched. Man. Was it Riona? No. Oh. Um... And then my second thought was, yeah, that sure is just a video of her ass climbing a ladder. That was a full story. Yeah. You're welcome. This a lot of people post those videos. It's like, oh man. She has a nice ass. And then and then Chris is like, hopefully it comes to PC. We can do that. <laughs> then everyone claps. I mean she was clapping enough for all of us. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Yeah, every time it switches the lighting model. It's a little jarring. Yeah. Oh, is this one of the uh, the old the precursor ships or whatever like they're called? Like from Prometheus or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Or Scorn. Yeah, Scorn. It looks exactly like Scorn. Scorn was very original. Had its own thing. I swear, it had one it of its own thing. Definitely wouldn't be fucking weird if Microsoft signed a deal with an indie who had no originality or quality merit. Game fun. Currently waiting to see if I can go to work. How did Dark Void go? It was all right. The hit detection on Score. shooting should be better. But it was pretty cool when it wasn't trying to be uncharted, and when it was trying to be uncharted, it was honestly okay. It wasn't great. It was nowhere near as good as Uncharted. Right. But compared to other shit this week, right? Total Chad. Yeah, easily clears this, obviously. Not even close. And this thing easily Excellent. clears every other game we played this week. Harvesting the eggs for extraction. Those things get off planet. Understood, winner. You two stay alive and on easy difficulty. We'll deal with way you after. <laughs> yeah, because they didn't balance any difficulties very well. No. Oh no, 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 no. This is demon pit. I don't think any of these gates is getting above seven. Who knows, maybe on PC I would give Dark Void an 8. Yeah, that seems like that's it's happening. That intro is real weird and bad. That, that, that game is the most 7 core game this week. But it's also like the most fascinating 7 core game. Usually a lot of 7s are just kind of... Mm -hmm. Ah, how milk toast. That? That was interesting. Dark Void had hit markers, it would be an 8. If Dark Void didn't have Archons in me. <laughs> Those things fucking suck. I don't want an enemy type where, especially four of them spawned at once, where I have to watch a really long QTE for it to die. Right. I have to shoot four parts of it that are weak spots that are really small, and it lights me up if I get near it. Also, that ammo system. What the fuck were they thinking? Oh, no. oh my god. Oh no. No, 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 no. We're getting farther away. We're gonna snipe these guys so we don't, we're in danger. Hello, Seahorse. How's it going? Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Aliens Colonial Marines. Fortunately, you just missed the man who was 300 feet tall for a moment when he died. <laughs> for a moment. He was that way. Yeah, he was stuck that way. He was just stuck he that way when back. he died. He sat on the ground, jiggling, 
and blocking every bullet we and our ally tried to shoot past him <laughs> at the uh, terrible demon war between the aliens and the Wayland Utani Corporation. Anyways, let me do this real quick. Uh, last the haunts. Damn. This <laughs> is. But yeah, um, this game has been weirdly mostly fine, which has been weird because its reputation is infamous. Right. The whole How game I thought would be melted. But we did have two f motherfucking hilarious glitches. Mm -hmm. I hope somebody clipped the alien getting locked out of the elevator. Okay, so an alien runs up to us. You know what? I'm just going to check if someone made the clip. Because if they made the clip, we could show people. Let's see. Yes, please show me content. <laughs> Okay, no, people have just made clips of, uh, Dark Void with the jetpack, which was incredible. <laughs> I uh, think I'm in trouble. <laughs> As he slams into the side of an elevator so hard that Nathan Drake dies. Anyways, hi everyone, if you're completely new here, I'm Dan. I'm the one who's at Seahorse's streams as Gigaboots. That's Bob. Every Friday, we beat a different game in a single stream called a death stream. Today, we are beating two in the middle of our demon pit week. And today, we're the best games of the week. Tomorrow, it's Ride to Hell Retribution. Last Friday was Superman 64, Bubsy the Wooly Strike Back, and X-Blades. In between, we did... We've done so many streams. I know, right? We've They're done so many. Entire games. Earthworm oh Jim Earthworm 64. Jim 3D. 3D. Which was an interesting game. And that's where I'm leaving that. Maybe the worst 3D platformer ever made. Maybe. Almost definitely the worst 3D platformer ever made. It is psychotic. It needed it needed us to get 95% of one collectible and 100% of another. Wow, it really is. Yeah, just, they, they, they just did. doing Prometheus. Yeah, this ship was in Alien 1. Yeah. But then Prometheus is like, what if we ideated on that for the whole film? What did that mean? I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, man. At it, least it, that's my opinion. My, what I surmise from ever, what everyone has said about it. Right. Sure would be nice if they actually did explain something with it. They didn't do anything with it. That'd be cool. I think I'd put Croc on top of Jim. Oh, yeah, we would. Oh, absolutely. We would. You find that out really quick playing that game, too. If there's something worse, it's probably some just licensed garbage. I, you know what I noticed? I'm so excited to see people when they raid us mm -hmm. that I constantly forget to thank them for raiding us. I just get excited like a dog. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, The Last Seahorse, for your raid. <laughs> Even said excited that ending, uh, Earthworm Jim 3D is low. So, oh, yeah, and it's intentional. Yeah. It's so intentional. Did you remember to ask Seahorse if they... Oh, that's right. That's our new bit. Hey, hey, Raiders. Do you like Twin Peaks? <laughs> I should just keep the box sets here so I could be like, I like Twin Peaks, and then I drink from the coffee. You, did you see that Alan Wake Remedy, Remedy uh -huh. Entertainment, is sending out the Alan Wake 2 coffee services to other developers? Oh, no, I didn't see that. I'm that's like, good. let me buy it! Oh, last Seahorse has not seen Twin Peaks. I honestly don't know if you'll like it. I feel like you would, but then you also wouldn't. <laughs> I feel like the exact part of your brain that understandably doesn't enjoy some aspects of Metal Gear Solid 3 would make you also not enjoy some aspects about Twin Peaks. And you're not wrong to feel that way. In either case. <laughs> But that's the new thing. I have to go. Do you like Twin Peaks? 
I just watched Twin Peaks. I'm gonna make a bunch of David Lynch references. <laughs> yeah, Deadly Premonition is one half of Twin Peaks. Yeah, it's the, uh... It's the form, but not the soul. They took the text, but not the meaning. <laughs> Deadly Premonitions is literally like, in Twin Peaks, there's a log lady who has a log, and she speaks mysteriously, and the log has things for the person. And I'm trying to Google the name of the actress for the log lady, and then it, the internet goes, Hey, you know about Soup Lady from Deadly Premonition <laughs> who has a pot of mysterious soup inside it, right? And I'm like... No. No, I did not know. <laughs> Thank you so much. This sounds in in brave and intelligent. <laughs> completely original. And completely original. Much like Scorn. Unclear, Rush Stickenberg. We just don't know these things. And how many more rooms that are almost identical do I need to walk through and kill aliens and humans? <laughs> As Bob describes the entire game. It's like you see this and you get why people were so disappointed. Yeah. It's canon to aliens. Right. It was from Gearbox, who had just made Borderlands 2, which people love. Mm -hmm. And people love Borderlands 1, but a much right. lower quantity. Like yeah, a much lower did, quantity of people like Borderlands 1. Made a big franchise. Right. And they, they spent a while developing this. They made a fake as shit trailer for it. Yeah. And then they released this. They're right to be upset. But I honestly expected more hilarious glitches. Yeah. Like, I want all the aliens just to go doe-eyed and wander off instead of coming anywhere near me. Right. Chat has said Jacob's Ladder is also required before playing Deadly Premonitions. I mean, I need to watch Jacob's Ladder because apparently that's Silent Hill 2, right? Is that David Lynch as well? I don't... I don't think so. Oh God, is that also David Lynch? Yeah, it's hour 92. Give it up for hour 92! We're doing it. Okay, I didn't think that was David Lynch. Just hit some snares occasionally. Man, Dark Void had some banging music. It did. That was weird. Yeah. Seahorse, you want to know the weirdest thing about Dark Void? It had a fucking banging ass soundtrack. Like some fusion of like... What would you call it? Like Matrix inspired some club and music and some other shit. Like some metal at times. But it was also trying to be epic movie sound and occasionally Uncharted. And it was like an ultimate fusion of those per song. And I'm like, man, this soundtrack's good. They don't make them like this anymore. This isn't like all those games that have the terrible Bear McCreary soundtracks for Sony and shit. And then we look it up and it's Bear McCreary. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I don't understand. There he is! I'm trying to find like a husk of a man down here. I was like, why did you think he was alive? For the last three missions or something, we've been after this Marine. We don't even know his name. We just, he's a Marine and we need to save him. so funny if it ended up being Ripley for no reason. It's like, she wasn't even Marine. Now you can make the distinction between Bear McCreary, soulful, and Bear McCreary, soulless. <laughs> that is true. Bear learned how to play the uh, Hurdy Gurdy. I'm not even saying, like, God of War Ragnarok soundtrack is bad. It's not overtly bad. It just doesn't have an impact. Jesus Christ, what the 
fuck was... Under what circumstance does them doing Actually, that make sense? What? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. There's an FTL on the ground. That's our way off planet. Hello? Actual. You're not going to pull the bag off this dude immediately? No, yeah, it's got to be a reveal. What? It's going to be someone well, Neil, we know man, from we gotta movies. Go now. Who's this Cruz. we? <laughs> he knew about this traitor-ass piece of shit before he authorized the mission. It was never about Bella. O'Neill, get in the goddamn APC. Actual, this is 2-1 en route with prisoner. You have a lot of explaining to do, sir. Hey. How have we decided that he's... I don't know. Something's wrong. They look oh. pissed as shit at you. Do they have a reason to be? Um, yep. Who is he? Hey, cut the Son, be careful huh? about what you do next. Did you know about the manifest? You were gonna go either way. Did you know that Bella was gonna die, no matter what? <sighs> yes. And you knew it too. Son, there wasn't a force in hell that was gonna stop you guys from going in and trying anyway. Put it down. You like screen tearing on your pre-rendered video? We just risked our lives to get this guy out of the way you facility. Let's ignore the lion for a second. Why the hell was this Marine so important to you? What happened on the Sulaco? Don't lie to me. Don't you dare lie to me. Get that bag off that soldier now. Yeah, this is pre-rendered. Back then. Oh, man, that's a rough likeness. <laughs> the fuck is that? Great. Back here. Okay, it is Hicks. I was like, it, it, it looks Hicks so rough. I think it's It is him. a rough likeness. I've been held under duress for months by Waylon Yutani. He wanted information. Bishop? Are you alive? Different, Bishop. How the hell are you alive, Hicks? Your file was closed KIA 14 weeks ago. We're here because we responded to your distress call. We should. What information did you give them, Corporal? Stuff they're gonna figure out anyway. Enough to keep me alive without saying much. Captain, who did we bring back? We found out about Hicks when it was already too goddamn late. I didn't think there was a snowball's chance in fuck any of you were coming back alive. I'm sorry about Bella. You have no idea. They had a prisoner in that facility for weeks. Wei Yu has an FTL ship on the planet. Now I got a duty to the other hundred Marines to get them off this rock. Then you better hurry, sir. Last FTL leaves soon and it ain't coming back. You know the FTL schedules? I know a lot more than that. Sir, we have two squads of Marines inbound, coming in hot. What? Is... There's more than a hundred Xenos heading right for Hadley's Hope. This is the epic moment that they got the two famous actors to come back to do. They was mumbled behind me. <laughs> Seahorse says stock V-roids have more emotion than this. Yeah, um... So, like... They pre-rendered the cutscenes so that way they could have cutscenes that cut between stuff. And uh -huh. and Because this is a multiplayer game from the ground up, even though we're going through a story. The problem becomes... That back then Unreal Engine couldn't play video smoothly, even so. Oh, did you kick me out of the lobby because they didn't hit next, or did you take me to the next thing? What'd you do? I'm gonna assume it went to the next thing. It'd be weird because you selected offline, In about right? Seconds, okay. That horizon is gonna turn black as the most dangerous killing machines in the universe rise up over it. I can tell you ain't the type of lad. Oh God, that looks being terrible. Is he the one talking? No, it's Cruz. Oh, it's Cruz. Okay. Just his mouth was like we have. weird. Right now, get your ass out of here. Go. Are we gonna have a driving segment? Oh my god. Oh come no, on. I was gonna say that seems so outside of the scope of this game, and I was right. So is this where we crashed? Is that the car we were using? I guess so. <laughs> weird. <laughs> Bizarre. Do you think they might have cut something out, Bob? No, of okay. course not. They never cut things from video games. That's what I've found out. Yeah, if there's anything this channel has taught us, there's never any obviously missing content. 
in video games. I bet they even showed you driving one uh, a vehicle like that in one of those trailers. I'm so curious. What moment? <laughs> That I need to know. Because that is one of those things, like, of course that's the, uh, something people who love the movie would want to do. Mm -hmm. Why did Ned Pat just drop from the sky? I'll take it, but I don't... Usually you're not so nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, that is unreal levels of CGI over the top. Fucking insane. Makes the Kill Zone 2 trailer look normal. I know, right? It's insane. Like, no wonder people had a completely different expectation of your game. Okay. See if we can get the more recent trailer. Excuse me, Dan. You were talking about Bear McCurry's music of reference that you made a music score you like. What was that soundtrack? Yeah, it was Dark Void, the prior game we played tonight. Okay, let's see. There's our CG trailer. Why is this another CG trailer? What? Oh my god, this is only like the second time they only set down a turret and like fight them off like this. Something they advertised heavily in that trailer. Uh huh. Yeah, this looks unbelievably better in this uh, gameplay trailer now that I finally made it. Mm hmm. God, they barely showed this game off before launch, but yeah. every time they showed it, it looked fucking nuts in comparison. Right. Call out all positions. Head into ops and find anyone still alive. Yeah, I feel like there's no way even the PC version looks this oh, good. Oh, absolutely not. Now, admittedly, this trailer is 30 frames per second. At least it is on IG, uh, GameSpot's YouTube channel. Yeah, this is this is kind of a lot. I would say it isn't even marketing if you're not lying at least a bit. I I feel like I feel like the only way you su can successfully market this game is to just lie. Mhm. Mm I think the real solution is make a good game. <laughs> right, exactly. Like, maybe set expectations a little lower. Actually show people what the game looks like. Was this made by three or four studios? Four. Okay. That wasn't normal back then, just so we're clear. Chat, not too many 7th Gen games were made by four studios. It's mostly the really high-end Ubisoft games, probably Resident Evil 6. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. Maybe a Call of Duty. I don't even know if they got to do that by the end of the I PS3. Know, right? I think they mostly started that during the... Like the I think we one. thought it was weird when two different studios worked on a single Call of Duty during the 7th gen. It's true. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the AI thing that everyone always talks about is that... Some, there's a typo in the code where they say alien, A-L-E-I-N, instead of alien, A-L-I-E-N. And someone fixed that typo and improved the AI up. But frankly, the AI is not completely broken in this, it seems. Right? Which is what everyone was saying. They should put dogs back in Call of Duty so we can make someone, so someone could care about it. I read the make that was intended to be there and then went, oh, wait, that's not there. <laughs> no, it's just... Oh, so we can care about someone in it. There we go. Sentences. They have words and orders, and they go in a specific order to depict meaning. Whoa, man. I still haven't played Ghost. Bob, were they a good boy? I, I think so. Okay. Until you have That's... the field strip them. Uh-oh. <laughs> what if I don't want to field strip the dog? Sorry, you got to field strip the dog. I hate, I hate it when I have to field strip a dog, dude. You know? Yeah, that's fair. So uh, we're going to see this other 300 Marines sometime, right? 
I doubt cutscene. we'll even see them in a pre-rendered video by the end of this game. <laughs> also, it was 100. 300 have died. Oh, 300 died. Here. There's 100 left, yeah. Yeah, which is still absurd. Right. Because we have seen zero. Hey, we've seen a total of five? We've seen the guy in charge, two people next to him, Bishop, who isn't a Marine. No. And oh my god, your arm okay? Yeah. Why are you ask? Okay. This is what happens when every day is arm day. You get really good. Really fluid. Really frat, uh, flexible. I almost said fragile. You get really fragile. But yeah, if anyone here hasn't checked out The Last Seahorse, um, I've determined that the best way to get you to follow them when I shout them out is to go, Hey, did you know... That streamers can see when they're shouted out on another person's stream when they log into Twitch. And then it goes, you were shouted out to hundreds of people. No one followed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should follow Seahorse. I don't want to get a DM from Seahorse where they're like, I'm so sad. <laughs> no one followed me. Why is everyone so mean to me? That would be fun. It's just the narrator. It's not even Seahorse. It's just being like, why is everyone so mean to me? Well, dang. Ask me how I know. By the way, no, no, no streamers ever brought this up to me. Don't think I have friends who DM me. It's like, you shut me out. No one followed. No one has done that. Yeah, that, that, that would be a little unhinged. Yeah, like I would never DM one, DM someone over that. It is, however, something I've seen multiple times. It's like, shouted you out to 700 people. All right. Okay, I found one more marine. Oh, you did it! What do I do? Well, it's time to make a second Twitch account. <laughs> I believe so. There are a hundred marines behind that curtain. I have a responsibility to them. It's a curtain in front of a wall. It is obvious it's just a wall behind the curtain. You're like... <laughs> I... This is one of our Marines I'm rescuing. He's definitely not dead. You're far from dead! Get up! Fight through the pain! He's so beautiful. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! The audio dropping out when you have low health always sounds... It just seems like the game's breaking. It doesn't <laughs> seem intentional. Rendezvous was cruised downstairs. Oh, get Checkpoint right reached. Please? 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 At least I know where the Marines are now. Can't open the door with this thing. Unfortunately. He looked pretty happy when you helped him. He's like, hey, someone help me. I have a friend. And then he just ignores as the alien eats you. Right? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no! no. Not Hohenkirk? Well, 99 Marines. 98 marines. 99 living marines. They're totally real and I have an obligation. Isn't there some shit about not having enough space on the FTL flight? We got the manifest. I think it's the FTL flight that's <laughs> leaving too soon. Like, it's uh, getting out of here now. Too soon for Bella? No, Bella's flying that. No, no, no. I just... Would, like, like they seem mad it. at how they tied in into Bella because if you if you recall in that dialogue he said you were always going to be on that ship, you know. Oh, that was about us. Always, there was no chance that we weren't going to go in, go looking for Bella's cure. Mm -hmm. They should have used the third birthday naming technology for this for all these Marines. I wish one of them was called Camford Manabitch. Manfred Canabitch, sorry. Don't want to fuck up that very good name.
I'm, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a water. I will be right back. It's so weird that this is just like regular seven cent slop. Not even special in any way, seven cent slop. Yeah. Let's rock this! No. <laughs> Thought I was a goner. All right, you, this Marine, will he help me save the other Marine? I doubt it. Uh, right, not this hallway. That one's like led to it all. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, that hurt so much. I wish there was some place with health restores. Come on, you ugly bastard! How did that take three shotgun shells? All right, whatever. Anything else? Anymore? I hear you. You're just running around in that other room. I'm gonna save this marine. You better not instantly kill me again after I save him. Get up! Fight through the pain. Any more Marines? Maybe a hundred more Marines? <laughs> Under with crews back downstairs. Okay. There's a help down Good. Oh my god. Oh, is it Camford Mana Bitch? No way. Dude just stayed in the same room where I saved him. He's like, okay, thank you. I yeah. will now die here. Yeah. Yeah, so as we were saying, this game is seventh gen shooter, disappointing seventh gen, gen shooter shooter sad. Right. Much like disappointing son sad. Unlike disappointing roommate in aughts comedy funny <laughs> most seven gen games that are uh troubling troubled mm -hmm. troubled because earthworm gym 3d its ending is troubling <laughs> other games are troubled um there's nothing fun about this there's like no other than when it breaks absolutely hilariously, and those are very brief moments. All right, guys, head to the vehicle bay. This is That's like a hundred. <laughs> yeah. Look at me. We got one, two, three, four, five, six people. That's like a hundred. Then there's two guys that are up there. That makes eight. They're coming down to help us, right? I saved them. You actually believe that, or...? <laughs> Set up a defensive perimeter. Oh. Oh, cool. Yeah, the gigantic guy and the alien miming beating down an elevator door that wasn't there were the best parts. Yeah. And they made a whole new type of alien and then basically didn't even bother using it. Like, it was just for that. Mm-hmm. There's so many layers to this of... Why did why did Fox go to Sega for this thing? Yeah, I don't know. Why did Sega then go to Gearbox for this game? Why did Gearbox then go to three other companies to actually make this thing? It's, it's mysteries. So many mysteries. Hey. Oh, you found me. Sega have had the alien license for decades? Seriously. 
That could have deal. That could have contract, huh? Because I know they did it long, long ago. But right. plenty of people made aliens games that weren't them. Oh yes, going to sleep and waking up to see the Giga Boys still in action. I know, isn't it heartwarming and cozy? Uh huh. We love it too. <laughs> I think they bought it. To be fair, this is my natural sleep schedule. <laughs> I sure, I'm sure some people are like, I bet they don't sleep because of those death streams. Like on a normal quantity of death streams, it's like, right? I'm, I'm up to like. I would prefer to be sleepy by four of that, but that hasn't happened in a while. Mm -hmm. No, that that PC Alien vs. Predator game in the aughts was definitely not Sega. I don't know who that was, though. Wasn't that Rebellion? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It, like, turned his fucking waist backwards. Right? I may have 99 red balloons stuck in my head because of that bit about the 98 Marines. Yeah. Cool. Bitch so much. Oh, checkpoint. Is she still at ups? I figured we'd be stuck in this room for like the rest of this mission. So this is mission nine or ten? I think it's nine. God damn, that rain's loud. Yeah, it is. Sweet sassy molassy. Alien planet rain. Of course, it's loud. <laughs> Alien planet rain is so heavy. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. You're getting what you wish for. Fighting a cool alien. This is pretty cool. <laughs> this is bad. Yeah, this, this is, so is not good. There we go. Man, he's asleep at the wheel. That dude just kept shooting a machine gun into the wall past him. My head popped he, he up? He headbutted you so hard, your head popped Did up. Did my guy headbutt him? And he was like, I got this. I'm built different. <laughs> my head is way stronger than that guy's You're head. like, oh yeah? You want to go, champ? And then you did it so hard, it just... <laughs> Gone. He's like I wasn't a Baki character. I would have won. Sorry, sir. I sent Reed with Hicks. So Moraine ABC says, it's kind of weird how this game is just worse than the Marine campaign from the AVP game. Games? Yeah, that's... This game sure disappointed a lot of people, and now it's disappointing us because it isn't bad enough or good enough. Right. What the hell is that? No damage. Now damage. Yeah, no. You can't, like, unlock this gun not sucking. I don't think so. We, we can double check. Highlander, I can't even get any other fire modes. Yeah. Mm. Battle rifle? I can mm. buy a shotgun for it instead of a tactical shotgun. Um.
I'm excited for Ride to Hell tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It will be a much funnier piece of crap. Right. And that's what we really desire now. We uh, shoved the games that were exactly the most mid. Okay, one of them is exceptional, so I don't... You know, Dark Boy's a <laughs> Chad 7. <laughs> what is happening? What in the world? And everything just stopped working and it's like, press R3. That does nothing. <laughs> Let me show you a vision of how you die. Then you get to see three different animations start abruptly. None of your hits land. And then an A-posing crotch of a fucking Xenomorph. Sorry, sir. Sent Reed with Hicks in an APC out of the colony. You did what? Anything else hanging out around here that I can run to? I wish I could run a little more than that. Oh, so sleepy. That, that, that's when the Marine leader's like, ah, oh, hell no! <laughs> And he becomes 300 feet tall. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I found a thing that blows up, which would be good for him to run into, but not when but I'm next to it. Also, he seems he fine. He sides being perfectly... <laughs> wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be the peak? If he ran into that, killed you, exploded himself, and then a checkpoint and immediately. Yes, that would be incredible. I'm so sad that didn't happen. <sighs> Alright, we're going to right this time. Get a better position on him uh, doing mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Figure out what even blew up. Okay, there's just a big tank. Yeah. And there's okay, that's up to spawns in while I get near it. Cool. It's just gun ammo for this gun. Hey. I hope no one blows up this tank, killing me and them both. Uh I wasn't thinking about that. Do you want me to? Sound like you want that. <laughs> I was like, how did he get across there so fast and right. attack you so nimbly? Wow. <laughs> Bob, I don't understand. You're not leading him to the tank so he can explode. <laughs> oh my god. This is going well. We learned a lot today about standing in the corner. This is... Where did you come from? <laughs> Does this red steel? I'm starting to disassociate. <laughs> Bob, where's Scott Sod? I don't I know. I want Scott Sod. He run at me or something instead of, I don't know, slapping the ground like he keep doing. Well, you gotta you gotta stop moving in a circle. You gotta move straight line. Yeah, there you go. Oh. I think you might be a little close, Bob. Come on. There we Do go. It. Why is it not blowing up? Does he uh, have to run he into has it? To ram it? He has to ram it. Okay. What should it sound like when our main character's head explodes? You ever just like step at step in a shallow puddle on mud? <laughs> that that should be the sound you design. Directly really for... drop a steak on the ground. <laughs> you ever just drop raw here. chicken on the kitchen Sorry, floor sir. accidentally? <laughs> What the what, says O'Neal for the 1300th time. I start thinking about Scott Sod again and wishing how I was dead.
I like that he phases through it. Right. A lot of games would have it be destroyed by him charging at it, but this game went, he can pass. Where the hell are you going? Bob, would you like to answer the question? <laughs> it looks so goofy. It does. Oh my god. And you ever think about how hard it is to animate those dinosaurs in Horizon and how that's fucking amazing that are they did that? Yeah. And yet they made, like, the most boring game ever. It is incredible. Like, there's so much going on with Rise. It's like, how is this the most boring game ever made? How'd they do it? Constantly, I wonder if it occurs to Aggro that things that are boring might be more appealing to him because we generally don't investigate things that would be overtly boring to investigate. So he might just get a false positive for boring things, thinking they're really quite good, actually. Oh, this is another tank he could run into and explode. Oh my god, it is. Man, okay. I need you to stop spawning random little ones, because those are the bigger threat. Yes. Okay, so you want him. Yeah, like right here. Not quite. You need oh. to be a little bit further to your right. See? One. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. Please don't explode me. Do 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 do. Where'd he go? He died. I didn't need to use that mechanic. They made a boss fight and like, you could just shoot him though. You could just shoot him. Why is it like that? I bet that, that like last time when he ran into it, it wouldn't actually do anything. Like he wouldn't even take damage. Pro tip, shoot the Zeno until it dies. Thank you. That's hilarious. I can't believe that's how this game is. Oh, do I have ammo for the shotgun? Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Not that. The pump action shotgun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have ammo for the tactical shotgun because none of the guns share ammo. Not even the legendary guns share ammo with the regular versions of the gun. Am I in a simulation? <laughs> you have the eyes of a man who realizes what he's seeing isn't real and expects to wake up at any moment. <laughs> Jesus. Holy fucking shit. Are you a bad guy? I guess not. Are you cruise? Have you ever done the most fucked up versions of a game month? We were talking about if we ever did the, um... <sighs> What's that fucking Lord of the Rings? Shadow of War. Oh, yeah. Like, if we ever did that, we would probably want to do it in a most fucked up versions of a game month sort of theme. This is incredible. You really got this down. Yeah. This looks great. You know what? You know what? So many, so many, uh, so many filmmakers are like, oh, I wish I made video games. And so many video games are like, I wish I could finish production and ship complete. What is he doing? He's like, bitch! <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> I bet this alone got people to return the game. The, the, the... Right, because it's so upsettingly not done. You right. wouldn't do that. That's not how that's supposed to work. Yeah, the, the enemy that kills you is not supposed to T-pose over you. It's just not. It just, it just in a derogatory way, right? Right. Um... Yeah, they're, they're so jealous. They're like, oh, I wish I wish we could make video games. And video game people be like, oh, I wish I could make my video game like a movie. And that's just, that's just dumb. You know why? It takes like $60 million to make a game and you can't even do this right. Like that looks terrible. At least in real life, you could hold a thing and turn it. That, that, that takes not even $1 million. It just takes a couple thousand. Oh my god, this is an invisible wall. 
I need to get around to the I'm other side of the ship. I'm surprised it hasn't shown up more. Right? Last year, Disney was like, so we un underestimated how much money video games make. We need to use our studios to make them, and then all we get are Epic Mickey and Star Wars Battlefront ports. It takes time. Yeah. They said that last year. Expect to see the canceling of them trying to do that three years from now. Right. Eliminate remaining Xenos. Then why did I even bother unhooking this? I guess it was saying that because you finished unhooking these. I know. It's just like I could have done this without the, the threat of murder if I'd waited and known. Wait, you're launching? Bye. What? Checkpoint They're me. They're leaving your ass on the plane. Wait, what? Checkpoint it me. It didn't. Please. But please do it. Please. <sighs> Yeah, it takes forever to make things. Like, for example, that Mighty Number no. 9 review. When the hell is that coming out? I don't know, man. Get that bird in the air! Sulaco so actually need just a minute to prep for flight here. I need someone to disconnect the fuel line. I got you, Raider. I know this is based on a pre-existing IP, so I can't ask for a lot from the gun selection. Uh-huh. It's just frustrating that twice tonight we ended up with games that have disappointing guns. Right. There's like one cool gun and... I mean, really, Vampire of the Rain is the one rife with just bad guns. Right. Like, But we could have done more. We could have done more in Dark Void. It feels like oh, one yeah. of the guns is conceptually good. What's happening? I can't uh, do that anything. hose is disconnecting the way it would if you were there, but you aren't there. You're here. You're inside, and they're out here. And they're here, and with you, the sheriff. <laughs> that one wasn't my fault. <laughs> that time wasn't my fault at all. Yeah? You think? I don't know. I saw you get hit a lot and not fight back. <laughs> You should stand up for yourself, Bob. These aliens, they're bullies. <laughs> Come on, I just closed up. <laughs> I mean, this one's... You can't make good guns in this because it needs to match up with aliens. Right. I got you, Raider. In, you can make the guns feel better. You could do that. You, you could do that. You could do that. I don't know if you could do that on Unreal Engine during 7th Gen at these frame rates. <laughs> but probably not yet. No. Which is why part of me is like, I bet you play Dark Void on PC and the hit detection works. Probably does. Because just like with Mighty Number no. 9, I'm pretty sure Unreal Engine, all of the uh, coding for hit detection is incredibly frame rate based. <sighs> so it'll just miss hit detection if it skips the frame where it intersected. Oh. Uh-huh. Because ain't nobody doing quarter-step measurements like Mario 64. Shit, Ow! <laughs> they actually did make him blood spurt for some reason. Yeah, I'm not sure. Couldn't have damaged him. No, but maybe that, that might have been my alley shooting him. Oh, yeah, that's true. Unreal, Unreal Engine 3 was a dark time. Even Digital Foundry can't defend it. I remember them calling it a dark time for gaming. I mean, it was. Yeah. It sucked. It was terrible. Yeah. But the uh, interesting thing is they're starting to feel that way about Unreal Engine 4, which is nuts. Yes, right? It's like, it's like we no, finally that, got things that was, working. That was way better. What the hell are you talking about? I can't, I can't imagine you defending Unreal Engine 5 and then being like before, though. It's almost like these are a symptom of a larger issue. What, with these engines? No, there are specific issues with each of these engines. <laughs> like, you know, the hit detection. Did you send them to the home for yes. infinite yes, losers? Yes, that's what I did. That's what okay. my gun does. All right, I didn't know that. I, I missed that upgrade. <laughs> oh, there's a control panel glowing purple? No, that's ammo. Oh, that's the ammo box. I didn't notice it glowing purple on the way in. If I had time, I would like to refill my ammo, but uh, I don't, because it takes way too long to grab it from that. 
the texture popping issue was around for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like we only had half a gig of RAM. And then on PS4, it was even still there. But it wasn't anywhere near as bad because they had so much RAM. Not this, not this guy. Oh my god. Well, it's fine. Looks like Just the grunt. Right in, you insubordinate son of a bitch. Just an Please animal! Which direction to drive the APC, sir? So, how are you alive if you don't mind too much my asking? What happened on Fury 161? Guess we're skipping the softball questions. We left LV-426 and sent out a distress call. A call you all responded to. Near Fury, the ship went into alert, and I was pulled out of cryo as the ranking and only Marine. The ship was on alert because Michael Whalen's PMCs illegally boarded the ship. The four cryopods ejected safely, but I obviously wasn't in mine. Yeah. So... Whose body was in your cryo tube? That's a longer story. I care about one thing, taking these guys down. That's all I got left, guys. Let's get to it. Floor is yours, sir. We're all colonial marines here. I wake up in the morning thanking baby Jesus for every day I'm in the core. So I'm gonna be good goddamned if I let Wayland yutani take that away from me. Now we don't have an FTL ship to get all of us back off planet, but they do. How long we got before the last boat comes in? Comes in tonight. They're packing up for good. We take this ship or we don't leave. It's the only chance we're gonna get. I have 63 active United States Colonial Marines, and we're gonna take that we facility. And then we're gonna take that ship. And we're gonna get everything we can to take this company and Michael Whalen down for all the shit they've put us through and taken from us. Hoorah to ashes, O'Neill. Hoorah, Captain. For the Marines, we lost, guys. These cuts Sounds good to me, baby. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're almost on mission 10. Right? Oh my god. Getting there, Bob. Yeah. We're getting there, Bob. Yeah, it's going. We're, We're got almost this. there, Bob. It's almost free. Dan, hang in there. And also, Bob. This is Raider 6-5. Once in the facility, I will supply geographical intel to all ground forces. Eyes up and identify all ground. Hey, other Marines. Bob. Roger that, Raider. We move in quick and put down targets as fast as you can pull. Understood, Winter. Good hunting and save some for me. Six five. Score! Eight. This is Sirocco, beep beep gray suicide day i should watch the trailer for the new aliens thing i want to know if it's like good yeah promising looking right it'd be cool if it wasn't another small group of people go to a, a alien planet that has the xenomorphs on it uh i don't need another one of those masami says you should watch the original alien i should one of these is free, though. Watching the trailer for the new thing. Raider 6-5, there's another boat in the air. Looks like it's carrying the Queen, over. Understood, Winter. Moving to intercept. They re-got the Queen? Are you serious? We advise Marines. That bitch is the only thing keeping them on the planet right now. Put her down if you can. We need that ship on the ground. Got really dark. I was scared. Wow, you're cutting this weird cake. <laughs> Just looks all fondant y. So, where are those? There's like, what, six or so APCs filled with Marines? Where'd they go? Yeah, wait. You said we had 63 guys. You, you want like five of us to take down a queen? I feel like we could better use our resources, sir. Oh man, we got the incinerator. Let's do it. Yeah! He was a nail. Not the queen. <laughs> Definitely not the queen. <laughs> Should we at least cut him out? How did they cocoon this structure so quickly? They're already dead. It's everywhere. We need to get them out. No, he's right. They're already dead. O'Neill. 
We did this. This was us. <laughs> well. Just remember when we watched the Sephora explode. These were scientists. They didn't have anything to do with that. Bob, this is a spooky moment, and you're laughing? O'Neill's like, Jesus Christ! Ah! <laughs> Somebody has to stop Bob. But no one can, because he's the one with the flamethrower. <laughs> oh man, that looks really cool on the lower right, Bob. The filter it has. Doesn't that look cool? A filter? On your, on your ammo. Oh, that. Yeah, isn't that cool? Not really. You know what would make it look even cooler? Oh, no. <laughs> what is it? What's happening? Oh, it's a face hugger. <laughs> I thought it was an alien. Was that any of the, uh, yeah, any of the no, textures loaded the in? Half of its features gone, <laughs> right? Why would you think this game would do that, Bob? <laughs> I feel like they missed the point of the flamethrower. Mm. Like, I should feel, like, insanely powerful with this. Since they give it to me, it's like a power-up that I can't even pull out when I want to. Like, like they did with the smart gun. Instead, it's like, yeah... I'm not even good at killing face huggers. You ever notice the face huggers have like a spine tail and then something that looks like a hip bone and then a thing that comes out at a completely perpendicular angle that's like, I don't know, about 10, 12 inches and just tries to get in your mouth? That's weird. weird. That's weird. Why is that? Did anyone else notice this yet? I might need to go make a video essay. One moment, Bob, I got it. Oh my god, before all the cutscene stuff even. Come on. Scorn! Should we at least cut him out? How did they cocoon this structure so quickly? It's all dead. It's everywhere. We need to get them out. No, he's right. They're already dead. What if it was darker? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I was wondering. Man, this looks great. It's like I'm on a bad TV, but I turned my good TV into that bad TV. Nice. Just do. That was scary. A button double pressed and almost stopped the recording. Oh, gave damn close. And look at that chat. It's just like a real CRT. We've got pixels and subpixels and pixels with subpixels and then pixels. And pixels. I'm gonna Yeah, no, Masumi, I'm there too. I kinda wanna smash a CRT right now. <laughs> you just get that urge? Yeah, I'm starting to more about. Rank up. Nice. Good job, Bob. Oh, thank God. Oh, I your just... health is is low. Did you know that? Yeah, I noticed. You didn't get that first one. You gotta wait for the pop. There you go. That's the one that killed you last time. One directly right from you. You were blind with the filter on and off. <laughs> it's weird that the Maez was perfectly level. Yes. Hey. Are you afraid of me? Anyways, I'm gonna eat potion now. <laughs> um, was it the first game you used with the Retro Tick 4K Bart's Nightmare? Oh, yeah, I boy. think that's right. I think that was right. Very fitting. Virtual Bart. Right, right, right. Different game. 
You, do you want me to? You want me to play? You sure? Yeah. You sure? So you like all the killing? Yes, I love all the killing. That's great. Yeah, seahorse didn't get to see my nice uh, escape effect. Poop. Should we at least cut him out? <laughs> How did they get cut? I'm free now. So <laughs> They're already dead. It's everywhere. We need to get them out. No, he's right. They're already dead. <laughs> If you find that guilt keeps you up at night, just remember. These were silences. They didn't have anything to do with that. Oh, God. Where did you show it? I don't know. Think these cameras should show me that? No, probably not. fuck do you mean Ride to Hell Retribution came out in 2013? Yeah, that sounds right. It was really late. That's insane. That is insane. <laughs> Holy shit. God, that game has a 19 on Metacritic. <laughs> Exciting, right? It is, actually, because I bet it'll earn that. And be truly heinous. like oh, sure, is dead they despawn his head you don't say Right, what do you think you made? You have to know it's not that. It's out. There's no power. Winner. Break the break. On it. That game launched for $30, if I could remember. Ah, that kind of explains it. Okay, cut. I was so afraid to like get back here with a flamethrower. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, you can't have done this. Bob, why do people like Bochi's a rock? <laughs> what is it that kids love about the great taste of cinnamon toast crunch? <laughs> Such a mystery. Please checkpoint me, please. Yeah, it's a checkpointed. Oh, thank God. What the hell is this place? They're never in here. I heard about it. Do they come from here? Shit. Let's move. Down with that thing. Somebody take out those guns! We need ground support now! 
Experiencing heavy Xeno activity in the facility. En route as fast as we can. Winter out. Oh man, I feel like just no characters would no one would ever like characters with massive social anxiety. Has that ever happened? I don't know. Guys, why are you just leaving me behind while I'm fighting this thing? We thought it was your friend! There's health on the ground right behind you. Thank you. You you were like hugging. We thought it was a moment. We had to go. There's one on the gun! And you didn't think it being a giant spiny black horrible <laughs> monster was like a thing. Like a problem. We thought you looked kinda hot. I don't. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Big Nerd Sam says Bochi embodies the real life trauma of hanging up on Domino's because they asked you to repeat your order. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa points out the NPCs don't want to be in the game either, Bob. They think they're better off without you. <laughs> Fair. But it's their fault I'm here. It's also your fault they're here. You think about it? Ride to Hell Retribution came out three weeks after Remember Me and a week and a half after The Last of Us. Oh my god, yeah, that checks out. That's unfucking That's why I remember our seeing and stuff about it. That's unfucking real. Get up for hour 91! Woo! Oh man. I might get to see my boy hour 87 ever again. <laughs> we'll see tomorrow. We better not see today. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess that is today, but that's not what I meant, and you know what I meant. <laughs> when the hell is that hard drive getting here? Jesus. Why are you checkpointing me again? This shit is dire, by yeah. the way. I'm just barely scrapping together the space to record these streams at this point. Jesus. I have a spare, normal hard drive inside my PC that just barely has space. The hard drive will show up first. What size did you order? Oh, no. oh my god, we need to fight humans again? I had enough that that last area once she was the map I'd already been through. Now we're doing this. One moment, guys. This is being intensely stupid. Yeah, they didn't give me a rocket launcher this whole game. That seems crazy. They have rocket launchers in the the aliens universe. Yeah, I don't know why it was just so lame. Yeah, it's just like a bunch of different kinds of regular uh, machine guns. Sixteen terabytes. We'll use it. Yes, we will. In fact, if I could, if I could afford it, I would order another one immediately. Okay, now they want to give me a rocket launcher. Jesus. By the way, apparently this game has four-player co-op, so hopefully you enjoy the sound of four or more non-stop pulse rifles noises firing <laughs> constantly. Yeah, I was, uh... I was just... We were talking earlier about how, you know, you deal with that gunfire in bursts in scenes throughout the movie. The whole movie isn't just the sound of the gun going off. Right. A good sound decision for high anxiety, high stress action scenes that will take up maybe half an hour of the movie total. Uh-huh. Not a good choice for nine hours. They got more Remember AA guns. Are you serious? That's your final level? Okay, 
Well, yeah, you can't leave the planet, babe. There you go. Rush Stegenberg says, why aren't you keeping all your footage on VHS like AVGN? First off, you fucking Philistine. That was not VHS. He has always recorded on a digital format. It was DVC, I believe. Which DVC, by the way, insanely enough, is equivalent to 22 gigs of storage, if I remember correctly. That's kind of insane. The Our first YouTube channel used mini DVs. Mm -hmm. And those recorded 22 gigabytes of video information per tape. And only, what, what an hour? <laughs> I think it was an hour of footage. <laughs> that shit was technically a higher bit rate than Blu-ray. And it was a progress, it was a 480p image at most. That's why our original camera we started with looked better than many cameras well off after that. Oh, their cameras are 4K for half of the bag, I'm pretty sure. They just don't render out in 4K. And I don't understand why you would record in that insane equality and then not render out in 4K because <laughs> YouTube makes it look bad. Right. Maybe to some extent they're sitting there going, why would we want people to get a better look at our horrible faces? Because, you know. Yeah. I I did the, I did a year of making videos for, you know, force feedback and I also had to tackle the, why am I making this look so sharp? Only Jay's camera is in 4K? Which one is Jay's camera? Also, one camera isn't... Multiple of the camera are basic cameras are basically the same quality nowadays. It didn't used to be, though. You could tell. I could tell. Let me... That's a better way to put it. <laughs> Dan, this Borderlands game looks boring. This would be the worst Borderlands game if it was a Borderlands game. Reminder, the pre-sequel exists. Right. Okay, where's there's the RPG in this area. I gotta go get that so I can shoot this thing. Stegenberg says, I'm making a joke that Jay is handsome, so he wants people to see his face. I mean, it was a video team. I literally thought you meant Jay's owned camera, not the camera for Jay. Yeah. Or the one filming, Jay. I like the pre-sequel more than three. Really? Wow. Huh. <laughs> Quick, blow up this Lego set! Right? Good job! That kid's Christmas is ruined. <laughs> Yeah, as much as Tiny Tina gets shit on, I feel like a whole game about Handsome Jack. Technically, too. Is pre-sequel and Tales from Raider, the Borderland? Question mark? I don't know what Tales of is about him. Tales How from, you Bob, you're, yeah. just, you're now merging three franchises into <laughs> one thing you're gonna call them. <laughs> I thought you were gonna fire that point blank. <laughs> Checkpoint. How do you survive that? But that's the thing, Digimon. Do you know about LTC-8? Or is it LTO-8? I think it's LTO-8. Those are technically VHS-like solutions. And I could probably hold more on an LTO-8 tape. So, Bob, I want to ask you. What's up? What do you think is the biggest component in your lack of enjoyment playing this game? The way the guns feel and the fact I die instantly. Okay. Not the fact they haven't had a single good idea for what you should do the entire game. No, they, even that takes a backseat because the guns feel so bad. <laughs> they do feel like fucking dog water. It's fucking terrible. 
No, Dan, the only videotape I've ever dealt with was VHS 20 years ago. Well, I mean, that would make sense. Are you running any archives? LTO isn't a video format. Yeah, it's weird to think about we had a higher bitrate per pixel by a huge magnitude back in 2006 on a 3CCD camcorder than we've had on any format since. And it's not even close. Talk about the streak that appeared on the ground after your rocket went off like somehow it burned the ground. Hell yeah! 6-5, the final gun is down! Skies are yours again! That's my boy! Great job, kid! We have a clear line on the queen module! Dude, you just took two rockets to the face. How? How'd you do it? Speaking of Borderlands predictions on the movie quality. Man, if only some people have bravely mapped out the understood quality of every video game movie ever. <laughs> that would be helpful right now in this moment if I had an understood expectation of where these things landed. Instead, it's like, oh man, that means I have to watch Alone in the Dark again. <laughs> no. <laughs> I bet it will be better than a Yui Bowl video game movie. What? I don't know. Oh. I guess that was because I blew myself up a little bit. Happen? But yeah, I, I expect it to be not good, but better than anyone expects. It's going to be not good enough for the Borderlands fans who expect this to be a gangbuster film. <laughs> You've got to be fucking kidding. But yeah, I... It's got to be better than the Dead or Alive movie. <laughs> Probably not as good as Alone in the Dark. I don't know. You think it's going to be as good as Alone in the Dark? I think it could be as good as Alone in the Dark. I think the Dead or Alive movie's got some fun cheesiness to it. What about the Tekken movie? What about the King of Fighters movie? The King of Fighters movie's probably the bottom of this barrel. What about the second Tomb Raider movie? I've never seen any Tomb Raider movie. You've never seen the first Tomb Raider movie? None, no, not at all. You're standing there and you're like, I'm not going to watch Tomb Raider in the theater because then they'll know I'm a pervert. And you're just dressed up as David Lynch. <laughs> and the person at the ticket counter is like, no, I know that because you just yelled it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I heard the first Silent Hill movie was okay. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too terrible. I mean, I watched it without any context for Silent Hill, and it worked well enough for that. Right. Which is better than a lot of video game movies. Yes. A lot of video game movies. You walk in with no context or full context, you go, yo, this is fucking terrible. Oh yeah, the Legend of Ten Million. That's oh. um, oh, that's like yeah, terrible. Be, that's like probably the bottom of the barrel, even for for video game movies. And here's how you know we mean that. I have been referencing Nash out for the entire run of Gigaboots, and no one has caught it. <laughs> Everyone just decided that game should just be, or that movie should just be fucking forgotten forever. Oh, the You've queen. never said Nash out, says Rush Dickenberg. We don't tolerate liars. We're just... Nope. You're not gonna fucking sit there and convince people 
survive the queen. Hey chat, you know a button to hit. I wonder if our sticker bird could do viewer depth. Score! Well, timed out. I, I'm scoring. Yeah, that's the one. You did it. <laughs> she walks score. over with a massive tip. <laughs> Cause chat hit the scored button. We're like, ah! <laughs> oh, hey, some of these sounds are correct. I feel like Double Dragon was the worst video game movie. Everything around her, I remember about it uh, feels like a nightmare fever dream. You probably are right. Score. Especially I've never seen that one either. I'm very curious. True. The outfits look goofy and fun. God, you've never seen that. Yeah, no, there's a bunch you've, of video you've game seen movies. You've a lot. You've not seen a lot of video game movies. No. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Hmm. Yeah, Discord did add pull f functionality, which is great. I haven't had a need to use it yet. But I feel like there will be a day. Admittedly, we could always do that. We just told you guys, hey, hit this emote reaction in order to vote this. So we always had a way to poll you guys. Hmm. We just, you know, now it has a poll formatting to it instead of me saying blank for blank, blank for blank. Oh my god, that's right. Double Dragon did have the T1000 in it. The Robert what? Patrick. Okay, I was like, the actor? <laughs> It's a bizarre reference to the T-1000. <laughs> the notion that Double Dragon is like, oh, fuck, dude. It's a fucking Terminator. And then they have to do, like, a weird special move to blow it up. Right? And then they yell, hellacious. If I'm remembering the Double Dragon movie well enough, the conclusion of the film does have a little bit of a Bill and Ted's vibe. Does anyone in chat want to confirm? Hey, I'm just saying I haven't seen the movie in 30 years. I remember it having a little bit of a Bill and Ted's vibe. We're almost there. Eyes up until we're on the ship. I think it actually did checkpoint me uh, as I died, so I get to go to the next section. That's good. How is how has humanity not just handed the person who made Tom's Diner ten million dollars and been like, your song's now public domain? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's farcical. We keep pretending. It's fucked up. We all agreed it's a treasure, and we're gonna steal it time and time again. <laughs> but no one's fucking brave enough to just. Hand the person $10 million and say, thank you. Have a great day. Have a great rest of your life. I know what you're thinking, chat. What? Was that... Why was that in the sky? Is there a hook hidden up there? I don't, I don't know. I'll look in a minute. I swear to God, there's nothing up I there. I bet there isn't. There's something in the background? Yes. Okay, okay. So, it's got a hook underneath. Is there even something it could attach? Wait, is it a magnet? It might be a magnet. Unclear. Yeah, I can't tell from here. Jerry's out. But at least there's a thing up here that could drop it. Why it did it? I don't... I don't know. Maybe anyway, when my ally anyway, shot it. I don't, not, I don't I'm know. I'm just... But yeah, if you don't know, did he fly into the sky? <laughs> the Dugralia Lost title theme song is just stolen Tom's Diner. Uh, that one Fallout song, which I, Fallout Boy song. Wait, Fallout Boy? Fallout? Fallout Boy. Um, which I cannot remember the name of. I think it's I will be remembered for centuries. Remember me for centuries. Yeah, anyways, that is stolen Tom's Diner, and it is overt. 
There are countless other examples, but somehow, somehow, Bob, Uptown Funk gets sued, <laughs> justifiably, but Tom's Diner doesn't. Like, no one sues on these Tom Di Tom's Diner right. ripoffs. So, what is left to do? I... How the hell do you plan on getting into that ship? I haven't figured that out yet. Right now would probably be a pretty fucking good time. I, know. I assume we get in on the blood ship blood and somehow the queen's on the ship. We we'll fight the queen there. Because that's just like the movie. That's the plan? We got no other options. We need to be inside before we breach Echo. Breathe. Do it. Weapons hot. Two away. Brace for I didn't find the legendary weapon, Frost's flamethrower. A shame. A shame. And everyone died. The end. <laughs> right? Please. Like, that's a weird thing to do when you bring back Hicks, but okay. I guess he might as well just blow himself up and crash into it. Well, plane. that's one way to write a new end to his story. <laughs> Also, am I the only one deeply annoyed by it? Then whose body was in your cryopod? We don't have time. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, if you're going to write this, you have to answer that. You don't get to not answer. What was that first thing? Get out of here, kid. Once we breach Atmo, everyone in the hold is dead. That's an order. Get out of here. You know... Was that you breaking through the glass? That was the most casual I'm jumping through a window I've ever seen. Winter. It's like Mike Staclossa destroying a set by knocking here, shit Bishop. off of it. Winter. It's the He's same energy as the fucking find Citizen Kane freakout behind, scene. Right? right? I'll try to get him out while you guys find a way to open the airlock door. I'll take O'Neill, Reed, and Hicks through the maintenance hatch. That will get us inside. I say we have roughly eight minutes until Atmo Breach. Wait! Don't argue! Go! Understood. Keep moving! I thought Ashley Butch's, or Birch's character would be How more in it there, in the game. We got eight minutes, I sir. think Ashley Butch is probably what some really there. toxic oh, Horizon oh, haters have been calling her. Probably. Hi, Tosh. Bishop, the queen is in Tosh, too, gets to go to sleep and then wake up to a Gigaboot <laughs> stream. <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> It's just a little different. <laughs> oh God, yeah, I, I was totally right. It's just, oh, well, this is exactly where they fought the queen in the movie. We need to do it here in the game. She has the power of a god. Reset the cargo launcher before you use it. Solid copy, Bishop. Make sure she's in front of the cargo launcher before you pull her in. She's my mom. Chad, that is not your mom. Oh, we got, yeah, yeah, we got to go, I might go out all the way there to, to make it go back. Oh, yeah, is that how you reset it? Oh, yeah, yeah I there's see just... a little icon. God, that's tiny. Yeah, it is. Thank God this is sharply upscaled to 4K, because Jesus. This is uh, a little bit of a nightmare, huh? Oh, she got distracted. Okay, good. Oh, thank God she didn't take her ADHD meds. <laughs> Should I reload? So we agree there's just one do button in the seventh gen shooter game, right? Yes. It reloads, activates things, jumps, <laughs> talks to allies. <laughs> we make a control scheme so awful. It's like you could play it on the GameCube. <laughs> We'd mostly use the A button for everything. Oh, do I need to get her off the track so that it can fully... Uh, there's the other side, of course. They didn't put control panels on both sides. Move forward just ever so slightly. Oh my god. So you're telling me Aliens fans were disappointed by this? I know. I think their standards are a bit unrealistic. Oh my god, the run button has decided to stop working. Just completely. I don't know why. That's That's cool. Hey, um, before you made this, did it occur to you even once that you, this sucks and you should not make a oh, thing that sucks? Yeah, she, she just clicked through. It. 
All they right. could do a lot, that a lot in this game. If this one shots her, it is going to be the funniest ending to a video game. Oh, there's, oh, there's, one, there's, more. One, more. there's one more. Oh, no. I'm stuck. <laughs> be -de -be -de that's all, folks, as you fucking run in space. Huh? She's going to hit you. Yeah, she is. She's going to hit you right here because there's shit on the ground. How did she even hit me? I was outside of her range. I Right. You wouldn't know this. Um, in Prometheus, she, they explain they're all psychic. All of them. She blew up your brain with her mind. Because she's huh. not just hot. She's also a thinker. Your head gave up. We got eight minutes, sir. I'm gonna find a way to get you out of there. Are you out of your mind? Where get out of here? Mission. The queen is in the hangar with us. Almost there. Stand out of sight with her. Good plan. Defeat the queen. Wow, that sounds awesome. How do I do it? Pull the levers. Yeah, now she's attacking that. You can totally sneak past her because she's like, oh, I'm going to reach him. I'm going to reach him. What <laughs> even she just A-poses? <laughs> why does every fucking Xenomorph just A-pose, Bob? <laughs> I don't know. And why does this wind only exist right? Oh, oh, oh my wow, God. Wow, 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 wow. I didn't think I didn't think it would Wowie, Zowie! <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit. God. Oh my God. Bob, can you believe fucking Rosh Stegenberg would say, <laughs> I haven't. Do you know how hard it is to know no one's going to get you saying Nash out and still do it for 13 years? How'd she just walk in from the hole in the side? Almost there. Stay out of sight, Winter. Good plan. Need a sit rep. I can't risk she just knows where I am. What do you mean say out of sight? Uh, I assume they just wrote some shit, right? For mechanics that didn't end up in the game. Yes. The automation system is offline from the crash. Quick trick her by jumping out the back of this thing. That'll own her. Pretty tricky, mom. You say sky diving. Masumi says, I think I've cracked the code. If you do nothing but stream this game, the Dotathon ends. You're right. The real trick is don't people don't tell people what the wave goals are. <laughs> and stream 70 hours in like one week. Did we get it? Yes. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. God, she's so rude. Yeah, right? <laughs> Will I like it? No. Aww. <laughs> Why can't I clip through this? She clips through this. You're not as strong as the queen, man. <laughs> I'm sorry to announce that the stream goal we hit has to be canceled because the piece of equipment you don't know about <laughs> broke. <laughs> Oh. Okay, whatever you do, Bob. Wait until yeah, she's wait until in she's front right of it. in front of it. Because this game absolutely would let you throw that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Fucking hilarious! He what an epic final it. battle! Wait, that plane's on the wrong side of that hole. <laughs> That's not where that is, right? I think that's where it is. Is it? Yeah, it's just they split okay. around the geometry a lot. Wait, where were you two? I don't know. Yippee! Hey, remember when you launched this fucker out of the ship and that didn't matter, I guess? <laughs> right? All we really needed to do was get her pissed at our CO here. Godspeed, Captain. Here's to you, Nicola and Bart. 
what a stupid ending. <laughs> yeah, how did the, the ship fully flip around inside? Because that's the same hole we came in through. Yeah, I think at the end they did show it, like, flip for a few frames before the video cut. <laughs> Did any of that really just happen? I thought that was going to be cruise. <laughs> I survived it just fine. <laughs> hey. Is Michael Whalen. The reason we're all here. We lost the Sulaco flight recorder. Where you destroyed everything at the facility. We need him alive and we need everything he knows. Agreed? O'Neill, I need you on this one, man. We can get these guys. Now wait, 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 before you shoot me, wait, just wait! Do you even know? Do you even know what you take away? Please, please, please don't do this. I'm just the face that owns the company. O'Neill, think about what you're doing. I'm done thinking. <laughs> we got a man. Just put the gun... Yeah, that's how people should handle this. Uh -huh. Just trying to talk this dude down. Someone has to pay for this. For crews. For keys. For all the ones we lost. For her. Don't make me say her name. If anyone says her name, I swear to God, I will blow his head the fuck up! Please don't shoot. Do not speak to me, you sack of shit! Can I speak with you then? Bishop, get the hell out of the way, man! No. I'm not playing around, Bishop. If you don't move, I will shoot right through you. No, you won't, because Bella wouldn't watch you. I said, don't say her name! I wish my loved one was not dead, but alive. O'Neill, shoot him. Hicks, what? What the hell, man? O'Neill, you're supposed to shoot him. This is how it's supposed to happen. Stand down, Corporal! Don't do it, O'Neill. Oh, thank you for not killing me. Oh, my God. Scrunt. I just shot you. Guys. Fucking front. Yeah. Uh, we are going to check out the September lineup to see what else is on the way. But how did you know that wasn't the real Wayland? You said we need to find out what he knows. 13 weeks and four days they had me. Spent hours a day in a room, torture after torture. Some days I could barely take it. When there's only two of you in the room. You notice when the other guy ain't breathing. Why not keep him alive? Because he would kill every one of you the first chance he got. That's its function. Bishop? I can download any data he has. This is a special model. We might get lucky. What do you need, Bishop? Clear a space and find a scalpel. Is this dangerous? There are tubes in my brain. Dumb question. Incredibly sorry. You ready, Bishop? It's already downloading. Please give me a moment, Winter. Is, the fact is that this gonna work? A normal you know, aliens fan would think this was know. poggers. <laughs> it's like, like, oh, right? this is... Yeah. It feels like it's when Kingdom Hearts puts extra happens. shit in for the extra releases, <laughs> but that's the ending of the game. Bishop, are you okay? Please tell me we got something. Anything. We really need a win here, man. <laughs> I really need a win. Actually, <laughs> I'm illiterate. We will never know if they got something. We got everything. <gasps> they got everything! Oh my god! Oh, we got everything! Bishop killed them a week later. <laughs> Game over, Yippee! man! Incredible. Man, I'm really glad we got everything. Yippee! If people are going to be like, hey, what ball. was that Yippee! game about, Dan? And I'm going to go, it was about everything. So that means Wayland yutani has gone in the, in the universe of aliens after this, right? One, we got him. One second. I just got to talk about, they have Anthony Birch there just because Yippee! he's an employee of Gearbox, which they're pretending made the game. Yes. Yippee! I like when the achievements make the movie reference. I'm clapping internally. I like that the back button's just there. Like, yeah, back out of the credits, do it. We know. We know you won't. Back out before you find out who really made it. Good job, Bob.
Sleep game. What unsafe progress? What, what unsafe progress? Bob, you got zero kills on that uh, final mission. That's, That's weird. Because I thought you killed the... But I guess the other the guy... The other guy killed so. the queen, so I didn't you do didn't, anything. You did nothing. Man. That's depressing. Man. You ever just play something incredibly mid for... God, what was that? Seven hours? Yeah. Both answering your... I answered both of your questions. <laughs> yes and yes. Too bad we can't submit the time on how long to beat, or or rather speedruns.com. Because I held the controller for you did one second. How dare you? That ruined everything. Bob. Hey, what's up? It wasn't bad enough to be absolutely hilarious. No. It was definitely bad enough to upset all of the Aliens fans. But it wasn't bad enough to be funny. No. Let me see who's live and who's staying live. You gotta go take a look. They might be ending any second. Now it's fucking 6 a.m. I... I... I was led to believe this would be a completely busted game. Completely. Yeah, and yet it refused that. Yeah. It wasn't going to give that to us. Couldn't even have fun. <laughs> this was no fun. Why is everyone so mean to me? Why wasn't everyone always enlarging to giant size? Okay, I gotta. I don't even care how soon he's ending. I gotta. I gotta. Janked motherfucking Jesus is playing the Buffy game on Xbox Original. Incredible. And that's why Janked is great. So we're going to raid Janked Jesus so that way y'all can check out this banger of a game, Buffy, on Xbox Original. I still know they're trying to make it look like lightning, but it just looks like the texture's breaking. It does. You know what really also gives that effect? The fact that the frame rate's so bad, sometimes it doesn't even do it for the whole picture because it's screen tearing. Yeah, it's uh, it's really quite something. We will see you all later today for Ride to Hell Retribution. Please look forward to it, and that will be the end of Demon Pit Week. Yeah. Which leads us into Thursday's big thing where we get to talk about all these games and Friday stream, which we still have not revealed. Take it easy.